Good evening once more and thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. This is News Talk with yours and only Anchorman Chris Aino. We've got some very, very critical issues to discuss today and we will start, we will start uh, from Ingo Ketunjia precisely in Bambelang. Bambelang, ladies and gentlemen, where French Cameroon soldiers continue to go about burning down people's homes, burning down people's homes. That happened in Bambelang a few days ago, and I'd like you to stay put and take a look, take a look at what happened here in Bambelang. Again, that is in Ingo, Ketinja. Look at what happened there. Uh, I think we're missing that footage. Okay, the footage is there. Look, take a look. I'm a machine and digital and born. If you want to see the civilian and the crime are the issue. So, yes, so now the thing that we don't happen for the vampires from Gokotunja under Power FM, no pity. So, now either we are the wrong shit today, as you look at the idea of civilian and the crime. So now the civilian that now the civilian that way they can't kill you. Now the civilian that way they can't kill you. Yes, now it has shown that the continuation of that video. When I see the destruction of the Republic is destroyed now, they say Canada Peace Talk Day. We don't go here now to that Canada Peace Talk. I would tell them, say, no, anytime they want to come, how will run and jam them now? Me, they can't fight because they prepare the way them. Now it has shown that the destruction that way they make them. Now the destruction that, if you look at smoke the sea come out, they don't burn houses them. The one boy has his own not show them pepe. But with the terror say no, me they can't find. Me they can't find. Because they pray the way they would still wait them. She shake no day. Now General Ismail the talk so. If you look at my media pan and now they burn them. Fire the sea cash for day. But they don't run. Because they know say two will run do over there no. Today the today the first of October, two will run do over them. They don't see them. You don't enter their skin. Yeah, now nah, so so the damage well are the public military they don't do them. For the Bamunga vampire and vampires of Ngogotunja. Now either to honor by FM no beat in a general is my head talk so. Yes, that the other civilian this they are Toby. We then key. Now either to always sleep so not die man. He don't really die. You yeah, know, now either so. If you look at the blood that way, you come up with the trousers so. And the blood that, now say that is there. Now the blood that. Now machine and this way they born. If you want to see, I want to see the civilian and the crime are the issue so. Yes, so now the thing that way don't happen. For the vampires from Gokotunja, under Power FM, no pity. So now either we are the wrong shit today, as you look at the idea of the and the crime. So now the civilian that, now the civilian that way they can't kill you. Now the civilian that way they can't kill you. So now that now we the civilian the way now the civilian now the Yes. Now that so now the continuation of that video. When I see the destruction of the Republic is destroyed now, 
de ce Canada Pistock de Uno go yen na na ti boda Canada Pistock Ma ou di te de se na Any time de wan kam Ha wo ron jan jam de na Mi de kan fai Because ou de prepare de wen dem Na i dat so Na de destruction da we de make up Na de destruction all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was again in the Bamunka. Bamunka, it's uh, a little village, or I don't know whether it's a town, in the county of Ingo Ketunjia. The county of Ingo Ketunjia. Uh, I think Bamunka is supposed to be the immediate uh, town that is called Indop, or next to, next to it. Now we are told that. Ambazonia restoration of, uh, fighters led by uh, General No PT invaded uh, the Republic of Cameroon's army in that area and unable, unable to attack the restoration fighters. French Cameroon professional army went after civilians and not only attacking and killing civilians they burned down their homes and you could see the images you could see the images there uh that is what french cameroon does ladies and gentlemen that is what they do burning down villages burning down civilian homes when they cannot uh, muster the courage to go after Ambazonia restoration forces and that is what they did uh, again uh, in Indo. and you could hear uh, the anger resonated through the voices or the voice of the speaker in that audio saying when I say Canadian talk we not care we not listen to that so-called Canadian talk and that is important because, ladies and gentlemen, they want us to believe that uh, Cameroon is ready to negotiate. Forget about the idea they canceled, they said nothing, uh, nothing like the Canadian uh, uh, negotiation or mediation exists. They did not uh, assign anybody or instruct anybody to go to Canada on uh, its behalf. That is what French Cameroon wants the public to believe. But let me assure you, they will make a turn around and come back to it and tell you it existed. But that would not be surprising to anybody. But what the fighters are saying in this audio, in this video, is important that we take them seriously. They are saying, if you think you can continue to kill our people, burn down our homes, and think that you can go talk some dialogue in Canada, uh, it is not going to happen until you have pulled your troops, until you have pulled your soldiers and uh, pulled down your cans in our territory. That is what the restoration fighters are saying in that message. And uh, from here at this interim government, we stand with every one of them. We stand with every serious restoration fighter who is putting his life or his or her life on the line on ground zero to defend and free the southern Cameroons. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to go ahead, hit your share button. I see the numbers very slowly creeping up. Please hit your share button as you join, as you join the platform. Hit your share button. Again, I'm going to be talking about uh, General Transporter. I will be talking about the new war declared in Bakasi by the Nigerian army. They want to take back uh, Bakasi to Nigeria. We'll be talking about the lockdown that is coming up uh, on, on Friday, February the 10th and Saturday the 11th uh, towards this so-called 11th February Newt Day celebration. Nothing. Zero like a youth day so please i want to see the numbers jumping if you have joined send the link to your fora send the link to your uh, groups send the link to your friends let them know that the anchor man is here please do that and while you do so i just want to say thank you thank you every one of you 
who showed up last Sunday to contribute, to participate, and to contribute in the fundraiser that we organized last Sunday. It turned out to be really, really exciting, ladies and gentlemen. It turned out to be really, really exciting. The figures, the figures turn out to be a little over fifty thousand dollars, real money, real money, not uh, not uh, surrogacy figures or propaganda uh, figures, real money. Let me say one thing about that, ladies and gentlemen. When we raise funds here at the interim government. You can trust, you can trust that we will come to you to give you nothing but the real figures. Now, the real figures are there on your screen. You can look at the real figures on the screen. A total of, uh, uh, five, uh, of 50,679 uh, dollars came in between Sunday and I'm sorry not came in well let me say it came in through cash and pledges it came in through cash and pledges you can see the figures right there on your screen a total of fifty thousand six hundred and seventy nine dollars was raised on a single evening last Sunday last Sunday now remember that was only the launch of our fundraising initiatives. And we will continue this initiative next month, ladies and gentlemen, going county by county and raising funds to see that Ground Zero gets what they want for the prosecution of this war that was declared upon all of us. So, uh, $50,679 came in, broken down to a little over $23,000 in cash, in cash, money that is in the bank. And uh, 26000 just close to 27000 coming in in pledges. The good thing is that, ladies and gentlemen, we can pin a name to every dime that was either donated or pledged. And we are believing, trusting that everybody who pledged, everyone who pledged will redeem their pledge within now and the end of the month. Within now, no, actually within now in two weeks, you will be able to redeem your pledge. I'd like to specially thank all of you who came into the $1,000 club the $1,000 club. We asked for 20 of you. At the, at the end of the day, we we're only short of four people to make it 20, which means uh, by the records, I think we had 16 people coming in for the $1,000 club. God bless you and may God replenish you and continue to bless you so you can be a blessing continuously to this struggle and to Ambazonia. And if you are out there, you, you never had the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to come in in that uh, category of the $1,000 club. We have all of you, we we'll have your names, and we'll, I will be personally reaching out to every one of you who donated $1,000. But if you, were, if you are out there and didn't have the opportunity to come in with a thousand dollars to donate again we still need four people four people to make it 20. we went up to 16 that's all we have now we need four more people who will show up with a thousand dollars each to add up to what uh we came up with so but uh, ladies and gentlemen i really want to appreciate i really like to appreciate all of you for showing up and donating generously. All the LGS, all the countries, and the cabinet members, the Restoration Council, and every segment of this interim government, thank you. 
that what what you did last Sunday is a manifest of the power and the influence of this interim government and we can only do better I promise you we will identify the groups on the ground that are doing the real work and we will stand behind them and make sure that they have the finances they need they need to do what they have to do that is my promise to you but again these are real figures we do not come a few a few a few months ago i saw a group uh, doing uh, a draft and announcing 200,000 raise 300,000 raise 50,000 raise and since then since then after the so-called draft of course i we are not mistaken of the fact that it was all propaganda and uh, uh, surrogacy figures that money was never raised because you don't see what has been done with it four months or three months after you don't see a single thing a single thing being done with it uh, but uh, here at this interim government uh, I promise you I promise you when we raise if we should raise only two thousand dollars we will let you know we have raised only two thousand dollars if we raise a hundred thousand dollars I will come to you and let you know we raise a hundred thousand dollars that is very important ladies and gentlemen because if we are not able to do anything and come back to you to tell you hey you gave us only two thousand dollars and we can do nothing with two thousand dollars you will understand and if we we'll come back to you and say hey we got a hundred thousand dollars and this is what we've done with a hundred thousand dollars you will also understand the idea that people go out and say they raise three hundred thousand or two hundred thousand and you do not see what they have done and you are asking show us what you are doing with the money and they cannot show you it's living a lie again that is living a lie and here at this interim government we will not live a lie listen ladies and gentlemen we are here because you are there if you are not there contributing the money we cannot run this government we cannot assist ground zero we cannot assist the refugees and the internally displaced and so we are basically here because you are empowering us to be here and the idea that we will come to you making up some figures to put out to you to pretend as if things are so rosy here no not in my character not in the character of this interim government so once more thank you thank you so very much for the over fifty thousand dollars and i know before this show is over some of you will call in to add to uh, to add your voices with that one thousand dollars donation four people left to make it 20 that will bring the total figure to about fifty five thousand ladies and gentlemen so please i am looking up to you before the show is over uh don't ask us don't ask us for what we are doing if you are not doing something yourself you are basically out there to empower us to empower ground zero that is what it is all about you empower us and we turn around and empower ground zero that is our assignment and that is your responsibility as ambazonian out there ladies and gentlemen so please once more thank you so very much for your generosity for caring for what ground zero goes through again i look forward to you calling me live when i open the phone lines tonight i want to see you call and say hey comrade chris i like what you are doing i want to join the one thousand dollars club i need four people four people tonight before the show is over to call and say comrade chris i am adding my name in the one thousand dollars club again four people but that is what we came up with ladies and gentlemen now this is only the beginning this is only the beginning we call it a launch a launch a launch of our fundraisers after launching we are going county by county 
LGA by LGA, country by country, region by region in the months ahead. We want to be coming to you with that announcement uh, in the days ahead. So we want every county. You don't have to wait until the announcement is made. You have to start now rallying, rallying your people to start putting together funds that can that can take this war to the Republic to Cameroon and, and quicken their appearance at uh, this uh, Canadian initiative or whichever mediation process they would like to attain. So uh, the counties get ready. Same thing to the, uh, to the LGAs. You get ready. We are coming for you. And of course, the countries and the regions, I will personally be visiting you out there to see how we can put our heads together, ladies and gentlemen, to form this war that was declared on us. We did not call for this. They declare it upon us. And it is an opportunity to finally take over what belongs to us. I'm referring here to Ambazonia. So we have to continue to do this. We have to continue to do this. And we must all, we continue to say this, we must all continue to come together. Come together, ladies and gentlemen, as a team, Team Ambazonia, to prosecute this war. In this light, I'm going to be announced, I'm going to be having an announcement an announcement next week, the very, very important announcement that I will be bringing to you next week about a very important meeting that will be coming up truly very, very soon. So, again, we continue to ask for your support. And please, if you are out there, you do not, you have not yet identified with your LGA, please look for your LGA. Register your name. Be in the fora and continue to support your LGA. Continue to support your LGA. We are fighting for all of our destinies. It is not about a particular individual. It is not about a particular LGA or county. It is all about the territory that is called the former British Southern Cameroon with boundaries bounding La Republic du Cameroon, Nigeria, and Equatorial Guinea. So those, uh, uh, that's what we are fighting for, and we expect every one of you, please, to make sure that you are in your LGA, you are in your county, and contributing. Even if you do not want to do any other thing else or put your face out there, nobody, nobody is, is asking you to put your face out there and be seen. For as long as you can put your money where your mouth belongs, we will be satisfied with that because we know not everybody is courageous enough to put a face out there. We know of people in this struggle in Amazonia, ladies and gentlemen, here in the diaspora, who are putting in thousands, thousands of dollars in exercises like this fundraiser, you will never see them in any meeting. You will never see them in any, uh, I mean, they, you will never see their, their faces in on television. Even their neighbors will never know they contribute. There are Ambazonians like that. I mean, Ambazonians putting in thousands of dollars. I remember when we were doing my trip to Boya, when we launched my trip to Boya, a comrade called me from Washington, D.C. and said, uh, Secretary Chris, our secretary then, said, Secretary Chris, I have $5,000 that i like to put in for my trip to Boya, he, he told me. I said, wow, wonderful, great, $5,000, ladies and gentlemen. He was not going to, to write a check. He was putting in cash. And he said to me, Secretary Chris, I want to send in this cash and I don't need a receipt. I don't need my name, my face anywhere. I just want to put in the money. I just want to send the money. And I said, thank you, sir. You are a patriotic Ambazonian. I gave him the, uh, the, the phone number of the treasury, the treasurer then. And I guess 
uh, the money was sent to the treasurer, whether it was ever accounted for, I have entirely no idea. All I know is this comrade called, ladies and gentlemen, and put in $5,000 cash, demanded that his name must not be out there, said he doesn't even need a receipt. That is what some Ambazonians are doing up to today. I also know of two Ambazonians who came to a fundraiser here in Texas, ladies and gentlemen. They came in, they came in with an envelope of $10,000 cash. Ten, an envelope of $10,000 cash. Handed it over to Sarko. Again, I don't know whether they treasure it. I don't know whether that money ever touched the treasury of Ambazonia. $10,000 cash. But these guys said, we don't want our names out there. We don't want our faces out there. Of course, we kept their faces and their names away from the public arena. But they came in with $10,000 cash in an envelope. $10,000 cash. I was there when the money was handed over to Sarko. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen found out that a dime of that money did not see the treasury. A dime of that $10,000 did not touch the treasury, the national treasury, $10,000. But ladies and gentlemen, I am saying this only to say that if you can support this struggle and doesn't want your name to be out there, it is very much appreciated and welcome. So please, I need four of you, four of you Ambazonians who will say today, I will send in another thousand dollars to make up that 20 people, one thousand dollars club, make it complete. Once more, I really like to appreciate all of you for making this uh, fundraiser uh, launching a big success that you see, over fifty thousand dollars raised. That is about 30, 30 million francs CFA, I believe, around that figure. Uh, over $23,000 in cash has already come in. That is, uh, let's just say half of it has come in already. Unlike the fundraisers we did in the past where people come and, and, uh, and uh, pledge money, you never had to see it. This one, again, you, every dime that came in, you can see the spreadsheet on your screen. What you are not seeing on that screen are the names of those who put in that money. We have everybody. We have the name of everybody, of course. Being that some of them don't want their names out there, you cannot see those names. But we know exactly where to go to get the rest of the money that is still out there. That is how meticulous we are doing it out here. Thank you very much. And uh, God bless you all. God bless you all. We look forward to the uh, county uh, draft coming up in a few months' time. We hope that again, every county, every county will start planning. Every county will start planning to show up show up in those drafts and show up very strongly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, take a look at this. Let me see when I can't be cash out. When I see now avoid that, we will not plenty again. Yes, sir. We will not plenty. I will not do one for the loss of our own. Not here. Yeah. 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 And the drivers concerning the 630 lockdown. Is it standby? Any driver will go violate the 630 lockdown. Anything, what I will do it for you. Make it no blame. The forces. 630 lockdown at the repeat for this road. You know, we permitted. Any place 630 will permit up you. Pack your motor for day. Pack your motor, you sleep the next day. You continue your journey. You know, we like to say, we're hot to now. They're going to push me so that they violate the 630. We're going hot to now because they're going to violate. Like what will happen just as recent for years after the first attack will get them. Motor they come up from the camp. We will break them. They use strong hair, they come. Some driver, some people they have the motor they collect bullets. We will not be wish. Then I swear to you, we will break you, we will continue for come. We will consider it to be an enemy. So I want them to make any man stay focused. No respect. 
Udena for now, now we'll fight and protect you on our property. They will finally hurt you and you will evaluate the laws they want to put up. We will push you for wall. and we will not like them. So I run back. Today, the road will be somehow. When I say I run back, I will not say to run for today. They will probably be very angry at the moment because they lost souls. So I run back now. I run back now. Movement for 6.30, drivers. Passing them, they will have all, they will have all, they will have all. Say no care we go. Make them no risk in my life. Yeah. Not here. Yeah. So we then have a fight and we we'll protect you now. More than stand by we. We go win the war. You yeah. yeah. will give the floor to the general of army. Then I transport and give a small word of advice. What people that will tell you come on a good evening. Like I've started to talk, who don't like for what you know, then I will self defend. Then I will tell you to protect you now, protect you now, protect you now. But if some of you All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those images uh, you find there, those uh, images uh, that came in, you all saw them, they came in only last week. Only last week, General Transporter uh, there uh, trying to address his people. Take a look. <coughs> So we stand up any man, this one who don't care who they stop us, we respect them. Well, the public military come, it doesn't mean they use them for shield. We say, we don't enter inside their convoy. Men will say, I'm going to go to the camp. Because the days are going to be very bloody. Don't deny Canada negotiation. We do not decide to negotiate on this road and inside town. We negotiate, but they are going to oppose them. We need to fear them. They don't collect today, they go, they come with their back up here, they still come again, they collect, they run. They run, they run, they run. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, one of our best, our best and bravest fighter on the ground, General Transporter. A few, uh, a few days ago, a few days ago, last week, we all saw him in this video that you will find on the screen. You know that transporter was fraternizing with the population of uh, Konya, Konya, I think it's Konya, where he lived and operated from, not knowing that after this video, he wasn't going to last again for another five days. Uh, two days ago, we learned of his murder, of his killing. It was unbelievable. It was just unbelievable. And it was very spirit dampening. I just couldn't uh, uh, believe it that uh, the fighter I was seeing on my TV screens, on social media, uh, displaying his exploits was the one. Uh, that was being talked about as having been killed. But unfortunately, it turned out that indeed he was the one. And so, you know, that transporter is no more. He is gone to join the likes of Phil Major the King, to join the likes of General Ivo, General Bia Bia. He's gone to join the likes of General Chacha, General uh, Isubu Commando, and you can continue to name the rest. But he said something there that I would like every fighter on ground zero to listen to. He said, you people forget about so-called Canadian thing. Cameroon doesn't want to go to the Canadian negotiations. I want every fighter on the ground to know that people coming to you to lay down, the, to lay down your arms, they are deceiving you. Anybody coming to you to tell you because Negotiations will soon take place. Canada will soon take place. So you can lay down your arm. Don't fight anymore. If you don't carry your arms, a lot of people will continue to carry their arms and they will kill you. They will kill you. A lot of people in Cameroon will never be your friends. Their army, their, their officials, their elite. 
They will never be your friends. They are enemies and you cannot spare them by any means until you see a United Nations, those white or uh, white and blue United Nations trucks with the United Nations inscription uh, written on it. Or you see, uh, I mean, standing somewhere, entering Ambazonia from Bafusan, from Douala, until you see French Cameroon soldiers pulling out of Ambazonia. Do not take them for their word. They are not negotiating with you or with us or with Ambazonia. Until they begin to pull out, until you see a monitoring team from the United Nations descending upon Ambazonia to enforce a ceasefire, you cannot even think of laying down your arms. Anything that Cameroon promises is uh, it's a lie until you see them do it. Because for 60 years, they have never engaged in any promise of their own. So to the restoration fighters, these your generals, General Transporter, Field Marshal the King, Isubu, Chacha, Commando, all, and, and the rest of them, they cannot continue to die as they kill them, as they, as, as they kill them, only you who are left have to avenge for them. And just imagine you are one of those who stands till victory comes and you are able to, in your prayers, Tell them, hey, General Transporter, I avenge your killers. We took over Ambazonia at last. Your fight wasn't in vain. Your sacrifice wasn't in vain. Just imagine how they will feel. So ladies and gentlemen, Amber, Ambazonia restoration fighters, anybody in the diaspora telling you, lay down your arms for a while. Surrender for a while. Walk over to DDR for a moment or for a while. Know that this is a ploy by La Republic du Cameroon to kill you. And now to what we know about uh, the killing of transporter, I was told this information is not yet so much confirmed. But the story that I gather is he, was, he received a phone call. General Transporter received a phone call from somebody he knew. And the phone call indicated that there was a conflict in the village that he needed, they needed his attention, his presence to, to resolve. And so, General Transporter left two of them on two bikes, I mean four of them on two bikes, two each, uh, 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 two on each bike. Now, as they were proceeding, he kept communication, or let me put it this way, the guy who needed him kept communication with him. So far, we don't know who this guy was. We are trying to find out who he was. But as they were going, the guy kept communication with transporter, just they can monitor where he is and where the, the, the killers are going to be. So, the transporter sent the first two guys to go ahead they went ahead and he kept communication with the guy he was going to see apparently he must have known this guy because i don't think that he would just get a message wake up with his boys and go to uh and, and respond to it so he left and they were communicating as they went and we learned that uh the Cameroon army had uh, planted themselves in strategic positions on which to get him. They knew that this guy was so empowered, no gunshot was going to take him down. And so what they did is they drove a military truck onto his own Okada that he was riding and crushed him. And when they now stepped out of their truck, they used the guns to finish the two of them on their heads. Uh, that is what we are told that happened, how he was killed. So this is this should be a lesson to every Ambazonian fighter out there. Uh, yes, it is good that you try to 
settle issues in your communities, your immediate communities, even those of you who are going to these cry die venues and addressing them, talking them now. La Republic du Cameroon knows where to get you. They know that you go to cry dies. Yeah. They go, they know that you go to funeral services and they will hit themselves in the bush and get you. Stay away from cry dies. Stay away from middling within issues in your community. Take no call from anybody unless you really trust that person to respond to that call. Because only people who know you, only the people who know you, the friends that know you, will kill you. When they went to kill Fear Masha the king, only they used only the boys who knew him, who knew the terrain, who knew the environment. Every fighter out there, listen to the sound of my voice. Your, people who do not know you will not plan against you. Only those. I mean, they will plan, but they will use those who know you to kill you. I hope all of you take note of this. We want you guys to fight and survive to see the day we converge on Boya to celebrate our victory. We do not want any of you to die prematurely. Let this be a lesson to all of you, all of you out there. I am joined by Comrade Franz, my deputy SOSA in charge of defense, ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, joining me here from the USA. Uh, Comrade Frank, I know you've been trying to gather some information about the killing of uh, uh, General Transporter. What have you been able to learn, sir, and is it different from what I am telling you here? I'm sorry, uh, you are muted. Uh, let a technician here get you turned on, please. Hold on there. The technician here will get you turned on. Uh, all right, you are on. Go on, sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, fellow Ambazonians, uh, I send you revolutionary salute. And uh, to all patriotic Ambazonians in the diaspora, I also greet you. To our soldiers, I say our uh, 21 gun salute to you and uh, to all our heroes that have fallen. Mr. President, thanks for having me on your show. Uh, our hearts are very heavy. Uh, we are very, very vexed in our spirit, but uh, we will keep doing the, 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 you know, the thing we have to do. Well, uh, the information we have gathered at the level of the department of self-defense and security is not uh, very different uh, from what you are uh, you know you just said uh general transporter uh was hit by a la republic du cameroon's uh, truck on his way from point a to point b and uh, uh the you know his soldiers are in uh, you know in a state of shock they are very very mad in their spirit and uh, the days ahead i can assure you will be uh you know different uh we hail the general transporter for his uh, services and his almost sacrifice his supreme sacrifice to the nation we that are still standing we have pledged, we say we the Ambazonians pledge our loyalty. We will continue this fight until the total liberation of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, have you been able to speak to uh, some of uh, the members of his camp? Uh, me uh directly no but uh, the the county commander the coordinator of uh, the meme county yes he is in constant communication with them and uh, he reports back uh, to me and to my boss uh, the sos for uh, defense uh sos asom and so yeah we are very much aware of uh, some of the things that uh, uh happen 
and uh, we are following up on it. There are some of the things that we cannot really, uh, you know, throw out here until you know we have come to you know a uh, a very very uh, reasonable conclusion and uh, you know the way forward uh, concerning this issue. And uh, what are those these other fighters uh, telling your sources? Yeah, uh, Mr. President, I just uh, told you that the report so far that we have is not different from the one uh, you just uh, outlined. Uh, that is what happened. Uh, exactly that is what happened. But now we, we want to fine tune our investigations to um, the origin of uh, what happened and uh, you know, to take the measures that are needed uh, to mit mitigate uh, such things from happening in the, in the in the future, and to make sure that all those that participated in this heinous crime against uh, General Transporter and the people of Ambazonia are brought to justice. Thank you. When you speak uh, to the fighters, do they know who it was? who get that phone call and ask him to uh, go settle some uh, community conflict? Uh, Mr. 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 President, I will tell uh, you... The names if, uh, if, if yeah. you know them. What I can tell you now is that uh, because this is an ongoing investigation, I think we lost sorry, the audio. We cannot uh, put out some of uh, the things that are within the investigation, but we can reassure Ambazonians that you know uh, those that are involved uh, in the you know in the murder of uh, General Transporter will be brought to justice. Okay, and uh, how is the spirit of the fighters left? Uh, I will just uh, bring an image that you can compare the spirit of the fighters right now mostly those on that general transporter they are right now like a lion that has been wounded and like i told you um the days ahead they will be different they are very very angry and uh, you know uh, it is not going to be business as usual la republic du cameroon might have uh, killed general transporter but uh, general, there are you know thousands of general transporters that have been born as a result of the death of general transporter. Thank you. That is uh, very interesting, and I would like to add, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that general transporter was uh, a member of uh, Soka Death. In fact, he uh, led the Soka Soka Death Battalion in the Konya. And he was one uh, fierce fighter in all of Meme. In fact, the colonial divisional officer for uh, Meme uh, came out the other day when he displayed his uh, body in Kumba and told the Kumba population that finally, finally, the threat is taken out, referring to uh, General Transporter. Now, uh, is it really true that uh, with the demise of General Transporter, we don't have fighters in, in, in Meme? Of course, that is not true. We have it in Konye, we still have it in uh, Mbonge, isn't it? We we have, uh, you know, uh, a lot. In fact, the and spirit of the too, fight I now. Believe. Say again. And in Mbalangi, too. Of course, we will not come here to even, uh, you know, indicate uh, the positions of our soldiers. We are guerrillas. I want to say that uh, Ntuntu should know that uh, we are his closest neighbors. Uh, you know, the, ju the justice of God may seem to be long. It may seem to tarry. But just like the night, the day always ends up downing. Ambazonia has risen never to fall and this nation will be free.
I can assure you of that. Thank you. All right, and uh, before I let you go, 20th, uh, sorry, 11 February is being planned all over Ambazonia by the colonial French Cameroon uh, uh, government. And we have declared a two-day lockdown beginning Friday, February the 10th through the 11th, which is Saturday. Uh, what are you hearing from the fighters on the ground? Uh, Comrade Chris, Mr. President, fellow Ambazonians, yes, uh, we have declared um, the 10th and the 11th as uh, ghost town days. No movement, just stay at your home, stay in your house, stay within your compound, do your own business. But the fighters on the ground have declared, and I will pull up that uh, old that video for, for us here, from Monday, Monday is our traditional ghost town day. From Tuesday, the, you know, the, 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 the seven, there will be no schooling in Ambazonia. Don't send your child to any school. Whether they say they are going for social something, youth week or what, so don't send your children anywhere. From Monday until the following week, no schooling activities. Let La Republic du Cameroon, you know, uh, terrorist soldiers and the restoration forces meet in the field. Do not take your children and send them out there to be used by La Republic du Cameroon as human shield because they will kill your children, they will not protect your children. We have lost just far too many Ambazonians and we cannot continue to behave as though, you know, we don't know how these people are behaving. Now, you listen to this, uh, this video from Grand Zero. Mm, let me see. Give me just one, one second. Let me pull up that video, please. Okay, right here. Southern Cameroonians, aka Amazonia. Today, on January 10th, 2023, with me, FM Bidakola, the communication secretary of the APLC of Grand Zero, we will come out today on board with the salute of our Southern Cameroonians, aka Amazonian people. Special salute to the goal of our civilian population. This information now from inform both civilians and the international community say the APLC, the Ambazonian People's Liberation Council, it will declare a two-day ghost town where it could be on Friday, February 10th and Saturday, February 11th, 2023, respectively. During this period, for this ghost town, who no want no movement, no movement will not be permitted for inside Ambazonia. Would you want those? Well, it don't take another dimension. The APLC will inform everyone. Say a level of February. Celebrations a big ban within the Ambazonian territory. Anyone where it could be caught, even on camera, even on Android phones or any cell phone, where it is trying to do anything or in any way, say for celebrate this evil day for inside Ambazonian territory. When you be a victim, you go face the consequences even if after the day. 
we go come after you. So we call on all our civilian population to stay vigilant and for report for we. If they see any infiltr infiltrator from, land, from the Republic terrorist government, if they see them, make the alert we for any place where they be found. 2023, it been a deadly year. 2023, it been a year of total war. And 2023, it been a year with plenty blood because the tears where we therefore we are in plenty. Also, we the APLC will advise or we inform parents. Peoples, All right. students, uh, and chair, teachers. Uh, Just one second, uh, Please. All right. Schools. They not go be from seventh of February to the tenth of February, twenty twenty-three. Schools they not go operate from seventh of February to the tenth of February till after the eleventh of February. Before school them, they will resume for inside Ambazonian territory. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Mr. President, that is what I wanted our people to get. That was the message. Uh, so from Monday, we know Monday is our, you know, uh, country Sunday. But as from Tuesday, no schools. Monday, not country Sunday already. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we no one make any Ambazonian. It take it picking them. Say it is send them outside. Say they go for school, whether they day for uniform or they day for civilian attire. No put they are picking a life at risk. And then on 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 the tenth and on the eleventh, na total ghost town day. That day don't even leave your immediate compound. Stay inside your house if you have to come out, just and only within the vicinity of your immediate compound. That's the message. All right, uh, we shall be coming back to that uh, along the week. Uh, we hope that Ground Zero is listening to us. My talking point is still ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when I come back. Uh, Nigeria. We don't know what is happening to the alliance between Nigeria and La Republic du Cameroon. Nigeria is declaring war against Cameroon in Bakasi. Please don't touch your remote. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for staying put in there. Something is going on that is quite interesting between the Nigerian government and that of La Republic du Cameroon, and you will uh, recall that all these years, 60 years and counting, La Republic du Cameroon continues to claim ownership over Bakasi. Of course, Bakasi belongs to the territory that is called Ambazonia, the southern Cameroon. A few years ago, La Republic du Cameroon still claiming ownership to and Bazonia went to war against Nigeria to take over, reclaim Bakasi from Nigeria. The case ended up at the International Court of Justice, and the International Court of Justice ruled that Bakasi is a territory that belongs to the southern Cameroons. But since Cameroon annexed and colonized the southern Cameroons, so they could uh, claim uh, entitlement over Bakasi. But since the war started and the Biafran started agitating, uh, trying to relaunch the aspiration of a Biafra state, the Nigerian government tightened the news against Ambazonia, collaborating with the government of La Republic du Cameroon to tighten our news, trying to uh, ferry equipment onto ground zero. But we have uh, 
a story that is still developing. There is a press statement and an intelligence report written to La Republique du Cameroon and uh, let me see, there's a copy of it uh, right there on your screen. And again, it is written in French. I don't know French, I can't read French. But that statement came from uh, the Cameroon Intelligence uh, Office and that letter is addressed to the security team in Boya, warning the governor and the military team in Boya that Nigeria is planning to attack Cameroon, precisely Bakasi, in the days ahead, actually next month in February, before the war, before the, uh, sorry, before the vote, the presidential elections vote in Nigeria, which is uh, coming up, uh, I think it is February uh, 25th or 23rd. And so that report that you see on the screen was sent to Cameroon from their intelligence uh, department asking the French Cameroon Army and Administration to do something, do something because Nigeria plans to invade Bakasi and they say that they are actually interested, they are actually interested in a number of towns. Uh, they mentioned them there and they mentioned the towns in Bakasi. Unfortunately, I can't read the, the wording because it's so tiny from where I am to read it. But uh, the towns that the Nigerian army wants to invade is, are there uh, on the statement. But uh, what makes this interesting, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that we know all along there have been an alliance between Nigeria and Cameroon since this war began. Nigeria has done everything, even arresting uh, Sisiko Ayoktabe and uh, 12 others and putting them in jail. And even when the uh, Supreme Court, the High Court said these people cannot be arrested, they should be released and be compensated, the Nigerian government still cooperated with Cameroon to transfer Sisiko and the rest to Cameroon. To Cameroon. And Nigeria has been picking up our people in Calabar, in Akwa Ibom, in Benue, all over Nigeria at the beck and call of Cameroon. When I went visiting Nigeria in October, I was almost uh, picked up by the Nigerian army and ferried to Cameroon. That is what the Nigerian government has been doing for all these years in support of Cameroon. But we don't know. The question is, what is happening now? Nigeria, Nigeria wants to launch a fresh attack claiming that Bak Bakasi, Bakasi belongs to them. Even when the International Court of Justice ruled that Bakasi belongs to the Southern Cameroons. So could this be an opportunity for Ambazonia? Well, this is a question we may have to answer on another day. But that is exactly the picture of things here. In the, the, in the months and the years ahead, especially with a new government, because it is, it is very sure Buhari is leaving. Uh, Atiku is uh, campaigning to be president. Obi want to be president. Tinubu want to be president. Any other candidate doesn't matter. But these three, Tinubu, Obi, and uh, Atiku, one of them will take over Nigeria. I am not sure Atiku will do anything different from what Buhari has done. I am not sure Tinubu will do anything different from what uh, Buhari has done. Obi, I don't know. But we are anxiously waiting to see the kind of policy that develops between Nigeria and Cameroon, particularly over Bakasi. We are watching to see. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I will say about that now. When I come back, I come back to you with my talking points for the day. And you do not want to miss that. For those of you on the social media, please hit your share button. Let the numbers jump. Why I prepare in the next one minute. 
to bring to you my talking points for the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'll now bring to you my talking point, my talking point for the day. And my talking point is uh, uh, focus, is focus on this so-called 11th February uh, celebrations that La Republic do Cameroon is trying to uh, put together in our territory. And uh, I really love you to really pay attention to the message I bring to you because uh, our history, our history uh, was essentially, was essentially manipulated so that not from the classrooms of La Republic to Cameroon would you ever hear the true history of our story. Next Saturday will be the 11th of February, 2023. I grew up hearing my mother call it Empire Day. That is what their generation knew. It was Empire Day. What was it about Empire Day? Don't you worry though, I will explain that to you. But before I get there, we note that since 1966, our young people have been repeatedly told a lie about 11 February. At the successive regimes of Paul Bia and Amadou Ahijo in La Republic du Cameroon. The lie seeks to cover up the historic importance of 11 of February in the historical narrative of our independence process. It sends the impression that the plebiscite never existed that there were no terms to the federal union that was to be, and that we essentially walked over to La Republic to Cameroon and joined them. Of course, that never happened. The charade that La Republic to Cameroon has made of 11 February in successive years summarily sums up the fact that what happened on the 11th of February, 1961, wasn't really significant. Let me explain to you what precisely happened on 11th of February 1961 and why it never, it should never be celebrated nor referred to as a youth day in our territory. The 11th of February was the day the former British Southern Cameroons voted to stay away from Nigeria and to start negotiations on unification with La Republic du Cameroon. Now let me explain something here. There is nothing like reunification as some people like to put it. There is nothing in our history as reunification, especially when referencing it to La Republic du Cameroon. The terminology means bringing back or restoring a political structure that existed before. If we use the word or term reunification, it means that at some point in time, Cameroon and Ambazonia were one political entity, but then separated. Of course, we know it never existed that way. The British Northern Cameroons and the British Southern Cameroons were never part of La Republic du Cameroon before their independence. When Cameroon gained independence in 1960, these territories were there. They existed, but were never considered to be part of the territory of La Republic du Cameroon when they gained independence. They chose their own fate in 1961. If any reference to reunification should be made, perhaps, perhaps, it should be only made in reference to Nigeria if the Southern Cameroons had voted to return to Nigeria at the plebiscite. But that was never the case. So this false notion of reunification between La Republic du Cameroon and the Southern Cameroons is a farce and a fabrication that La Republic du Cameroon and the elite used to maintain their annexation and hegemony of us. The plebiscite of 11 February 1961, organized by the United Nations, 
was not for reunification. It was to decide the fate of the Southern Cameroons. When they voted to stay away from Nigerian politics, it was implicit that the Southern Cameroons had nothing to do with Nigeria. As a result of that vote, both states now had to negotiate the terms of unification, that is Cameroon and Ambazonia. So after the plebiscite, there were a series of negotiations, including the Fuman Conference, to lead to unification, which only came on the 1st of October, 1961. The Southern Cameroon politicians had to negotiate unification, and it was based on well-defined principles. And one of the principles was a federal constitution. There were articles in that constitution which were very clear as to how the unified people of the two Cameroons should operate. The articles protected the minority rights of Southern Cameroonians. Article 7 in particular of the federal constitution, for example, stated very clearly that the federal status of the country should never, never be tampered with. That simply means that Cameroon was supposed to be a federal republic up to this date. But the federal constitution was violated. La Republic du Cameroon violated it and turned the country into a unitary state in order to annex the southern Cameroon, the reason we fight today. As a result of the annexation, many things and many people were pushed aside. In 1984, for example, the name of the country changed from the United Republic of Cameroon to La Republic du Cameroon. Let me pause here to state that the Republic of Cameroon was the name, the name of the Francophone part of Cameroon at independence, at independence in 1960. So in 1960, there was La Republique du Cameroon. And in 2023, there is La Republique du Cameroon. Then, two things have happened. If that, was, if that is the case, either the Southern Cameroons has been truly annexed, colonized, and assimilated, or La Republique du Cameroon has since seceded, seceded from the Union. That is the true historical narrative of February 11. The question we ought to be asking ourselves today, after 60 years, ladies and gentlemen, is, do we still see any significance in February 11? I began this by telling you that 11 February was originally called Empire Day. Only Southern Cameroonians celebrated Empire's Day. It was never, never celebrated in Cameroon because it wasn't a British colony. It was France. Turning 11 February into a new day by Cameroon was a ploy meant to get us totally disconnected from the British and from our own history. Empire Day, for all intents and purposes, was a day of remembrance for all former British colonies. It was a remembrance of that moment, that moment when former colonies celebrated the departure of their colonizers. 11 February was meant to be celebrated like in the fall of the Bastille. It was to be celebrated like in the day the great English statesman, Sir Winston Churchill, led the rest of the West to defeat Nazi Germany under Adolf Hitler. It was a day of victory. Had 11 February actually been taken for what it truly was, an Empire Day or Empire Day, we would rather today be celebrating patriots like the Venerable Dr. E. M. L. Indeley, John Goodfuncher, Augustine Gomjua, M. N. Bile, Bernard Fonlon, and you can name the rest. Unfortunately, our day of the Bastille was turned into a meaningless nude day. 
It has absolutely, absolutely no significance to us and will never be. Had the United Kingdom played her role, our decolonization process to its logical end with diligence, we of the former British Southern Cameroons wouldn't be where we find ourselves today. We would be a free people with an educational system of our own, a legal system of our own, a police force of our own. Gendarmes would never be found anywhere near our territory. DOs and all the prefets will be nowhere near our territory also. The French language would never have been imposed upon us. It would be a foreign language. Bilingualism, so-called, would never be imposed on us. Of what good is a French language, actually? What good? Who uses it? Every year for over 50 years, the colonial leaders in Yaoundé promised our youth that the future, the future belongs to them. That they are the leaders of tomorrow. But that tomorrow has never come for any of the youth. The president of France, who is younger than Paul Bia's own son, Frank, took power in his thirties, his thirties. But just take a look at Mr. Bia's government. Not even the minister in charge of youth is a youth. He is dying. In fact, there isn't anyone in his cabinet who is less than 55 years old. But I am sorry this issue isn't any longer about what goes on in BS government. It is about us. It is about us taking back our destiny. It is about the Southern Cameroons and Bazonia taking back its country. French Cameroon, French Cameroon youth can stay with their new day. West of the Mongol, the one thing we need is our own country, our Ambazonia. It is on this account, ladies and gentlemen, that the interim government is calling on every Southern Cameroonian to on Friday and Saturday, February the 10th and the 11th, to stay home and refuse to go out to participate in any colonial festivities Meant to, put, meant to put a nail on the coffin of our annexation. Every home and business, schools from Victoria to Incambe, must be shut down, must be shut down and observe the biggest ghost town of all times. Most especially, we are not shutting down ourselves. We are shutting down this scam this calm so-called 11th February, New Day. Let's do it in honor of our fallen heroes, General Transporter, General Commando, General Isubu, Ivo Imba, General Bia Bia, the field marshal of Ambazonia, and you can name many others who have paid with their lives to free Ambazonia. They will indeed be smiling from where they are, seeing all of us still honor them, and seeing us still determined to keep the fight on till we get to Boya. Besides 11 February, we have banned all Cameroon's elections organized in our territory. Any person or political party planning to participate in any elections organized by La Republic of Cameroon is free to do so, however, not on Ambazonian territory. Likewise, the so-called Mount Cameroon race will not be organized in Boya. Boya will be locked down, completely locked down, ladies and gentlemen. And that is my talking point. I am now going to open the phone lines to you. Uh, to come in with your contributions for the show tonight. The phone line, uh, many of you know the phone line. You can go ahead and uh, make your call. You can go ahead 
and uh, make your call. The phone line is right there open uh, to you to make your call, call in from wherever you may be to contribute to the show. All right. Okay, let me see who is the first caller here. Hello. Hello. Hello, yeah. sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Ground Zero. Okay, and uh, what is in your mind, sir? Yeah, is the issue about the uh, general transporter. Okay, what about it? Yeah, I learned that it was the person that was giving them, who was selling them drug, is the person that set him up. Then you learned that it was a person who was selling them drugs that set him up, okay? Yes, yes. And the pe and the person that was killed with, with um, General Transporter, it, it is the person that set him up. So when they reached there, La Republic, as La Republic succeeded by killing General Transporter, they also killed the person that said brother, uh, uh, General Transporter also. So it was the person and the General Transporter that were put at uh, Bissell Junction. So if General Transporter case. was answering the phone to the person you referred to as the person they were buying drugs from, how did the other guy on the bike uh, get compromised? The, the, it, it, I, 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 did, I did not really know what really happened, but the, I get it from the resource. Are you, wh where where are you? Are that, you in Meme? Are you in yes, Kumba? Yes, I'm in Meme. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Meme. Okay. Yes. That, that is the person that said General Transporter. Is the same person that he was being killed with product, uh, General Transporter alongside. When they kill Bola, uh, General Transporter, they also kill him also. It seems as if General Transporter was in a place alone. That is what happened. What, yes. what do you mean by he was in because a place this alone? Guy, this guy, yes, yes, this guy was really, was a, 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 was a trustful person to General Transporter. Yes, he went up and said General Transporter. They, they, were, they, they were together. To they, were, they were two bikes, as we learn, uh, uh, two people on each, and the first bike, uh, was not targeted. The second bike with transporter and uh, his other fighter, they were targeted. Both of them were killed. For what I learn is that the person that was killed with general transporter is not is not a, maybe it was it was the guy that was selling them drug. Are you getting that? Yes. Maybe it was the guy. So was are you saying that the guy was who the guy was that was giving them drugs? Are you saying that the guy uh, who was riding with transporter was the one selling them drugs? Yes, it was that, the that... one that it was the one that set transporter up. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for the call. Yeah. That is uh, what. Uh, that is your uh, your own uh, information you've gathered. Uh, we don't want to say that is what happened until we can confirm that. Thank you for the call. Okay, sir. Have All a right. nice day. Thank you. Okay, the phone line is open, ladies and gentlemen. The phone line is open. Uh, the phone line is open. The phone line is open. Go ahead and call. You want to talk about transporter. You want to talk about uh, Nigeria, laying claims, fresh claims over Bakasi. You want to talk about 11 February. Uh, from my talking point, uh, the line is open. Now, another person, uh, let, let me see. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Mr. President. Hello, Frank. Yes, I just wanted to say something about uh, Nigeria, Cameroon, and the Bakasi uh, issue. Okay. Yeah, uh, I want to let uh, the people from Bazonia know that uh, if they go back to 
history and they revisit all the presidential elections in Nigeria, they will realize that whenever Nigeria is uh, about to have a presidential election, they will bring the Bakasi Peninsula case up. These guys are using that uh, option to boost support, to get people vote for them because they think that they're making their people think that Bakasi is their territory that has been, however, ceded to uh, Ambazonia or Cameroon unjustly. So when they get out with that narratives, people and they say, oh, they want to go back and re reconquer Bakasi, there are a lot of people that will buy those ideas and they start falling in for them. Well, I don't think that On that line of thought makes a lot of sense because uh, if the incumbent administration was running for elections, you would think they may want to use that as a tactic to war the people in that region to vote them in power, but they are not. Uh, the party in power is not in fact. Uh, remember, uh, uh, who is name? Uh, Buhari is not, uh, is uh, what ADP. And uh, there is no way ADP is going to retain power in Nigeria. It would either have to be Tinibu with PDP or, uh, or be with the Labour Party. Uh, the ADP, AP, is what? Uh, ADP, yes, cannot, cannot do it. So I, I don't think that is it. And also remember. Uh, this is the federal government trying to wage a war uh, against Cameroon. It is none of the party, it is none of the campaigners yes. or, or, or the politicians. Yes, it is a federal government against Cameroon. Look, if somebody had told you in 1990s, in 1992, up to that time, that, you know, Paul Bia will win that election, no, nobody could believe that because even at the presidency, Paul Bia lost the elections, you know, at the presidency, his bodyguards did not vote for him. But politics in Africa is a very dirty or nasty game. And so whatever they can do to, you know, make people fall for them, they will do that. All right. They thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Let me take other callers here. Thank you for the call. Thank you. All right. Uh, this is a bad connection. All right, this is a bad connection. Uh, yeah, I I don't think that that uh, argument uh, uh, makes a lot of sense because Buhari is leaving. Why would he go and uh, attack Cameroon, a Cameroonian territory, knowing that he's not going to be there for even a month left? All right. Hello. 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 Hello, Dr. Fred. Hello, Comrade Chris. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Comrade Chris. It's where a long time. Yes, sir. Where are you calling I'm, from? I'm, I'm calling from Ground Zero, uh, precisely from Mezam County. Wonderful. What is in your mind, sir? Uh, Comrade Chris, just for the past few days, uh, I, I follow your program on. Uh, on my uh, handset, then I discovered uh, the, the unity you are bringing uh, on you people on diaspora, which will create a, a more impact on on Ground Zero. So I I, I I praise you for that. Thank you. Yes, I, as concerning the 11 February, I believe uh, we have targeted areas like uh, the Museum, Bamenda. Then we have the Kumba. Those are places that, if possible, that you can. Uh, you, you people were discussing on the location on uh, housing. How you people can migrate forces to those areas. But I think you people should do something so that those uh, those areas they can be targeted. Targeted. All right. Thanks for your opinion. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Good night. Thank you for the call. Yeah. All right. The phone line is now open, ladies and uh, gentlemen. The phone line is now open. Go ahead. 
and then call. I know lots of you have been trying to call, but the line is busy. Go ahead and call. The phone line is uh, is uh, open now. Yes, and uh, talking about uh, lockdown, we totally stand with the message of those fighters who are saying schools, schools have to be shut down. We want every every school in Ambazonia to be shut down in respect of this uh, lockdown. It is very critical. Now, let me get to the phones. Hello. 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 Uh-huh. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from La Republic. You oh. come room. Oh, okay. And what is your contribution, sir? My contribution is this. I want to talk in pigeon so that uh, I'm not uh, faithful with English. So okay, go on. My only want to my own two I want to talk now, see. Uh, La Republic, they don't train some B, then they can't train now for some. They can't train now for some place, they send them now for Bamenda. I don't see about uh, three buses, they don't pass now, they go Bamenda. You saw so them when? You, you see them when? Yesterday. You see them where? They for they for, for, for Douala? No, for Kongsamba site. Kongsamba site. We did claim. I don't. I don't even see some one of my friend, one of my brother inside. I call him, and she, he he told me that they are going now to Bamenda. Yeah, that your brother so, the the army, Cameroon army. Uh huh. He join Cameroon army. I don't join. No say na waste product. I don't tell him say thing where to go for day for go fight. He no say na he to go because I don't want it. Uh -huh. And they did train some one them around the, some area for here. Okay, you fit you fit for you fit for text me your name after this show. So if you call you, if you see your message, then call you. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. All right, good. I'm waiting. Thanks for the call. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling for California. Okay, wonderful. And uh, what is in your mind, sir? Yeah, I just want to thank you so much for all what you have been doing. Uh, I will start here with, uh, the, with the issue of uh, general transporter. Okay. Uh, I just want to I just want to say that please. Um, we the, 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 we have taxis. We did not make a so we did not make it a general song. When our own died, because we, go, we uh, song to also kill the spirit. Uh, look at the, the Republic, for example. We have been killing them every day, but you don't know anything. They keep it in silent. So when we make it a song, we put it everywhere. Make it a song that is jubilating. They jubilate, and why we are crying? They jubilate. And point number two. Uh, all right, uh, all right. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on there. Uh, okay. Comrade, we are not a country yet like La Republic of Cameroon. We are still standing on our country by faith. Uh, and we don't just allow our heroes to die and we forget them, isn't it? We just say, okay, for strategic reasons, yeah. let us not talk about them, isn't it? We, we can't do that, right? I mean, to their families, yeah. it will look like they lived and sacrificed their lives for us when they are gone everybody is quiet isn't it we have to yeah, and it doesn't speak it send a good message also to the boys who are still fighting for us because if they know that after they are killed they are gone and nobody remembers them is that any encouragement for them to be in the bush and fight it's true and uh, especially mounting too much pictures and showing the world pictures uh, is it the kill the spirit when when we look at pictures or the other thing because the, no 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 it doesn't, no, it doesn't kill the spirit we do that for that moment and move on at least to send a message of solidarity of condolences to the families and of course the fighters who were fighting with him again okay point just, number two 
Uh, again, imagine you were fighting with transporter, and transporter is gone, and the interim government does nothing, uh, ABS does nothing. To them, it's like uh, they're just sacrificing for nothing because when they are dead and gone, nobody would think about them. But go on, the yeah, next, maybe the next you, point. Yeah, yeah, point, point number two. Uh, in any war, we have strategies. We did not just go on fighting, fighting. We, we have been fighting this war for more than six years. But our, our strategy this time, if we are fighting not to cross the border, we will, this war will always be on our own side. We will never go anywhere. Look at how the they, 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 Republic are coming in, burning houses. That is their own strategy. It will feel that we'll only be defending, only hope in the homeland we deceive ourselves. If we are planning never to go out, we are, we are only joking. We are not doing anything. Well, uh, you, make a, you make a good point there. You make a good point there. I don't want to say anything about it more than you have said. Uh, it's a good point. It's a good strategy. However, I will say that to cross the border and do what they are doing in our territory, cause the damage that the Republic is causing on our territory, we need faithful and committed people uh, who can carry out such missions. Uh, it's not enough to just say it. We have to have dependable guys who can carry on such mission. That is what I would say. And if, okay, and if you. you know any, let us know. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the call. All right. So let me see these messages here. All right. Thank you, sir. I see the message and I see the name. Uh, the phone line is open, ladies and gentlemen. The phone line is open. Now, this person writes, Okada riders in Kumba should be very careful. They are the ones going against Ghost Town. Now, I have heard this again and again, that Okada riders in Kumba, they are the only group violating lockdown in Ghost Towns inside Kumba. Well, let me pass a message to all of you. All of you, I, I really hope you listen to me if you are. An Okada rider inside Kumba, and you can hear me, and you can hear me. Take this message to every other Okada rider inside Kumba City. When you are taken down, La Republic the Cameroon government will not buy you a new Okada. You will have to suffer it, and perhaps your family too will have to suffer it. We have learned of this news again and again and again that inside Kumba, Every ghost town, Okada riders are defying it and going about their business. We send you a message. We will begin to get you off the streets one by one. If we should catch you still riding the streets of Kumba on any lockdown or ghost town Monday, you will be taken down and sent out for good out of the streets of Kumba. Please respect lockdowns and respect ghost towns. That is all I will say to you. Let me get to the next caller here. Hello. Hello. Hello, please. Please, can you shut down the volume of your television and focus on the phone? Yes, I've shut down the volume of my this is no Chris. Yes, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Ground Zero Mesa. Okay, and uh, what is your contribution, sir? Uh, Chris, my contribution, I say, uh, please, I uh, want me to uh, collaborate diaspora and uh, Grand Zero, so that at least, even now, how we would understand each other, both sides. If anything will pass with this side, we will come together, come warm up. Because when this man they talk it on go, the other man they come on talk it on and say no, this no, we don't do this. Uh, Sako, we don't do this. So at the plate and say more come together. At least we we'll come up for one more. The whole idea was struggle for the go front and more we'll succeed for take this to our country. Yes, uh thank you for that. Uh as you know, we are trying to do the best that we can do to get everybody uh 
working uh, together. As far as uh, the restoration fighters are concerned, we are identifying the fighters who are actually doing the work and whether they belong to the interim government or not, for as long as we can tell that they are doing the work, we will support them. We will support them. And uh, as far as collaboration or unity, whatever name you give to it, is concerned, you know that there is a saying that it takes two to tango. We are trying to do the best. I have a good announcement I'm bringing up next week uh, about that. Let us hope that it happens and others see the vision. Let's hope that others can put politics aside because I think if they try to, 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 to play politics over this, we will all play the politics. Thank you for the call. Okay, Chris. Thank you. All right, the phone line is open. I was the one that asked you. Oh, okay, this is a private message. I will get back to that. Uh, let me see. Right. The phone line is open, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still here uh, for about 10 minutes. I'm still here for about 10 minutes. And uh, I get somebody who writes, Kumba is with you, Mr. President. Okay, I want to see Kumba shut down. Now, I remember in Kumba, I learned that they are cutting out uh, uh, practice exercises uh at uh, town green preparing for uh 11th february celebrations we want to see kumba completely ghosted ghosted on the three on the 10 and the 11 completely ghosted on the 10 friday the 10 and the 11 and every school as you have heard it every school beginning the seventh should be shut down if any school is open after the 7 through the 11 well again you will be shut down now indefinitely indefinitely we are still in control all right let me get to the phones hello <coughs> hello hello sir where are you calling from calling from Meme county wonderful what is in your mind sir yeah, comrade. I just get my own uh, proposal. Okay. Yeah. But concerning this our lockdown, I'd be like if a week to the lockdown we we'll get a strategic we we'll get a strategic place for we'll just set it at place, even if put even if explosive. A week to the like if there's this Monday to 11 February, look, we look on strategic place, we bomb, put, we bomb them down. But they remain the heart of this Meme Kumba and look on some particular place with it. Eh? We, we make some explosive, we tumble the whole Kumba. Because two weeks we reserve for Kumba, all this uh, okay. uh, um, uh, business people they do work with collaboration with the military. Yeah, ho hold on there, hold, hold on there. You be very correct. This war, now a liberation war, and civilians, they not feel leave everything into the hands of the AROF. No, civilians, they feel strategically go out to do their own business and go back home as if nothing never happened, right? So this this information where you put them, I know if you uh, talk about them here, you know, say so nobody everything we will talk on television. But with a one may civilian let them know, say so nobody only A R O F if you fight this thing. Young men like Wona, now when I will enjoy this country tomorrow, me I be 53 years old, very soon I will go to 60, then you hear say 65, then 70. Which, which day I will, I will fight, enjoy that country? Now for one I own, some people will not leave them in the hands of A, R, O, F alone. Think where well, you don't talk a good idea, but sometimes when I get for start, do some of this thing them. Yes, why would, 
why you see we now will be will be caught in the middle because all around we they don't plant they don't plant spy and you, the slightest mistake you make and they pick you up so i i be i be praying that some people all make our air arrow a way to get a strategy they implement them for on our behalf because all over the, the military as they bring that the brazaris put up they they, 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 they fool the population and you see kumba population are people who mimbo I know I would just need for the sample then so that they take that lesson. Yes. All right, thank you for the call. That. Thank you for the call. Uh okay. make civilians they do their own they play their own part. Make civilians they play their own role. Uh they feel do certain things where they not necessarily need uh ARF for doing. When I get francophones all over the place, get their businesses all over the place, get their offices all over the place. Uh ARF no must go out for take care of those places. Wuna individuals fit run down device strategy for go after some of those places or some of those things. All right. And it, and this is not only for Kumba, it be for every every part of Ambazonia. Every part of Ambazonia. Uh when I feel do one like that. Okay. <clears throat> uh I uh, see somebody sending a message. Good evening, Mr. President. Please, where is General Okoro? Matazim is possible and the military are feeling free because the fighters in Santa are not working. Okay, we are very much aware of the whereabouts of uh, General Okoro, sir, but uh, I can't uh, disclose that to you at this moment. Let's get back to the phones. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yeah, comrade. Yeah, comrade Chris. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Where are you calling from? From Ground Zero, from Mesa. Okay. And what is the contribution? Yeah, we are to hear you and to see you live again. And we are also happy that uh, on Saturday and Sunday you actually do something that uh, the new from ground zero. Talking yes. about the phone raise at that, that pass of the food. Right. Now, I want to uh, find out from uh, you. You know, the has been locked from the Bamenda Road has been locked now for the past uh, over three, two months to three. Now, the issue is we don't know why the road was locked because uh, uh, the, the, the man called General Sagon, he has blocked the road. There is never a way he has come back to military to prove that he locked the road because he wanted to fight the military. How so, long, how uh, long has that road been locked? How many months? Pardon? How long has that road been locked? For how many months? For about two months to, to three now. So how do people live in the Tubaminda? No way, no way. People live to in the and go to Rumbunda before entering Bamenda. Okay, uh, it's good that you, you brought up this issue. Let me say this. Uh, this interim yes. this interim government does not support the shutting down of any road for that long. Again, we do not support the shutting down of any road for one month or uh, or above, as is the case with uh, the Baminda Road. I have learned that why the road is shut down to civilians, the military. French Cameroon military are still using that rope, and we have not heard a very free, very free. and we have not heard a single report of any of them shut down. So, Actually, it, so it doesn't make any sense that you will allow your own people to suffer. They have to go to Bamanda, they have to pass through Imbunda, and you open the road to La Republic Cameroon Army, and you allow your own people to suffer. I would say to the fighters in Ngo Ketunja that please 
This war is not to make our own people suffer. It is to fight the army of La Republic du Cameroon. And if you will shut down the road and La Republic du Cameroon army is still able to use the road, but your own people cannot use the road, who is benefiting from it? It is not the people. It is, it is Cameroon. You are essentially saying That's you right. are on the side of La Republic du Cameroon. You cannot suffer that population for this long. The roads should be open and you should target the enemy, not the civilians. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. All right, again, the phone line is open, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and uh, call. Go ahead and call. Uh, see, uh, good evening, Comrade Chris. My fall, Limbe, is not respecting lockdown. Type Z and Okada are working seriously on lockdown. All right, thank you for that information. We will shut them down, whether they like it or not. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, can you shut down the volume of your television, please, and focus on the phone? Shut down, I'm shut down. I still hear the noise. I still hear some noise in your background. Yeah, the noise is coming far away. It's not oh, around. all right. Where are you calling from, sir? Yeah. I'm calling from La Republic, sir. Okay, and what is your contribution? Okay, my contribution is this. We know that the war, we do not plan for it, but it came. But they, our heart, a suggestion about the strategy way, we have to take it. Okay. The way we fought, we fought for the six years. Uh, we were supposed to attack, but the entrance, all the entrance was supposed to be blocked, and we fight. Why form a uh, training uh, 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 fighters in the in the house? Let the entrance should be blocked, and we fight against the enemy because you cannot you cannot allow your door open and you are fighting the enemy the enemy will be coming in killing you why you are fighting the enemy you cannot go well uh the army has always the republic army has always been in bamenda in boya in victoria in kumba i i mean in every uh so-called divisional headquarter isn't it so how are you going to shut the entrance well, with me, I think that if we shut the entrance, if we are fighting, attacking them to do, I mean, uh, around the entrance, then we train the all the fighters will be training again uh, others in order to uh, uh, for them to attack those one that are in the house. <laughs> it will be better. Well, uh, if we, are, we are the entrance open, it will be difficult. This war will, will take long. Yeah, I hear you, but uh, it is, I don't think it is possible to shut the entrance while you have the enemy in. Uh, you have to battle them in, right? Thank you for the call, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. All right. The phone line is open. Okay. Okay, somebody is writing. I think this is from, uh, is it Greek or Belgium? It says, greetings, uh, comrade. Most Okada riders are military in disguise. That is why. Now, he's referring to Kumba. And most especially, most of them are Francophones because re ambush would not go out on Mondays. Well, you may be right, sir. Uh, it really doesn't matter at this point who who they are. Anybody will find riding an Okada on a ghost town day, a lockdown day, is an enemy. We don't care whether you are Amber or Francophone. You are an enemy. We we'll consider you uh, an enemy. And uh, that is going to happen. Okay. Again, the phone line is open. Go ahead. Or you want to text a message, you are free to do so. I have about uh, five more minutes to go. Five more minutes to uh, call it a day. And the phone line is open. 
All right, why I wait for the phone calls? Uh, Hello. The president. Hello, Ma Franca. Your voice cannot yes, be heard. Thank hidden. you for the show, sir. I, I just want to uh, say something about the the Indub road being blocked for almost three months now. Okay. Uh, Saga Sagon, who is blocking that road, works directly with Sako. So I want Ambazonians to know that Sako is wicked. Sako is punishing our civilians in a for nothing. Uh, Sagon gets instructions from Sako, and Sako can tell him to stop, to open that road today, and he will do it. So please, Ambazonians, Sako is the one blocking that road, punishing our civilians. That's all I want to say. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. You speak like an insider. Who knows what is going on there? Yes, I know. Sagon gets information from Sako, and Sako is out to punish our civilians. Sako has instructed the fighters in in, uh, in Bui who were worshipping him like God to take a break from fighting. Sako also told his supporters in his cabinet to take a break from fighting after they bought him a, a, a presidential Mercedes. Oh. So he got what he wanted from the struggle and he's out to kill and punish us as civilians. He is the one instructing that bastard, that monster in Indoor to punish our civilians. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's hope that uh, the presidential Mercedes uh, goes to work and uh, get that road open in Indoor. Uh, but I will say this. I will say this to civilians in Indoor. Uh, this struggle or this crusade for a free and independent Ambazonia is your own. Nobody has exclusive entitlement to Ambazonia but all of us. And so I really think that in the people, organize yourselves, organize yourselves, get on that road and let them shoot you down and let us see. Again, in the people, organize yourself. This army or these fighters cannot be against you if they are fighting for you. Organize yourself, get on that road, and let's see if they, if, if they shoot you down. If they are not shooting the Republic to Cameroon's army down, let's see if they shoot you down. I think you should defy them and get on the road and march. All right. Okay, somebody is greeting me from Fontem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to hear from you. I don't know who you are. Uh, somebody right? I pledge 50 euros and I ask for the payment method. I'm waiting. Uh, the payment method for European uh, countries, the, the payment method, the payment method, I think that information was actually posted uh, for you guys to see. All right, so what I will do is I will locate that information and uh, try to forward it to you. Thank you for being faithful. Okay, and uh, hello, good evening, Comrade Chris. A Susan so person from Kumba. I'm living in Brazzaville's quarter newly out. There are two black legs here that are disturbing the quarter people, the quarter. Uh, one, one was happy about the killing of General Transporter. Please let the restoration forces do something about it. I will send you their names and pictures. Alright. Waiting for you, sir. Uh, who is next here? Uh, comrade, good evening. Be reminded that in Boya, all shops are shut down, especially from my 14 to my 17, and from Moya to my, to my 17, and from my 17 to checkpoint. 
even to all GCA board entrants. Taxis are moving within the town and from Boya to Limbe and Dwola and vice versa. Fako is Sako's county, but he does nothing to enforce lockdowns in Fako County. God bless. Uh, thank you for the information, sir. Uh, we are working on that. We are working on getting a force that will man all of FACO. Maybe slow, but it is coming. All right. Thank you for the message, though. Uh, all right. The phone lines are still open, ladies and gentlemen. The phone line is still open. Okay, I just got uh, the payment information here from your for Europe. Uh, I should send this to the comrade who has been asking for that information. All right, thank you for forwarding it, forwarding it to me, sir. Appreciate that. All right, again the phone line is still open, sir. We have a problem in Fontem because. We don't know who is the commander in Fontem. That's interesting. Uh, the commander in Fontem is FM2 by 2. FM2 by 2. The guys you see out there at the funeral service making statements, they are usurping. Again, they are usurping and they do not represent the restoration forces in Fontem. It is FM2 by 2. That is who is there. Thank you for the question. All right. Uh, okay. The phone line is still open, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and call if you can. I have, uh, I have seven, six minutes to the end of this show. At the top of the hour, I will call it a night. Okay, so the phone line is still open. All right, uh, I love to thank again our restoration fighters out there, particularly in FACO, the APRC, with the announcement to make sure that lockdown in ghost towns are completely enforced completely enforced on friday the 10th and saturday the 11. again as i've stated here earlier we are having your backs all of you all of you fighting on the ground we have your backs we stand by you we will support you uh from uh, boyo to Manu, to the BLM, to Fako, to Mezam, to uh, uh, Bui, all of you fighting forces on the ground in Dian, we are behind you. We hope that you mine your territory, Meme in particular, you mine your territory and do not allow that slave master in the name of divisional officer to intimidate uh, you to submission refuse to be intimidated all right lockdown lockdown on the uh, fr Friday the 10th and uh, Saturday the 11th now I remember ladies and gentlemen before I go I have a few minutes before I go I said we needed to make up the four people with a $1,000 club please you can either text me right now or call right now to say comrade Chris I want to put in a thousand dollars to make to be to be make part of that one thousand dollars club please call now the number is there on the screen or you can text me right now if you don't want your voice your name your face out just text me and say comrade Chris give me a call after the show and uh, let me uh, make my payment or make my pledge. Again, the number is right there. You can either text or call. Uh, it is very important. And let me thank all of you again who turn up on Sunday to donate 
$50,679. dollars That is about 30 million francs CFA. Really want to appreciate all of you. Appreciate your generosity. May God bless you all. May God replenish you so that you can continue to give for our freedom. We look forward to the county drafts. The county drafts are coming up. Coming up very soon. Very, very uh, soon. All right. So please, please, uh, for those of you who have not contributed and you want to put in the $1,000, text me on that number or call that number and uh, send in or let me know you want to contribute. Good evening, Comrade Chris. I'm writing from Gabon. I just want to ask the type of firepower to put on ground zero because AK-47 is already on ground. So we need now snipers and uh, heavy bombs. <laughs> All right, so I hear you. I hope you pay in some money towards that. Thank you for the message. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have come to the end of this. Again, I will be back here next week. Uh, precisely, precisely, I think on the Wednesday with a very special announcement. With a very special announcement. I don't know what happened with the... Uh, with the audience today, very low, but uh, let's hope that uh, next week it is a huge one. So please, next Monday, you don't want to miss it, uh, come back for this very special announcement. It is going to be, uh, it, 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 it has a potential to change things and transform the way things have been uh, operated uh, for this struggle, so you don't want to miss that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in again. I look forward to uh, being back here on the on the on the Wednesday. Wednesday. Two thousand and twenty-three. It's a pleasure having you with me on the set of uh, the War Zone again. And um, I have some very exciting discussions to bring to you today, uh, amongst which are uh, the satanic uh, rituals that are happening in La Republic of Cameroon. Uh, of course, we are going to reveal uh, the vampires that are in charge of that country. If you would, in fact, I would like for you to really share the link for this show because uh, the revelations I'm going to bring to you today were mind blowing, mind blowing. So please make sure you share the link and get as many people watching as possible. And of course, again, uh, the other very interesting uh, item that I'll be bringing to you today will be. Uh, the so-called February 11th celebrations, which are, of course, banned in Ambazonia. They are banned in Ambazonia. And equally banned in Ambazonia will be anything related to any senatorial elections. We are at war and there are no elections allowed in the territory of Ambazonia today. Uh, so uh, we are declaring that anyone so, uh, in getting involved in something like that is taking a huge risk. And, and of course, uh, fellow Ambazonians, I have the list of the traitors. I have the list of the traitors, those who are, have accepted to be enlisted to run for those senatorial elections. I have that list with me, and I'm going to read out all the names of the traitors. So tell, uh, if you are on Ground Zero, ARF, uh, all the co our commanders, even in the diaspora, get the names from your regions and communicate those names to our restoration fighters so they are on the lookout for these people to be apprehended. I will read the list for you later on in the show. So make sure you stay tuned and have your pens and papers ready to take down notes because this is going to be very, very informational. Before I go ahead to do that, please, I just want to see the numbers jumping. Yeah, the numbers are climbing, but I want to see them climbing much faster than that. And uh, 
before I, I go ahead, uh, during the pre-show, when the music of our rich culture was being played, our rich culture of the Southern Cameroons, and, and I, I was just amazed. And and I, I, it just got me thinking that this is exactly what these people are trying to destroy. They hate to see us having this rich culture. You know, they don't have any culture. Their own funds, or what they call chiefs, they wear jackets that were given to them by the French, uh, by the white man. So I have, they have no culture, they have no traditional attire, they have no palaces. We hear that, uh, oh, they, 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 to them, they are, the house of their chief is some tattered building, there, just nothing there to symbolize culture. So when they see our culture being so rich and diverse, they are trying to destroy it. And that is why they will come in now and uh, instead of we know that our funds and uh, our funds are normally chosen by by the by the secret society in my culture we call it the queen fund uh, it's called it's, they are chosen by the queen fund but they will come in now and will be meddling in our culture now and trying to choose who is selected to be uh, a fun in the northern zone or in the case of the, the, the southern zone, the chiefs. They are now choosing the chiefs that are supposed to lead us. And that is why you find some of the funds and chiefs acting like they are more out to self, like the public themselves, the people they are supposed to represent. So this is one of the things we are fighting to preserve, our rich culture to be preserved from uh, being diluted with this French nonsense. So, fellow Amazonians, I want to see the numbers jumping. I want to see the numbers jumping. Uh, like I've told you, I have some revealing information with regards to what is going on in La Republic. All the bloodshed that is happening, that has been happening to us, is beginning to happen to them too. And all the rituals and the occultic practices that have been uh, using to hold down the people are now being exposed. So I have some information coming to you. Uh, but first, before I, I do that, let me just uh, bring to you, bring uh, my partner with me, and then I will set the pace for how the program will run. I will bring my narrative. And during the course of the program, we are going to play some videos for you to see exactly, and some imagery that I would like for you to see for yourself what we are talking about because it's going to be very revealing to you why that country is going down the drain and why uh, uh, I'll call it a, vamp a, a, a gang of vampires have simply held that country hostage. And, and why you may be asking why I'm bringing this story to you. I want to lay the foundation, the essence for why we cannot continue to remain with these people. I want to, to make it clear to you why we must leave these people because it is that country is going down a, down a downward spiral. There's no way out for it. And we either detach ourselves from them or we will sink with them down to the bottom of the ocean. And that would not be good. So uh, that is why I want to establish this so we know exactly what this struggle is all about. So um, now let me bring my panel on board. Um, First of all, is uh, none, none other than uh, the Vice President BP Njini, who will be joining us. BP Njini, uh, I'm sure you are there. Uh, I'm, I'm told you are logged in already. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm grateful, Chairman, for the opportunity given me to be here with you and to have this privilege we can share together on this common grounds, reaching out to Ambazonians in this course of our revolution we are settling down for nothing but total freedom, total freedom. And uh, we are excited because as days pass by, when you see the wind blow, the storm rage, maybe the flood will manifest in one way or the other. It's just a message for us to know we are getting closer than ever before. And there is no way to retreat. We have come this far by the grace of God and we cannot back up and we are moving uh, gradually but steadily taking over by the grace of i want to salute all the resilience um you know ambazonian restoration fighters everywhere in the southern cameroons who are standing and resting the flag stall day after day to keep the fire burning 
you know, we are in a very critical moment, a countdown to this in the deception of La Republic, in their wickedness and international hypocrisy with their enablers. And we are proud of these ambassadorial restoration fighters. When I think about those in my county, think about those in Libyalem, think about those in Manu and uh, those in Kumbu and all that they are going through who have decided in determination, just like in every other county, we are grateful for the grace that they put on upon their lives and for God's sustaining mercies upon their lives. We cannot in any time, at any moment, be able to drive through when we have a moment like this without, you know, uh, bowing our heads to them, you know, uplifting our caps to them to say, Kodos, uh, God is seeing your effort, we are seeing your effort, and we are all together in this struggle. And sooner than later, we're going to arrive and uh, to arrive strongly. I want to salute again all patriotic ambazonias and sympathizers of our cause, wherever you are, connected every time I will glue to this media ABS that has stood the, the test of time, not only serving Africa, that we know African broadcasting services, but serving Ambazonia in a particular way. In other words, we could reiterate over and over to say this ABS is not just African Broadcasting Services, but Ambazonian Broadcasting Services. And we are glad that we have you standing with us as sympathizers at different ends of the world, from ground zero, ground one, to the different ends of the world. And we are excited that we can share this moment together, like our presenter said already, Comrade Mike Fussi, share the link wherever you are. Get your friends connected. We have truly moments. Sometimes we just have to bring this X-ray of the reality of who our enemy is so that we know who we are fighting and uh, we will not risk to be victimized by them or their manipulations, which has been the way forward of La Republic Cameroon and all their enablers. So as we dig deep into these things, don't miss it and don't let your friend miss it. Share the link. God bless you and God bless us together. Uh, thank you very much, V. Pinjini. Thank you very much for that uh, very brilliant introduction. To and, and to, um, I would like to add my voice to what you just said there about our ARFs. Without them, there's no struggle. So we cannot thank them enough for their service uh, uh, from the northern zone, southern zone, east, west, uh, and Dian uh, to, uh, to 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 Momo, to to, to Belo, to uh, uh, Manu, Mezam and all over in Gokutuja, they are doing a brilliant job. We, uh, of course, we are not forgetting Meme, uh, and uh, even Donga Mountain in, uh, in Do area, they are, they, are, they are stepping up and doing a, a brilliant job. So we say kudos to you, uh, keep it up. We are thinking of you. Uh, brighter days are ahead, and we are getting to the end of the road with this struggle. Those who did not believe it before can see the signs already, and some are beginning to jump on board. But those who still, those who are still lagging behind, uh, I, I feel sorry for you. But uh, the, the future is bright for Amazon. So I just want you to know that. Uh, yes, I would like to bring on board uh, Dr. Gwambe. If you are there, please, uh, I'd like to see you. Okay, our uh, monitor. <laughs> Glory to our liberation fighters, all the FMs, the foot soldiers, all the legends, those who have passed away so that we can have freedom. And then I also want to extend greetings to all the other liberation movements. You know who you are, all the different pro independent Amazonian organizations, and the members who support those organizations. This year is our year to make collaboration not, not just be a word that we're just saying, but something that we're actually working towards so that we can really present ourselves as the country that we are aspiring to be and deliver our country for the future generations who are going to enjoy it so we're going to have a very interesting show today and i look forward to discussing with my brother NGE, sos danny and uh my brother Tom mike oh thank you very much uh Mugambe. thank you for coming on board again uh, and, and it's always a pleasure having you um uh, I don't know if uh, uh Sama Thomas uh, has logged in uh, if so can i see you please 
Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Comrade Fusti. I don't know if you, can, if you can hear me. I can hear you. I can hear you. I hope you stay that way. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's a privilege to be here with you and uh, the Kumbambe and the VP uh, to share my opinion with the entire Southern Cameroon people. And I want to say uh, kudos to all our foot soldiers on the ground who are putting in all their best to chase out the enemy. It is not easy that we know, but I hope with God's protection, we are going to overcome as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Abu uh, Samar Thomas. It's a pleasure having you again. And uh, let me let me lay the base, the, the groundwork for what we are going to discuss today. Um, I'm sure you all saw the flyer. Uh, we uh, we said stated that um, the vampires that are uh, in charge of La Republic of Cameroon that are devouring people, drinking human blood, will be revealed today. And uh, I didn't just say it's just not a saying. I, I really mean that we are going to put names to the various vampires we may not be able to list all of them but the most notorious ones will be named today uh, you know, i told you to have your pens and papers ready because it will be very very informational what we're going to reveal today fellow ambazonians it just came to our knowledge uh, that the notorious uh uh, uh a guy who has been known to to be committing most of the the, the gruesome killings, especially that of uh, 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 the, the the journalists, the La Republic journalists, you, you've been hearing of uh, in Zogo, in Zogo, in Zogo, everywhere. Uh, they are protesting in Europe. They are protesting in La, in La Republic itself. That the death of that guy is seeming to uncover has been the one thing that those who thought they. They had already hypnotized that country, made a mistake, and they touched that guy. And his death is seeming to unravel the whole system and is causing a lot of havoc among them. All the satanic uh, practices that they were they had performed uh, and, were, and thought that they had everything under control are beginning to fall apart. We have been told that um, this guy called Jean-Pierre Belinga uh, Amugu, Belinga Amugu, who was uh, recently apprehended, I believe it was yesterday, was taken for interrogation. And that during the interrogation, he is beginning to talk and he, he is calling some very big names that have been involved in all of the gruesome killings and disappearances, even amongst the their own cult of leadership. And uh, some of the major names that, uh, some names of some assassinations that, that have been done in the past are now being linked to this guy. And what is he revealed? Jean-Pierre Belinga Amoko revealed that he was responsible together with uh, Ngongo and Laurent Esso in the disappearances of one uh, reverend uh, priest or uh, a priest uh, by name Mbala, what was it? That, that 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 the killing was well well known and they, and, and it, it caused an uproar, but people could not really pin it down to one person. He has admitted that he was the one responsible for it. He and especially uh, uh, Laurent Esso, who is the minister of justice that he was involved in it too. He also admitted to the killing of Ateba Eyene. If you remember, those of you who have been following news in La Republic of Cameroon, Ateba Eyene was one very serious uh, critic of, of the regime of Pobia, the occultic regime of Pobia. The guy was very outspoken and he told he during one of the, uh, the programs he said these people practice uh, the, the, the cannibalism and that they, they pro that they also practice homosexualism and that uh, they, they, they they drink human blood so 
with all these revelations that Ateba Iene was making, they had to do away with him. They killed him. And Belinga Mugu is admitting to, to have been one of those responsible for the killing of this guy. He just revealed that yesterday during his interview when he was apprehended at his home in front of his wife and taken in to their notorious said for interrogation. That's the information we are getting. And not only that, that is not all. In addition to the, the, those two uh, murders, he also admitted that they, in their clique, their clique of murderers, and, and first of all, fellow ambassadors, these killings are done with, with the cooperation of their secret service. Their secret service around the presidency of Mr. Paul Beer is very much involved in these killings. So it's not like, because you know, uh, 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 Belinga Mugu has been very close to Pobia, considered a close friend of Pobia. So it is, he, he does these things with the collaboration of the Secret Service. So now, other revelations that he, he made were that in addition to these two people that uh, uh, they've killed, they have also killed 150 other people whose identities are yet to be revealed in the days ahead. So this story is still unfolding. It's not yet over. They have also killed 150 other persons, and he has testified that he can take them to where these people's bodies were either thrown in the bushes or buried in shallow graves. And he also confessed, he also confessed that some of the killings they do are to snatch people's children little little kids and use them for rituals for satanic rituals that is one of that is one of the crimes they are guilty of they snatch so your child will disappear you will not know where that child is these people have already taken that child for their ritual uh sacrifices and that is what he admitted to so fellow ambassadors these are some of the things that uh to be revealed during this program i'll be bringing my panel on so that we can discuss this but before i bring them on i would like for us to look at an image the vampire club and the names that are attached to them this name these names this list is not uh is not yet uh, exhausted there are still some names that ought to be on the list but for space we have limited to these ones, which are the most notorious. But amongst the vampire club, there are three very notorious persons that you should note here. This will be Amuku Belinga, who is a very wicked person. A guy who once said that, uh, I will play the video, I don't have to say it. What I will play a video of what he said about us, the Southern Cameroons, and what ought to be done to us. So it will be Amugu Belinga, it will be Laurent Eso, and it will be Ngongo. This is the, 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 the very core of the vampire club. Those who are very vindictive, they will kill without any any remorse. So this is the very core of that of that of that of that uh, vampire club in La Rubin de Cameroon. So let us see the image of this club and who is in it. Uh, though it's not exhaustive, but let us see what we have now. I don't know if uh, we can see that image. We can place that image for ambassadors to see this vampire club and who is in it and their identities. Uh, if, if, it, if a technician can put it up so we can see it and see the various names attached to it. Uh, if not, we can carry on with the discussion and that, that image will be posted later on. Okay, we'll continue with the, with the discussion and that image will come on during the course of the program. So, all right. Moi, je pense que euh, c'est peut-être dur, mais il faut que le président République décrète l'état d'exception. Pendant un mois, lors de Varigny, vous savez, quand il y a état d'exception, il n'y a pas d'hôpital, il n'y a, a pas de messe, il n'y a pas de culte, il n'y a rien, il n'y a pas d'école. Parce que vous ne pouvez pas 
avoir euh, le cancer et on vous donne le paracétamol. On vous fait la chimiothérapie. Il faut être dur et ferme. Oui. Au moins pendant un mois et l'ordre ne va rien. Bon, au bas mot, le commandement opérationnel. C'est tout. D'accord. Sur le repli identitaire, est-ce que vous trouvez normal aujourd'hui que les gens se centrent, se replient sur leur communauté Ok. Ok. Fellow Ambassadors, um, I know this is in a language that some of us don't understand. Let me, let me explain to you exactly what... That, the, first of all, the guy you see there, that is the very, the very wicked and evil-minded Belinga Ubuntu. That, that's him. That, uh, uh, what are Belinga Amugu? That's the guy. The guy that was responsible for the uh, torture, assassination, mutilation of that journalist. Uh, first of all, that guy was not just killed. He was, first of all, his toes were cut off, his fingers cut off. And before cutting them off, they pulled his nails. And then uh, they, he was sodomized with a, a piece of wood. And when he had suffered so much pain and passed feces, he was forced to eat his own feces. That is, the, that is how wicked and evil this guy you see here is. This guy you see here. That is the very, that is the demon that is responsible for most of the disappearances that have been mentioned. This guy you see here. So uh, that is what, what he is saying there is that if it were up to him, they would declare an extreme state of emergency in the southern Cameroons. And that during this extreme state of emergency, that what they would do would be that they will completely cut off the electricity. They will make sure that they close down hospitals, close down schools, just bring life to a standstill for one at least one month, followed with extreme brutality. And that if we were treated that way for one month, this that um, we will stop the nonsense we are uh, we are doing. And he referred, he referred to us like a cancer that ought to be treated like cancer and not like a, with like a headache. So that is what he said. So imagine someone like this after poor Bia passes and these are the people running that country and what is going to happen to us. That is the core of why I'm bringing this program today. But we'll get to, to it. Let me bring back my partner, uh, Reverend Jenny. Uh, you have heard what this guy has said. You have heard me narrate his confession or the beginnings of his confession because it's not yet over. He has just started talking. It's not yet over. There are more revelations to come of the gruesome crimes that these people have perpetrated. What do you have to tell Ambassadors with regards to the options that we have vis-à-vis -vis having this cult of assassins and vampires take over that country while we are still attached to them? Um, I think the message to Ambazonians is a very loud and a very clear one to all who have ears to hear. You know, um, when you follow the news headlines on the different news organs around that, or the print media, one has been going through for the last two weeks, you will know there is fire on the mountain or fire in the big house. And all these things, they call for the so-called Ambazonian who have who stood out to want to serve the wicked master at the expense of their own very lives, their own very people, and their own very land. It is a pity, you know, and some people some Ambazonians have decided to follow sheepishly this kind of people who are zealous behind this wicked gangmaster, you know, and they have been distracted. And I think this is a very loud message, a light that is shining to let those who can see the handwriting on the wall to see and adjust before the worst comes. There is a, uh, I'm saying there is a horrible end for La Republique du Cameroon. There is a horrible end for all who call themselves the leaders of that nation. 
beginning with your gang ma grandmaster, Paul Beer, who is the occult master that has been cooking all these things. You just mentioned uh, Belinda, uh, Belinga, Belinda uh, Amugu. Amugu. Yeah. Yeah, Belinga, um, uh, uh, yeah, Belinga Amugu, who is the proprietor of this vision card. Mm -hmm. You know, and when the image is shot, I watch it with a lot of anger. The guy who was interviewing him is a guy that went to prison and even came back for other reasons. But this is a guy who stood out uh, 2017 uh, when this crisis started and other people were mm -hmm. fooling. Like you mentioned some few names besides some other idiots that did what they did. This guy said all Anglophones are good for nothing but should be wiped out. Yes. The president is wasting yes. time. He should have been I think, able I to. Think his, name is, his name is that, that, that guy's name is Obama. Ennis Obama. That's his name. Yes. Obama. His name yes. is Ennis Obama. You know, and um, I regret it that I have ever known this guy. You know, I'll listen to him in any way because you could see the wickedness and the the animosity that was revealed to him when he did what he did. All his friends and all his people who could only praise him. There was nothing they could do. And the Grandmaster, Pobia, and all his ministers, they could do nothing but just to foil the fire. It's true that they didn't go the way he had desired them to go because for him, they would have just threw some petrol all over the southern Cameroons and wiped them out of existence and forget that there was a people like that and see how they can take over their land and manage it to, you know, restructure if it were possible. Now, you just, when I was watching and listening to that name, Belinga Amugu. And uh, you made mention of the priest that was killed. I think his name is Jean uh, Bala, Benoit. Bishop Bala. Bala. Yes. Can you imagine? No, no. Yeah, 20. Yeah, thank you, Honorable. 2017. This guy was brutally murdered. And he was still uh, spearheaded by another Belinga called Mbutu. Who died terribly, I think 2018 in France, helplessly to hell. Why we will not want to wait to see these ones just die and escape to want to go face the judgment of God? We, uh, Ambazonians should know, and La Republicans should know, there are some of them who have confessed to be sympathizers with us on the truth of the justice of our quest for freedom, which must come to pass. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know what message they should be giving to their people, but they should understand an atmosphere of wickedness, of demonism, of the devil's network cooked in that nation. This young yes. Bala, who was killed the way he was killed and threw into the into, into the river. Into the now. Into, yeah, to the Sanaga River. Yeah. yeah now, let, let, me pick from there. let me pick from there. Let me pick from there, uh uh, uh Let me pick from there because um that is exactly why I decided to bring this topic of discussion because some people still do not understand how, what a horrible choice there would be if we were to continue to live with our freedom. And that is why I would like um, uh, Dr. Mbambe to follow your, your, your presentation, which you have laid out very well. And, uh, and before I do that, I want to remind our viewers that, see, I told you earlier that I have also the list of those who are running for the so-called senatorial elections. I will read the list here. So please stay tuned. That list is coming after this after this topic is exhausted. I will read to you all those traitors that are betraying us and delaying our our journey to Boya. We will these are the people. These are the people tying us. They are like the leash by which we are tied to that public. And we will reveal all those names. The people who want to say they are running for uh, senatorial elections. We will read that list has been revealed and we have it here. I'll read it all. And we will have the matching orders to our restoration fighters on what to do with these people when they are picked up. So, Dr. Mwambe, uh, your take again on this. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm going to take uh, questions from our viewers after this. I will take questions from you. If you have any questions to answer, please sit tight at the end. Uh, you can call in and ask uh, whatever question you have. Uh, and we will try to answer it as best as we can. Dr. Ngwame, please, uh, you are, you are on uh, uh, statements with regards to this vampire club that is holding 
a whole nation, including the Southern Cameroons, hostage. And what the ramifications are if we should continue to be with them. Please, go ahead. Well, I think it, it's already a foregone conclusion, you know, and that Mike, thank you for that question. It's already a foregone conclusion that we cannot continue to be a part of that country. My fellow Ambazonians, let us ask this question, right? What happened to our brother, the fellow journalist, uh, Wazuzu? Where is he? Where, where is the speed to investigate what happened to, to this, to, to our brother who La Republic operatives killed? What happened to Gwangandi? Has justice been brought from Gwangandi, who was killed during the, the, the 1990 uprising? What about Mami, Ap, uh, uh, Mami Api? Uh, where, is, where is the justice? Francophones, French Cameroonese, La Republique du Cameroonese, they did not cry for us when they sent out their insecurity brigades, when they sent out their La the uh, Bulu Intervention Rapid Brigades out to kill innocent Ambazonian citizens. And when they sent, when their dictators sent out people to wage war against the people of Ambazonia, they did not cry. And unfortunately for them, they enabled their state to be able to commit crimes against humanity, against other people. And unfortunately for them, the chickens are coming home to roost. This is always the ultimate result when you allow the state to get away with such activities when you don't go out and protest right when french cameroon don't go out and protest when they don't perform sit-ins at palais de justice when they don't go to uh, 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 i can't remember the carrefour that's near paul bia's a a to the palace uh, i don't know if it's wrong point bastos or carrefour but I, i'm trying or be a massive one of those places i'm trying to remember where all that stuff is but when they don't engage in their own civil disobedience to let the state know that what they are doing is not good, what do they expect is going to happen? Mm -hmm. What do they expect is going to happen when they allow their state to fail? These things, what do they think is going to happen to their own citizens once French Cameroon and security forces have finished doing whatever they're doing, in, uh, the, the crimes that they're committing in Ambazonia? And I would even want, I even want to posit that the experience that the Bulu Intervention Rapid is getting by killing Ambazonians in Ambaland when la public starts to collapse the atrocities that you french Cameroonians are going to experience at the hand of your own soldiers right you will wish that you all stood up in solidarity with ambazonians and said you know what my fellow ambazonians my fellow african brothers you all go and form a country of your own like you had when foncha left uh foncha and endele left uh enugu house of nigeria you all leave and go and handle that and we are going to fix you all are going to stay and fix your French Cameroon, so that you all don't end up having to suffer the atrocities. I mean, look at what France uh, 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 helped uh, uh, Ahijo do to the Bameleke mm -hmm. during the Makiza period. Mm -hmm. yeah. look, at, look at all those things. I mean, the, the, the French Cameroon ch ch chickens, they're, they're coming home to roost. That's what I'm seeing from this. And all I personally, what I want, as much as I extend condolences to this uh, 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 French Cameroon journalist who has been executed, I really want to know what has happened to justice for what is it? Yes. justice for the thank you who are still missing up till this very day mm -hmm. the baby who was yeah. burned in oil in pinin what happened where's the justice for that what has happened about the ngabu massacre then now the, everyone in is up in uproar we ambazonians yeah. we need to understand that french cameroonians the republic of cameroonians they will cry for their own they will show whatever emotion they for the you know for their own people and you see they're not showing it for us and it is justification enough for us to realize that we are not part of that country. We have never been their people. They do not see us as their citizens. That's the, the ultimate conclusion of this thing that I'm seeing. And you also- thank, 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 thank you, Dr. Ngambe. And you make a very good point there. The distinction between the way that a public to come around, citizens are reacting to the murder of their own citizen as compared to how they react when our own people are slaughtered, which is basically zero reaction zero reaction our people have been slaughtered for six years now they've never risen to protest now theirs has been they say as i said when you're when you're keeping a tiger for a friend one day it will be hungry and it will turn on you and this this beast that that uh, paul Bia has been i don't know where paul Bia recruits those that are working for him because those around him seem to be the worst of the worst when you look at the guys like this, Jean, Jean Pierre Belinga, 
uh, Amugu, whatever that name is. When you look at a man like Gongo, when you look at Laurent Esso, when you look at Atanganji, Atanganji for Christ's sake, when you look at Eko Eko, all these criminals that Pobia has surrounded himself with, and they are wreaking havoc on the people. And now he has gone into a mental holiday. He doesn't know where he is. And these people are just running loose and causing havoc, and there's no one to hold him responsible. Now, you look at a man like John Fringy, a man we call chairman, Mr. Chairman, we risk our lives for this man. Now, Frundi is, is eating salt from the palm of Paulbia. Frundi is hiding behind Paulbia's diaper for security. Can you imagine that? Frundi of those days, he's now become a baby. He's eating salt from the palm of Paulbia, like a goat. Honorable Samar Thomas, what can we make of our own people, especially those who could still call themselves parliamentarians, senators, uh, all these enablers like John Frundi? I mean, when they see these guys doing the things they are doing to their own citizens, how can they feel safe? Uh, someone like uh, uh, the so-called prime minister, John Gute, who went out and said he negotiated, he was negotiating on behalf of the Republic, and the thing was simply dismissed by a simple minister of communication, and he, keep, he kept his mouth shut. I mean, what is going through their minds? Please, can you can you help me understand it? Uh, 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 Comrade Fusi, mm -hmm. you say we get some uh, country, some talk for country talk say them that be will be will be through all Meaning, if devil for us no day, how do one for outside him manage come for inside come to country? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, la republic for administer the chemotherapy for cure malaria for southern Cameroons like uh, Amugu Belinga. It mm -hmm. is talk. It insinuates it the force. Even naive for We don't know say la republic don't. We don't already administer. That for Southern Cameroons, as far back the year when the Southern Cameroons joined the Republic, mm -hmm. I don't know the kind of chemo chemotherapy we want to be administered again. But think of this a person like Frundi, we would only lay our lives along the line, the, in the line of fire, because of Mr. John Frundi. The same people will protect protect John Frunji, middle administer chemotherapy for John Frunji in the 90s. Now the same people with John Frunji don't go to seek for their protection against mm -hmm. the people where they will protect him. They, they put their lives for, for him. Yeah, so how will we describe this kind of situation if man will not be wicked? How will we describe this kind of situation say a person like John Gute, he goes, she don't call yourself say the Prime Minister of La Republic. Why the Republic is the massacre southern Cameroons? It go on. Every day, at least 100 southern Cameroonians, at least 100 southern Cameroonians in the fall for La Republic, the hungry triggered soldiers with a, a well calculated scheme. With them make them prepare for certain communities, them. Then some certain communities like the John Gutes, they show for day, the visa them. Say yes, go kill them. We 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 they come the test they talk for we about peace, peace for them. Now the one now the kind of uh, peace with John Gutes them, they will come for country with war betide all of them, because we don't accept that peace of refuge. We know we also chemotherapy from the Republic as if we don't also get the dose for given back as chemotherapy. La Republic will be served, or La Republic citizens will be served if at all they will rise up against these vampires we do not give all this hatred of Southern Cabaros for saying no, enough is enough. But as they know, 
They will say, if devil in the top your neighbor, you do not talk. When it will finish, your neighbor will begin them. It will jump for your own. It will come for you. They never finish. They jump, they jump amongst themselves. The sudden come will come to come to take them if they will not start for tear themselves apart. But for the simple fact that they don't ever rise for complain against the injustices with the perpetrator of the people of Southern Cameroons, they will suffer like we will go for protect them after and during their Makiza upheaval. We know we'll still go for give them that protection. And we know we'll open the doors of the Southern Cameroons again for the, for the Republic. Can citizens for jump into as refugees. They will go for Central Africa, they will go for Chad, they will go for Gabon, or wherever the fish in the field go, they will go block camp. Even yes. if they're born on the same day, you know we we'll let them into the Southern Cameroons. Enough exactly. is enough. It's and enough. It's enough. It's enough. Yes, uh, as you really talk, uh, uh, Summer Thomas, it be beyond comprehension. Say so you fit she don't for La Republic to come around. You see your own people that they be slaughtered, small picking that they be blown for their head to pieces. They depict someone them where they, they cry, picking go they scream, they go drop them inside boiling oil. You go she don't there, you they take your chop, you chop, you drink, you be happy, say yes. They did kill my own people. And then you go talk say that one to your brother or to your sister. No, it be just as wicked as the enemy way to commit those crimes. Now the thing that we did it. So I would like when we transition, we will not spend time plenty for these people. I believe so we don't establish the reason where we don't get for again ever consider for be with these people because if not a kind of wicked vampire club this way they in charge of this country they did just wait for me for be a die when they take over and when they take over exactly that recommendation where belinga and mugu it is toxic made they declare an extreme state of emergency now they think that way they could want when they talk about extreme state of emergency means they, they could kill indiscriminately they never leave anything me walk free no person over there like old oh, man or oh, handicapped they will just come out any moving thing they will kill up now now the, now the recommendation that way that we get mad if yeah so those where they take say this thing this this talk and i play may they understand what the alternative way they probably they just wait to me close the eyes then may they go to action but we'll give a free resource before that now i believe say the time it don't come for read the exam make those enable us those traitors, those ones them, where they don't take rope, they did tie we to La Republic, they may continue. You know, say so when you tie goat for some place, that goat don't go beyond the circle where that rope, the rope, the, 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 the diameter for that for that for that rope if you allow it, or the or the radius for that for that rope if you allow it. So we don't be tied to this place for too long we need to break free and the people where they tie we to la republic they are these black legs and enablers where i will read their names here so fellow amazonians now the people in this where they don't agree say they will stand for senatorial elections for inside amazonia for the month of march where they, where they start so i think march 12. now the people in this when i listen their names fine if you go here, person wait there for your own area. You go report it from restoration fighters, may they take care of you. Now, the day they want them for CPDM the day, they want for ACF the day. And uh Marcy, I will please start with uh uh Mar start with Southwest. Southwest, first name on the list. Tabetando Njep Nso will be assisted by a Tengenen Doris Ojong. When I take note of those two enablers. Number two, Ote Andrew Mofa will be assisted by Sona Sona Habibula. Now the people in that that they definitely their own team that. Number three, Mbela Moki Charles. Mbela Moki Charles. Be assisted by Doric Monde Mokoso. Number four, 
Ndube Agnes Ndode Njop. He be assisted by a Koke Joseph, a Longome. Now, uh, uh, Southwest continue. Uh, still CPDM. Number five, Ankie Afyong Rebecca. Be assisted by Nienge Mesembe Gabriel. Number six, Lekunze Andreas Nembo. Be assisted by Amin Mariana Anyinto. Number seven, Lionel Pipanatu Fonderson. Be assisted by John Ebenye Rosaline. Now, uh, I don't know why I don't see the list for AZF for the Southwest, but I will find them. Now we we'll go to the Northern Zone. The Northern Zone. CPDM. Lefon. Eno Emma. Assisted by Shingwa Emos Mbu. Number two. Ngafferson Emmanuel, assisted by Bemi Bobo Alice Tebo. Number three, Nuba Ndosiri Bridget Ndoye, assisted by Lung Juliana Ngwa. Uh, number four, Kebonge Sediki. Bome, assisted by assisted by Ka Oka Emerencia. Number five, Engwe Francis Abi, assisted by Antuka Matilda Mboa. Uh, number six, Fon Tama Hilda Anuma, assisted by Nu Fon Esther. Number seven, Mbufong Carl Moses. Assisted by Osima Fatu. Now, um, we we'll go to the SDF. The SDF. Number one. Vani Gansen Mochinge. Assisted by Ju, by Chi Julie, Julie Suri. Number two. Bo Sule Tega. Assisted by Kenchem Gladys Ashi. Number three, Ajuo Ngam Honore, assisted by Tefu Emmanuel Awonsan. SES number four, Kenyang George Nyang, assisted by Ngorang Abiba Kingwe. Number six, Bingwe Emmanuel Nyugap. Assisted by Seju Chemo Alice Embrico. Number seven, Mafugo Enusa Petiama. Assisted by Isa Rekia Nchife. Now, that is the list of enablers. I believe probably there was no list of uh, the SAF down in, in, of the southern zone. I don't know. I don't have it amongst uh, in the, on this list here. Uh, uh, but uh, if we should have that update, we'll present it to you in our subsequent presentations. But uh, VP and Jenny, uh, we have now gotten uh, the full list of enablers that are ready to betray us this the Judases that are willing to betray us this much. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone on the list that you know, but uh, what is your take on this list? And why, how should uh, our before, people treat them, especially our restoration uh, fighters? Uh, first, before, the, before the VP comes in, please. Uh, there's okay. no use for, for us to... Can, can, the, can the VP wait, wait, wait for a while, please? Okay. All right, go ahead. Can we, can we, can we read the list? Going by county or LGA by LGA, if it is stated that way. No, it is only it is only stated by by zones, northern zone and southern zone. We can we can maybe take our time for subsequent uh, presentations and break it down and find out who these people are 
and break them down into counties, like you rightly said, so that our our ARFs can will be better. Uh, we, we, it will help them to better focus on those that they need to focus on. That's a very good question, but yes. it, it, unfortunately, it was not broken down in that order here. But we can do the extra work okay. and do that for our next presentation. Yes. Um, if you are done, then maybe the VP can go ahead with the statement. Yes, we have another point. Yeah, thank you very much, Comrade Fusi, and uh, uh, thank you, Honorable Thomas, for bringing in that um, need for specification, which is very, very important that we can situate these people. You know, all Amazonians know it will not only be a matter of knowing them and locating them from their local government areas or their counties, but it will be so important to even situate or specify so that at any time, at any moment, wherever they pass through, wherever they show up, because if you have listened to this list here, which I appreciate very much the fact that it has been gotten and brought over the media, it will not end here. The publishing will go on. Now, no, whether it is your relative or your friend or your parent or your brother, your sister, your mom or your father, tell them that they have passed the exams of being traitors for being foolish to be committed in zeal to serve a wicked master against their own very people and against their own very land. There is no possibility for any hiding place for all these people. If you are passionate about this course, you will know that the importance of reading out this list is to begin to treat case after case because some of the people that have frustrated or have delayed, you know, the freedom of the Southern Cameroons and has orchestrated the killing of thousands of people. Honorable Thomas just stay here. Every day, hundreds of them drop because the brutal, foolish La Republic Army have no sense of their own, no sense of humanity in them, no sense of remorse of any kind in them. They are not able to stand the challenge before our Ambazonian restoration fighters. And they go about gunning down helpless, innocent civilians. Though the blood of those people crying everywhere in the southern Cameroons cannot be in vain. Some of you who have heard your names in this list as people who have succeeded to be, you know, pass the exams as traitors. We will not hear us anymore. I'd like you to know here, uh, you know, counting down to what you call the signet elections, we have this manipulative deceptive activities of la republic geared in the name of 11 february we have talk about the mountain race coming up now all these things put together uh the ambassador restoration fighters have come to a point where they don't want to make noise anymore they don't want to talk before acting they have been talking and want before they act because they wanted to sensitize and to warn those who can hear the bell of warning but it, they have come to a point where you will know them by action and not by word anymore. If you have been waiting to hear them more, you will feel them. In other words, you will not hear them. You will feel them. You will see manifestation. And it will be a surprise that will overtake many people. So if your list, your name has fallen in this list or any of your relatives that you know, tell them they have passed that exams. If there is anything they can do, they should do it as soon as possible. We started this program by uh, trying to X-ray the foundations of La Republic the, the, the Cameroon. For those who have senses or who have put their senses together to come to the understanding that these guys, they are bended or committed to want to serve or to want to uh, uh, stand with them are on the horrible downtrend of collapsing. And it is high time they quit away. That was a general message. For, to all of them and on the other side to every patriotic Ambazonia to say there is no reason for us to keep hanging up to all this gang of wicked people this is true uh comrade Mike, you just mentioned here you were wondering aloud how could Paul Bia be doing whatever he's doing the simple truth of what he did or to be able to rest up this kind of people is because of who he is I mean he is he, he's resting of the same kind and that is who they are supposed to be it's a revelator of who the, their leader is. 
and so he produced like the the, the the kindness of who they are and it's high time our people know and take note of this while this lease will be treated at the level of this war cabinet of comrade president chris your comrade in arms which who was too who was too strong to the test of time till now despite the wind or the raging storm every lga will sort it out and one of the strategies that the ambassador restoration fighters are putting in place to sustain to protect to upheld and to go hand in hand with one another with there will be no running place there will be no hiding place that's the simple truth so they very soon as this la republic corrupts down they will have no place for refuge uh, for refuge in that la republic because they, it will not be any country to think about and not okay, even okay. in uh, so Vipi, let them think about Vipi, that we'll, 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 we'll come back to you we'll come back to you um i just want ambazonians also to know because we don't just want to behave as if nothing happened uh, i'm sure uh during the course of the week uh, maybe two days ago you say you may have may have gotten some information that uh, there were some resignations within the cabinet uh while that is not very strange we'll make a quick statement about it uh when uh, at, the, at the end of this uh uh, of this topic, which should be when uh, Dr. Mbambe and Albert Sama Thomas will make their reactions with regards to this list, and they will come back to that and make a quick, quick statement about it. it it's not a big deal, but we'll make a quick statement about, about it before we continue with the program. So, uh, Dr. Mbambe, uh, again, about the list, uh, finish your thoughts, then I'll go to uh, Albert Sama Thomas for his thoughts, and then I'll come back to the VP to make a quick statement about those re resignations, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, Dr. Mwambe, please proceed. Yeah, well, what the, the one thing I want to talk about this senatorial elections, and I say they be a non -start starter for we Amazonians. All those who are on that list, you know, the Amazonian struggle for liberation it resembles that of the United States of America in, in their uh, liberation struggle against Britain. And one of the biggest issues that the Americans were fighting their freedom for was that this concept of no taxation without representation my fellow mm -hmm. Amazonians and my fellow panelists, I'm sure you all recall uh, Dictator Biat's address, his speech to the French Cameroon nation on um, uh, January 1st, 2023. And when you look at the economic policies, the development, the job creation activities that Dictator Bia was presenting, how many of them did he present for Ambaland? How many did he present that Amazonians would be able to benefit from? The iron, the iron smelting factory or whatever they're calling it, which is a huge job creator, where are they putting that? In Francophone area, in Kribi, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. that Kribi area. Ambazonians, mm -hmm. we're not going to benefit from it. So if we are being taxed and, and no jobs are being created in our communities by that regime, and then these same senators do not even have the opportunity to table the Ambazonian war for liberation inside the so-called parliament of French Cameroon, who the hell are they going there to go and represent if they don't even have a voice, if they're not even benefiting from the economic things that we Ambazonians bring to the table of the so-called federation that we were supposed to have to them? It doesn't make any damn sense to me what these senators are there to do. And as a matter of fact, if you even look at it, I'm, I don't even know what kind of political education these senators of Ambazonian descent have, or even if they're even paying attention to the world that is going around them when you are in the midst of a crisis right a midst of a war that is when you are supposed to take that opportunity to exact some benefits from the regime in place which is dictated beer's regime to help benefit what you are trying to do as being a senator and i'm going to give the example of what happened to uh, 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 the current speaker of the house kevin mccarthy when he was trying to become the speaker of the house uh, for the republicans mm -hmm. in the united mm -hmm. states uh, Lauren Boebert and Kevin Gates, they stood firm and they said they've made up the like the 12 or 18 votes that uh, McCarthy could not get to become the speaker. And they exacted some power from him that they could use. Yep. Mm -hmm. they, they exacted some benefits from him. They used that crisis to exact some benefits from him if he wanted to become the speaker. And one of the most important benefits that they exacted was that if he makes him imami, if he no brings some kind law then, uh, for, for vote up, only, it only takes one person to one call person. for uh, yeah. an election to remove him from office. To remove him. Yeah. One person. Yeah. 
Can you imagine that? They used the crisis to do something that is beneficial for democracy. The other thing they exacted from him was that uh, 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 private, some kind of uh, private member's bills that may not be so popular, if I'm remembering it correctly, they can find a way to bring those things up without them necessarily having to be supported by the, by the Speaker of the House mm -hmm. choosing what bills he wants to bring up. So you senators of Ambazonian descent, La Republic, they see that they need you. If you all stood up from the table of this game that they're trying to play, it would disrupt that game. But you all are not even finding a way to take advantage of that situation. And you all should be ashamed of yourself. And what you're Don't even thinking about... Don't you, you, are, you, are reading too much, you are reading too much into these people, my brother. I, there are some of these people, they call senators. They don't even know what it means to be a senator. They, how do you expect them to do the job? Uh, have you ever heard that in La Republic to come around a senator presented a bill and, and pushed it through without... For me, I say yes to it. That, it's, and, a, and, and, it's a robust term. It's a, it's a robust term. What, 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 yeah. yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, what makes it even worse is that my fellow Ambazonians know, make sure you know your enemy, French Cameroon. And in the French Cameroon constitution, the several constitutions that they put together, one of the things that is there is that for each of the areas or the divisions that they have there, it goes 10 senators each. Out of those 10 senators, three are appointed by dictator Bia. The remaining seven senators are voted by council people. And mind you, a majority of those councils are controlled by French Cameroon CPDM operatives. Who the hell do you think yes. they're going to vote to become senators in that country? And if those exactly. council people are at the pleasure of dictator Bia, do you think that when they select senators, those senators will serve for the pleasure of Ambazonians? No, no, no. First of all, I, I don't think, I, I, I honestly don't think we have any parliamentarians and I don't think we have senators. That, that is my conclusion. Yep. Those people there who call themselves senators and, uh, and parliamentarians are just people who are there to take their own paycheck from Colombia for doing nothing. That's it. We don't have any representation. We don't have any representation. That is how I understand it. Honorable Sama Thomas, what's your take on this? Uh, well, what we have in the Southern Cameroons today called senators and uh, parliamentarians are what you earlier described as borrowed, as are borrowed uh, uh, senators or parliamentarians without representation, appointed by the king himself in La Republic called Corbia. But like Amugu Jean Pierre Belinga said, chemotherapy should be administered to the people of the Southern Cameroons. Let me also. Uh, tell all Southern Cameroonians that are going to participate in this charade that La Republic is about to organize the Southern Cameroons called senatorial elections. That we will administer chemotherapy to you. If at all there's a cancer that is disturbing you and there's no cure for it, the cure we have for you is chemotherapy. It's going to be our own chemotherapy. We are going to carry out what we call the M chief strikes against all of you who are participating in La Republic's sham elections in the Southern Cameroons. Let me tell you, there's a, there's a song we're singing, we're singing in the church about the Day of Judgment. The Day of Judgment is coming. All these guys should ask themselves, where will they go? For we are not going to let you go free with all the crimes which you people have committed the Southern Cameroons and are bent on continuing to be committing those crimes, we was a minister chemotherapy to all of you so that others that are coming from behind should learn a lesson from it. For we, we've mm -hmm. put you guys for too long a time and it's not going to be business as usual. Try, is it, try it this time around and see something. Thank you very much, uh, Abu Sama Thomas. We are told that uh, La Republic is already mobilizing their resources to, to put in place for that. But I think for six years, they should know that we are very good at putting to, to, to waste all that stuff. We are very good at just making those that stuff useless. So that will not deter us. We are going to put an end to any so-called parliamentary or senatorial elections in Ambazonia. Now, uh, um, back to you, uh, BP Jenny. Uh, during the week, we were we, uh, we got information that uh, if uh, two of our comrades decided to 
step aside from the government. Uh, while that is not unusual, but uh, and given the fact that there are some of us, or, or most of us have been raised in a country where resignations are very rare. Resignations are very rare and and uh, often seen as a sign of disloyalty to the almighty king leader, be it for Bia or Ahijo. But what they fail to understand is that resignations are a normal thing in a democracy. That when you are given an assignment and it gets to a point where you feel that you cannot deliver on that assignment, it is your responsibility. It is, it is even a patriotic responsibility to step aside when you know that you cannot deliver on on uh, the requirements of that office. So uh, there are some who may have seen it differently. And it's just, uh, I would like for you to, to explain to them why it is not abnormal for things like that to happen in a democracy, which of course it is showing the world that uh, what is called our interim government is actually uh, acting like any other government. We have seen resignations like in the UK, They've had several prime ministers resign just recently. That, that wasn't an outdraw. It didn't create any outdraw. It is normal. You either are able to do the job or you're not. But the difference is how you do it. Isn't that the case, uh, uh, BP Jenny? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chairman and Comrade, for bringing up that point. Um, it is important for ambassadors to know that we are in, though in the revolution, we are doing everything to lay a foundation of true democracy for Amazonia. We believe Amazonia is already worked out in the plan of God and being manifested, you know, and it will be one of the finest nations in the world when it stands, to, when it stands out, when the justice has been established very soon. And even while in the revolution, we are trying to put that practice, uh, democracy into practice. And while the challenges of the revolutions are there and cannot be denied, the realities of democracies are also there, that like you mentioned already. And if our people come to know, like you say, there are many reasons why people may resign on the cause, on the government, in an organization. They re sometimes they resign because of some hidden reason why they don't want to stand the test of time to a point where the light will shine and they, so they had to quit before it, 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 they reach that junction of exposure yeah that, then another reason is simply because they are not able to deliver the goods they have come to the point where they are ended in their effort they, they have become helpless in their effort but whatever reason i could name like five reasons why people or more you know but the truth is whatever reason people may resign from a cause of an in an organization in a nation you know uh it's simply because they there is there is uh, um, they have come to a point where they are helpless and when they do resign there is always something there's a noise of defense and protection and security because people will always talk that is simple truth now uh unfortunately we cannot begin to dig deep into this but it is real yes there's a yes. wind blowing we, 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 we will not call it this is breaking news. It is a news of the reality of democracy. It's the news of the reality of a revolution. Exactly. And and I really want to applaud the efforts of the Restoration Council, who have stood up to the challenge, the fact that they are the custodian of this revolution or mm -hmm. of the constitution, the interim constitution of the people of Amazonia. If any Amazonian has not yet seen the write up of the Restoration Council, they should check it out for it. That is the reason why sometimes people had thought that you you and I, or all of us, were going to be a Dr. Mwambe, Honorable uh, Sama Thomas, we're going to go, I mean, bring that as a four point, you know, you, no. you, you're just bringing it as a side point of something that's happening. And you yes. like ambassadors to be focused and uh, committed out of any manipulative efforts of uh, uh, destruction that will not distract the effort of anybody. I like that effort and I really applaud the Restoration Council. They have called every county, every leader, every passionate Amazonia in this uh, struggle. And they have called all the Restoration Fighters to sit up, shine your eyes. It is a time of no playing. 
and it's a time you need to know who you listen to how and when and why that is a simple truth it's unfortunate like we if we are going to begin to dig deep maybe in the days to come we're going to see but as the restoration council has given an instruction they are working on they are monitoring the situation who is who and why is it the way it is now uh, uh while they are going to be bringing up more information we will bring more light as a cabinet or cabinet members to help the situation to be better understood and um one of the questions ambassadors which when you're looking to out for that right above the restoration council one of the questions you need to begin to ask in your mind who are these people that did resign you know that is the question you should be asking and why have they resigned and ask yourself why have they resigned now what has happened that did not happen or what did not happen that was expected to happen to cause them to do the way they have done that's the simple truth and as you ask those questions and whatever answer you may get from your own reasonability or contribution of other people you should come to this understanding to know this are not the first people and this may not be the last people who will resign from this revolution and who will resign on the cost of the democracy in the southern cameroons that is a simple truth and you should come to the clarity and maturity and certainty uh, on our senses that there is no one man about the revolution for the freedom of the southern Cameroon that is indispensable there is no one man exactly. this revolution exactly. is bigger than anybody no don't ever think about whatever little contribution i bring here whatever little contribution dr Ngwambe or honorable thomas or comrade mike fussy or uh, comrade president creed no matter every one of us there is nobody is bigger and nobody is all sufficient to carry this revolution to where it's supposed to be it is a god ordained revolution we have just x-rayed la republic from the beginning thank you for giving me this opportunity to say what i'm saying x-rayed la, right. la republic from the beginning and the altars of their wickedness the altars of their divination and i've said this and i reiterated over and over and as much as i have time i speak it with burden and cry in my heart because those who become foolish along the line will be victimized the republic is not only trying to terrorize the southern cameroons they have three grounds of their ways of fighting this war the one one hand is intimidation the 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 the, the major number one thing is corruption the weapon of corruption and when when they corrupt they will still intimidate you if you don't comply to our terms we're going to deal with you whatever but at the end of the day when they give you anything they'll still kill you for it but one of the hidden grounds beside those behind those two grounds of corruption and intimidation and um, uh, wicked killing is divination these guys are their enablers have intoxicated them their gang masters are dealing with all that of darkness and at exactly. any moment as we run this race when you are distracted you can be slapped you can be highly manipulated and you become foolish to yourself and destructive to your own very self this is a simple truth of uh, what i've known we don't have time to look, uh, down, uh, uh, to look back just, to bring just, many cases just to add to what you have said uh vp jenny uh, and uh, just not not as you rightly said we don't have to go deep into the resignations uh there's one important thing i want to make uh, clear here to ambazonians of course and that is that as much as it is a normal thing for you to resign from a government how you do it also matters. Uh, there are certain procedures and methods that should be followed. Uh, and uh, when that is followed, it is a very normal thing. But it is the problem is when those procedures are not followed and then it is treated as though um, uh, it, is, it is a bad thing, which is not supposed to be a bad thing. People resign, as you rightly said, people resign for different things, the reasons. Uh, you, you may have a personal crisis, uh, as we have seen. There, there may be some of our comrades who are going through a personal uh, crisis moments, and uh, they may not be properly oriented at this time, uh, and that may be causing them to react the way they are reacting. And we do understand, and we uh, we, we hope that uh, they get back uh, to to uh their their, their, their focus and and, and uh, start do, do do the things that they've been doing before for the struggle but we know that there are some of our comrades who are not uh probably well focused now because of some personal issues going on in their own personal lives uh, and we do understand that 
But it is important that when, when these things happen, that the truth be told, that whatever information is put out there is the truth without any falsification of fact. That is very important. Sure. Uh, and that is what we crave for, and we hope that, uh, like Riley said, uh, the Restoration Council in the days ahead will be looking at it, and uh, we'll, we'll get down to the bottom of everything. But that was not our, the main focus of our presentation today. I just thought that I know Amazonians probably were waiting to at least hear us say something about it. Uh, so I would not like for us to dwell on it for too long. So we are moving on from that. Um, now, uh, besides the um, the uh, so-called senatorial elections, there is also the 11th of February. The 11th of February is around the corner. And that is one other thing that we cannot allow to happen in the southern Cameroons. We cannot allow this sacrilege to happen in the southern Cameroons. It is a disgrace. It's a slap in the face of the people of the southern Cameroons, and that must not happen. Dr. Ngwambe, talk to our people, not just our restoration fighters, but our citizens on the ground. Tell them why it is imperative that they make sure this celebration does not take place. Why should they not celebrate this day, Dr. Ngwambe? My fellow Ambazonians, my fellow countrywomen and countrymen, I greet you and I thank you for being Ambazonia. I thank you for believing in the liberation of homeland. I thank you for aspiring for a country that is going to hold dearly to democratic principles of justice, liberty, and prosperity. This 11th February celebration colonial celebration that I call it that's coming up is another opportunity for you to show French Cameroon, La Republique du Cameroon, and the international community that you have recognized that French, the French Cameroon government is dictated via, they do not value you as citizens. And it is another opportunity for you to show the world that we and you are ready for us to have a country of our own. I want you all to look at, you know, what we are aware of that 11th February, what it used to be in the days of, of, of the British administration of, of Ambaland. You know, they called it Empire Day, if, if, if I'm remembering the term correctly. And if you want to look at it, it looks as if La Republic has, not even like they have, they have changed the date, put a different name on it. And if you want to look at the symbolism behind it, it seems as if they are celebrating the spread of their empire into Ambazonian borders. I'm of the, personally, I'm of the opinion that La Republic du Cameroon is trying to recreate the uh, German uh, 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 country or the German uh, 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 territory that existed in those days. And the first step to them doing that is by doing their best to hold on to Amazonia. So when you look at this former Empire Day of the British, uh, uh, what the British were celebrating, and now what French Cameroon is trying to do, it's their own form of Empire Day. Do not celebrate it. This is your opportunity to show civil disobedience because we know not all of you the same way not all of us in the diaspora can pick up the tools of liberation like what our brave heroes are doing to go out and and, and, and engage La Republic on the, the the fields of glory the battlefields of independence not all of you can do that and not all of us can do that so some of the things that you can do are this type of civil disobedience do not observe uh, the 11 february stay at home and while you are at home or while you're preparing to be at home, let me say it like that, begin to collect those items that you can be able to have it at home with you to commemorate those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for us to be able to have a country that is led by Amazonians for Amazonians. My fellow Amazonians, this, all these special dates that come out like this where we can show our civil disobedience, it is an opportunity for us to use those days like what the Jews used their Passover day for, to remember the sacrifices of the people who allowed them to be a people, who allowed them to have a nation of our own. This 11th February is one of our opportunities to show that this is our Passover period. And what can you do? Stay at home. Maybe you can invite family members from around before that day ever reaches, and they bring a particular dish that they bring to your home. And on that day, you all stay indoors and you celebrate 
the birth of our nation that is on its way. You celebrate those who passed away. Our brother Field Marshal of Le Bialet, who, who passed away so we could have a, 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 a nation. Uh, uh, our, our brother uh, um, Ba'aivo, Samsoya, all these people, you know, Mami Api, all are, you know, the Ngabu massacre, the, the killings in Mautu, you know, uh, our, our brothers, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Endele, Fonchak, all our founding fathers, right? Who wanted us to have a nation? You know, Fonan, Gonjo, Gonjo, the, 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 Gonjo, yes, our hero Gonjo, Gonjo was, was killed. Our hero Gonjo, all these people, like I said, Chimbri the second, all these people who wanted us to be a country led by the Use this opportunity to remember those brave heroes. Use this opportunity to re remember Gwagandi, who was part of the uh, some of the initial sacrifices of the early days. Maybe you can get some candles that you can light for them, right? Maybe there's a special prayer that you 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 can say in memory of some of these people on that day to show your solidarity for this this nation that we are trying to bring into being. At the end of the day, we all know French Cameroonese, my public du Cameroonese, and their government, they do not love us. They do not like us. They do not value us. Because as you all, when you go to church, whether they say where you build your treasure is where your heart is, right? Where your heart as French right? Cameroon or my public du Cameroon been building any treasure from our own resources, mind you, that we have been, been bringing to the table. Have they been building any of those treasures in Ambalan? The answer you and I know the answer is a big fat no so as a result come this 11th february at any other colonial holiday that they're going to try to force you my people to be a part of this is your moment to show simple disobedience this is your moment to be at home to commemorate the fallen and i want to thank you all for being resilient and courage and the courageous people that i know you know we are and that the whole world sees that we are thank you listening i hope they are listening that on the before and by the way there's a lockdown for the 10th and the 11th there's a lockdown that means from from the 10th it's and Virginia is completely shut down shut down please do not risk your lives by going out it, it, there's no use for it two days stay indoors it's a day those two days use them for meditation use them for reflection Use them for mourning, mourning those who have been killed. Please don't go and risk your lives. Uh, Honorable Sama Thomas, what can we tell our restoration fighters with regards to their responsibility on those uh, uh, during those two days, 10th and 11th? What should our restoration fighters be doing? We are saying those two days, but they are already they should already be engaged right now up to then. So, uh, well, which we have to tell we are the solution fighters fight and say those two, day, those two days, 10 and 11, now it will re, 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 reinforce, if at all, like the European people, you talk about the region of a terrorist attack. The rate that say from this level to this level. We know she would be in a state of siege or a state of emergency, but we did raise some up for those two days then to a maximum level where anybody where is supposed for the walk the streets of the southern Cameroons. Now our restoration forces where they want to check on the on violators of that day. Whether a public, if we will see you on the streets of the Southern Cameroon for that day, if you know be a, a resolution soldier, we will take you for being La Republic element. Mm -hmm. So if you will lose your life for that day, now you be responsible. So take your responsibility in your own hands. Then you go outside. But if you know say you don't be responsible, you don't know, take your responsibility for your own hands and you ride your wheel. Then on the 11th of February, stay you for your house, for the ghost will be out to hunt for those who wants to see the ghost. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, I think the, the message is clear. The message is clear. 
It's like uh, in those days when we grow up, when you heard that the quick form was coming, you had to run for your life, right? Uh, you run yes. and hide. So that is, a, I assume that quick form will be out throughout the entire territory of Amazonia, and you are not supposed to see it. Therefore, hide with your head. Money uh, head, nine karam, as they, as they normally say. Money head, nine karam. So take your risk and uh, bear the consequences. Bipin uh, Jini, uh, 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 my brother, Dr. Kwambe, uh, Honorable Samar Thomas, uh, it's been a pleasure having you on the set of the war zone again uh, for us to talk on these very pertinent issues affecting our struggle and especially educating and sensitizing and motivating not just our citizens but most especially our restoration fighters as we always say fellow arfs your responsibility is to protect our citizens protect their property and take care of our land protect our infrastructure make sure that our 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 citizens feel safe but then take the fight to the enemy that deserves the fight our our citizens are not the enemy you know who the enemy is take the fight to them all colonial administrators all of their colonial infrastructure all of their enablers anything french is not good for you that those are the people you should be going against we do not condone this attitude of our arfs or some of them engaging in behaviors that cause pain on our people i'm here talking especially with regards to the situation that is happening in gokutunja where the road has been locked closed for several months now and the people of Gokutunja are suffering, and they have to now go and pass through uh, La Republic territory. What do you think you are doing? When you compare our people to go and pass through the territory of La Republic and have money extorted from them by their colonial uh, gendarmes and police on the roads, you are not helping them. You are not helping them. That is not what the struggle is all about. The struggle is to bring relief to our people not to cause them to suffer so if there's anyone out there a restoration fighter who is engaging in this habit in this behavior please desist stop and desist from doing that and open the roads for our people to pass freely if you have to do anything go to our borders between us and la republic close those roads nobody will ask you a question but allow our people to circulate freely within our territory. Our people should be able to circulate freely within our territory. There is no reason why an Ambazonian should be stopped from leaving Gokutunja to Bamenda. There's absolutely no reason. And the funniest thing is that most of the times we are told that while the citizens are not able to pass freely, the colonial military are able to pass freely. Then what are you doing? What are you trying to achieve? What's the objective of the, of the closure of the road? If the enemy is able to pass and your own mother and father or brother or sister is not able to pass, then what are you doing? So this message should be sent to whoever is responsible for that action to stop it immediately. And people should understand that after this war, there will be people will be held to account for how you behaved. There will be consequences for how you conducted yourself during this war. And I hope people understand that, that after the war, there are always the trials of those who were engaged in that war for the crimes they committed. So anyone who is causing undue pain on our civilians will be, will be held to account when this war is over. The war is not going to go on forever. It will end and people will be brought to book. I just wanted to make that point and make it very clear. So uh, with that, uh, 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 fellow panelists, I would like for you to take uh, maybe two minutes each and give your closing statements and we will call it a day. Uh, why don't I start with you, uh, Vipin Jini? 
Thank you very much for this opportunity you did give me to be here. I really appreciate it. It's been an honor being here and uh, to rub shoulders with the Honorable Thomas and uh, Dr. Wambe, we can share together for our people in the moment like this, in a time like this. Um, my last words will be a special prayer to all the Ambazonia restoration fighters everywhere they are in the Southern Cameroons, Ambazonia, that God will grant you unusual grace and wisdom during this season. Like most of you have committed already, that you will be known and felt not by what you said, but by what will happen by the grace of God. That the Lord God Almighty will lead the way for you Pave the way for you by day, by night. Grant you grace and increasing wisdom to outsmart La Republic, your agents, their illiterate, brutal army, and to crush them as much as possible. The We are nearer to our victory than ever before, but the challenges are enormous because like he said, the darkest hour of a dawn is just about the dawn. So I my cry is that God grant me that grace and that strength, you know, to stand through. At the end of the day, it will not be a story told without you, but a story told with you and you part of that story. May God bless Ambazonians everywhere. May God grant every one of us who have committed to this struggle, especially in the diaspora and their sacrifices, those who are devoted to the Amber Jews, those who have sacrificed for the last fun drive that took place uh, last Sunday. The doors are still open. We can still hear a lot of people calling, trying to check about the different uh, methods of payment. Keep reaching out and don't grow weary. And the God who has brought this far has sustained us from our limitations will carry us into his plan and purpose and will be fulfilled. Your labor, your sacrifices has never been in vain and cannot be in vain. Read through the Bible. You will know a God of truth and justice blesses his own because his delights using human vessels more than angels for purposes within human spheres for the pride of his own name. May God keep us, may God grant this government the grace it needs at all levels in uh, President Comrade Chris, on your grace and wisdom as we forge our hate, uh, no waxing, no distracted, and no looking behind. Never, not now, never to do. God bless us and God bless us all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Vipin Jenny. Thank you. Uh, that was great. Um, uh, Always Sama Thomas, let me go with you this time. Uh, please, uh, your co closing statements, uh, take into consideration everything we have discussed and just uh, sum it up so we can end the day. Uh, well, uh, for we are the soldiers of uh, a fight over on, on the ground. Since December carried to today, we don't lost five soldiers of Mankong. And how we do lose those five soldiers of Mankong? But because say La Republic it track their telephone numbers, it go move them, particularly within the rank and file of the Babuki for from Mankong, it go move the right for your house, a killer. We don't de shout for wuna every day, say make wuna change wuna telephone numbers. And not the pick on nursery calls of people where you don't know who they call you. But we soldiers on the ground, they need to hear. All soldiers of Southern Cameroons, like it happened for transporter for for Boya, for uh, Kumba, mm -hmm. now tracking of your phone via one of your own boy for your own camp itself, it goes and they kill you. Just two days ago, no PTB engaged in a battle with La Republic where he be lost your phone the day and they get those telephone numbers and Inside nobody, nobody, nobody phone, and all those phone them to be tracked. We don't talk to make we not move those telephone, those sim cards, them burn them, buy back different sim card, and make mm -hmm. fighters on the ground to use sim card for more than one month. Even if it was over more yes. than one month, 
don't give your telephone number just for everybody. You must get a close circle where telephone number mm -hmm. will end now within that close circle. Not give up, even for your girlfriend. Not give up, even for your mommy. Make it remain within one. The telephone number will be for your mommy and your girlfriend. Different one. Make it you know, one way you call your friend a combatant with them. Because now from there, the reason the phone can't kill you. So beware of this fact and change your telephone number from time to time. If possible, you get a foreign number, not ever use that foreign number for call in number of La Republic. For once you call that, for, that, that the number of La Republic with that phone number, they will keep the number and they will start to the follow up who said that number they come out and which that number they do. So please, now for the uncertainty. Maybe not take this one seriously. Say all oh, comments on, on the ground with telephone. First of all, phone for Una. Now only some few persons give for the handle phone. It's supposed to be one. Mm -hmm. the commander and the people they did for barrack. With the with the relay information for people they did for field. Maybe everybody give for the carry telephone. Telephone don't kill when I pass any other thing. Please maybe not take this one seriously. So as for leave, for see the freedom we will not ever get myself involved into. Thank you. Thank you again, uh, Officer Thomas, for joining us again today on the set of the war zone. It was a pleasure having you. Uh, Dr. Gwambe, please, uh, your own final thoughts. My own final thoughts is that I want to make sure that, I, you know, to uh, uh, my brother Sama Thomas, honorable, you know, my condolences on behalf of the people of Ambazonia to to the, the, the soldiers and the families of the soldiers who were lost in your community. I also want to extend condolences to the, the family of one of our legends, one of our heroes, one of our greats. This is none other than on behalf of the people of Ambazonia. I want to thank you, General Transport, for serving the people of Ambalan with distinction, right? With the valor that you, you displayed. I mean, you were a soldier that every Amazonian liberation fighter could emulate. We never heard yes. your name associated with any kind of funny thing like kidnapping and ransom taking, none of that nonsense. But we heard your name associated with engaging the enemy and ensuring that yes. our brothers were would receive the items that they needed to liberate us. So I really want to thank you for your service. My fellow Amazonians, you all know 11th, this 11th February is coming around. The 10th and 11th of February are days that you should be at home commemorating the lives of those who have sacrificed for us to know freedom, for us to know a land of their own. Liberations, right, are won by those who are resilient, those who stay focused, and those who stay committed. My fellow Amazonians, I know you are a committed people. I know we are a committed people. We're going to go through our ups and downs. No one said it's going to be easy. But that is because when it's not easy, when it finally comes, you will value it more and you will protect it. Stay blessed. And until we meet and talk again, all of us here at the interim government, we love you. All of us here at ABS TV, we love you. God bless the people of Amazonia. VP Tamaik, Honorable Sama, God bless you guys, bro. May we, may we talk for back. Uh, uh, thank you, bro. Thank you for coming on. Uh, it was a pleasure today having you. I think uh, we have finally uh, 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 I, I hope that Ambazonians have benefited from the information we have put out here, and especially our uh, ARFs, uh, especially, uh, again, with regards to the list of enablers, so-called uh, parliamentary candidates. Uh, take care of that list and uh, uh, treat it as it should be treated. Uh, no, we don't need uh, to take home any hostages. Uh, yeah, for the Ambazonians, here we are again at the end of uh, this show. Uh, I hope you benefited from the information that was uh, given to you today. Uh, first thing, La Republic of Cameroon has a criminal regime, a criminal uh, vampire gang that that feeds on human blood. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're an occultic society where they sacrifice babies so they can stay in power. We cannot continue to live with these people. It is a no-no. Any continuous cohabitation with these people will only bring us pain and suffering. That is why we must go our separate ways. They don't see us as humans, they see us as animals, as things to be exploited. And we have said 
enough is enough. We have moved on and we'll keep moving on. 11 February is banned in Ambazonia. So-called senatorial elections are banned in Ambazonia. Take this message seriously. The consequences will be dire to anyone who will dare to defy this order. Comrade Chris Arno will be coming on, as you can see on your screens, tomorrow with a very serious announcement. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. A very serious announcement tomorrow, Wednesday, at, uh, of course, you can see the time there, 8 p.m. Amber time. Tune in on time and stay tuned to be informed. Now, uh, with regards to uh, our uh, award program, the uh, Most Productive Fighters Award program, uh, we were supposed to make the announcement of the winners of uh, last month today. But due to some uh, complications, uh, we could not bring you that, that announcement, but I promise to bring you that announcement next week. We'll be announcing the winner of the Most Productive Fighters Award next week. And we'll announce the winner here and the award uh, uh, prize will be sent to whoever the winner will be. I know that in the month of uh, January, we had some really serious actions take place. And we are going to make sure that those who took those actions are compensated. We have not stopped that program. Uh, and uh, uh, during this month, too, because of the fundraiser that we had, we kind of uh, uh, tapered down uh, the, our, our aggression towards that, form, that uh, objective of the Most Productive Fighters Award to allow for people to take part in the fundraiser. So uh, people may have realized that we were not as aggressive as we normally would be towards raising funds for that objective. But uh, towards the end of this month, we will be right back uh, to do exactly what we've always done so that we continue encouraging our fighters, those who are putting their lives on the line uh, for, the, for, the, for the freedom of, of our homeland. We we'll make sure that we continue telling them, look, we see what you're doing. We're encouraging you to keep on doing it so that tomorrow we all can rejoice in a free and democratic Ambazonian. So fellow Ambazonians, I thank you all for watching. You can share the program so others can uh, benefit from it as well. And you can go on ABS, those of you. I know that during the during the show, someone said that they, they could not uh, uh, see, the set, satellite was not on uh, in Ground Zero, but you, you will be able, you'll be given a chance to, to, to to view the program again, especially those who are viewing from satellite, it gets played over and over again. So you have the time, chance to see it again. So uh, thank you all for uh, staying tuned today. Uh, I'll be back again next week uh, for another uh, program of uh, the war zone. So uh, again, please take good care of yourselves and each other. And remember, there is no 11th February celebration in Ambazonia and Senatorial elections, colonial senatorial elections are banned in, in Ambazonia. All right, thank you for viewing and good night. So, Mr. VP, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, SOS uh, Dr. Atenjo. I'm glad to see the day of Momo and to be invited to be part of here. And we cannot do anything better than to open up to God who is there for us, willing to help us in our limitations. So while I extend my greetings to all already in the house, and we are hoping others to join us, we want to open up our hearts, our delights and devotions to God who is here with us, and um, jealously in charge of our cause. In the, so I want us to pray wherever you are, and we open our hearts to him, as we look up to him in prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble to you in prayers. We are glad we are your people and you are our God, the one who created us in his image and likeness, the one who thinks well about us in the great plan, in your goodwill and ordination. 
Yeah, what makes us understand in us, Lord, that from one man you made all the nations of the world. And that you decided, O oh God, men to one man to fill up the whole earth. And you marked out the appointed times and seasons. In the history, O oh God, with the exact boundaries of every land. You did so, so that those who seek you will find you. Though you are never far from any man, the almighty God, the great creator, is delighted in fellowship with this creation. Father, we humble up to you because there was say in you, we live, we move, and we have our being. And that we are your offsprings. And helplessly in our thoughts, in our word, in our actions, we can only look up to you who is there all sufficiently available to hear us when we call and to reach out to us in extension with the favor and all that we need for our life, for our peace, for our well-being, and for our success in this temporal life. We are gathered, oh God, by this media from the different ends of the world with the people of Momo, Lord, as our brothers, our sisters, as part and parcel of the people of Ambazonia, the Southern Cameroons, a people created in your image and likeness, whom you think well day after day in your great plan and purpose, despite the wicked thoughts of the enemies of the Southern Cameroons and the enemies of the people of Momo. Here we humble our hearts to you. We come, Lord, as one man, with our hands together to want to tie a bundle, Lord, that concerns the struggle in this revolution for our freedom and prosperity and peace. We commit all the program into your hands. Oh God, we commit every man, every woman in their devotion, in their commitment, in their zeal, who will step in for this program at one point or the other. All our efforts together without you, Lord, remains unproductive. But our little commitment together with you in charge, Lord, blesses and secures a future which we need. We pray, take the preeminence in this meeting. Oh God, moderate through any human vessel. Moderate beyond human limitations in your power and might, that the little drops of our contributions will make an ocean, Lord, of good success, that will bring joy to this county, Momo, and, oh God, to the people of the Southern Cameroons as a nation in your plan and in your counsel. Father, help us in our limitations. While we come, we acknowledge our limitations one to another, yet we are delighted in joy and in hope of assurance that you are there for us. And when you are there for us, we can be sure our tomorrow, our future is guaranteed. We pray, oh God, there are a lot of goodwill ambazonians from Momo and Lord well wishes of this county and well wishes of this struggle who have been invited to this program, who are falling short of their term consciousness, falling short of their abilities to manage what they have. Lord, we pray, remind them and quicken them. Grant everyone, oh God, who is, who is uh, putting efforts to connect to this program, success, and that together we will make, oh God, a good progress and you will be honored and exalted. Rule and reign through the program and take all the glory in every aspect of the program that no man will take this glory, but you and you alone. You in your great plan and purpose for Momo County, for the Southern Cameroons entirely, and for our peace, for our prosperity, and for the joy of our testimony of fulfillment. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Just Amen. continue with a minute of Amen. silence. VP. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Every time you come down from upstairs, you leave your light on. Uh, yeah. I didn't VP. get the point coming down. Yeah, go ahead and continue with a minute of silence. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Please, I'd like our hearts to be directed to all the fallen heroes everywhere in the Southern Cameroons. Momo being one of the places no, I mean, highly affected during the struggle or all the time of this struggle. So our hearts should flow, flow out to this dear one whose lives have been laid down and their blood spilled as a seed of sacrifice already in the land to the families that are bleeding day after day, crying out to see the victory in this struggle. Our hearts, our spirit, our souls are carried out, stands out with all fallen heroes in the land of Momo County and in the Southern Cameroons as a nation. Momo County and all the lives of those blood spilled as the heroes to buy our freedom, to pay for our freedom remains a part and parcel of the southern cameroons as as the blood of this individual speaks out a voice in the conscience of truth in the voice in the cry for justice to prevail only god can answer that cry more than any one of us and our hearts are directed to in honor to god on their behalf the families are bleeding only God can console, and this is to shorten our struggle with total freedom. May the sacrifices of these souls, men and women, children in their innocence, even foreigners, amongst them servants of God, even in this land of Momo, may the voice of their blood speaks out, and may the voice in the blood of Jesus that became an ultimate sacrifice even for them even for this county and for the southern cameroons all share in the voices of their blood and bring speedy divine intervention that we may rejoice and god will be fully glorified in his plan and counsel amen amen thank you Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Mr. VP, for the eloquence of, of prayers. <laughs> um, I would like to invite um, uh, Martengu at this moment to sing the anthem. Thank you, Dr. Atianjo. Let us all take the rightful position for the national anthem. Hell, hell. Hell this land of glory with the Ambazonians pledge your loyalty. Praise the Son and Savior who granted us the freedom. Allegiance to the heroes who bought this land with their blood. Glory to glory, we rise and never to fall. 
here in a nation flowing with milk and honey. Glory, glory, glory to the Father for making you a nation of joy forevermore. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meeting our needs. And your children shall be like the stars above, the most high God being the, the watchman of this nation. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meeting our needs. And your children shall be like the stars above, the most high God being the watchman of this nation. Thank you, Martingo. That was presented in a very, very I mean, superlative way. So very uh, thankful. Thank you for the anthem. So uh, we're going to uh, get to the next item on our agenda, which is um, uh, invitation of the of the chairperson of the county or the chairpersons of the county to introduce um, uh, the president and uh, welcome, also welcome and introduce the president uh, to this uh, show. So um, we have our chairman here, uh, Chairman Patrick Ngene. He's from Jikwa LGA. He's the chairperson of Momo County. And I'll uh, also take the pleasure to announce to you that uh, the vice chair is uh, Mr. Efren Trombo, um, who is from the, who is the chairperson of Menemo LGA. So, Mr. Chairman Patrick, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Dr. Tienjo, and uh, welcome to the Ambazonian people. I'll just take uh, maybe two minutes to say a few things, and I will introduce the president. And as you know, Mark Tengu, who's been the pillar of all this uh, planning, is the Secretary General of our county, and she is doing a wonderful job to organize everything for the county of Momo. Mr. President, Vice President, members of the Restoration Council, the Chair Lady of the Restoration Council, members of cabinet. Join the meeting. Little did the Republic saw a determined people coming to take their country back. We are here today to draft for Momo County and for Ambazonia. We are a generation that will not build on sand, a sandy foundation, but use rocks that will stand the taste of time. Seven years ago, our country was invaded with a notion that they will clear the agitation within two weeks. As of today, we will be accelerating and escalating to a different level with a draft that is starting from more more. To those who think they will be become black legs and work with the enemy to kill their brothers and sisters or to show their hideout, I say shame unto you. You will not have a place to hide when the moment comes. Momo County is one of those for Momo, for the Momoas who decided to create division within our county. We are telling you today, we forgive you all for the sake of Ambazonia, for the sake of the dying people of Ambazonia. And this county is going to remain one and fight for Ambazonia. This draft today is to liberate Ambazonia. We want you all to come back home. We are one and should keep the flames burning. Resistance and determination is the only solution to win this war. Let's draft, let's draft, let's draft. Ambazonia is our country, it's our place of birth, and that is where we belong. I have the honor to introduce the president, senior community, Chris, who is going to introduce the draft to the Ambazonian people this evening. 
Thank you, Ambazonian people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That is the chairman of uh, Momo County. May we give him a hand of applause? So this time uh, we're going to welcome the president, Comrade Chris, to launch our draft. Thank you, comrades, for putting this uh, event together. Your mic. I'd like to start your mic is off. Are you looking at it? Uh, chairman. Mr. President, your uh, mic is off. Yes, we can hear you five on five now. Yes. Okay, did anybody, uh, uh, one of the armies, please unmute ABC, ABS. Uh, Comrade Chris, um, Mr. President, the only, um, label we have in here or icon we have in here uh, that's associated with you is your name. There is no ABS present. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yoka, the 2023 Momo. Okay, let me see if I can find that one. 2020. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I, I don't know. That's the host. No, he has. Thank okay. you, comrades, for putting. We still cannot hear you, Mr. President. Together. I like to. The twenty twenty three Momo draft is uh, unmuted. Let me see. It's somebody. No, it's still muted. Just one second. One second. Let me see. It was unmuted. Let me see somebody. Yeah, the, the 2023 okay. Momo draft, that's me because I'm the host. Oh, okay. Okay, Dr. Mambe, could you give me a co host, please? Oh, yeah, Jackson. Okay, yeah, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. It's done. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Is somebody sleeping? Yes. Thank okay. you. I'm muted. They took care of it. Putting this okay, uh, event together, I like to. Mr. President, we still cannot hear you. We cannot hear you, Mr. President. Keep it talking. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. President. While we are trying to figure out what is going on with our technical issues, uh, I think I would like to uh, invite uh, the Vice Chair of Momo to, to greet the House. Chairman Ephraim, you have the floor. <clears throat> Chairman Ephraim. Chairman Ephraim. Yes, comrade. Yes, Mr. Chairman you, Ephraim. We have the honor to, to, li to uh, listen to you. We're giving you the floor to greet the house. You are the vice chair of Momo County. Yes, uh, thank you, Dr. Tanjo. Uh, Thank you. 
and uh, ask myself questions. How do we find ourselves here? It has never been our making that we have a homeland that has been invaded by thugs. We have tried to be peaceful. We have carried the branches of trees. We have asked for negotiations. We have asked for peace talks. And those requests have not taken us anywhere, but into the graves. And uh, today, our homeland in Bazonia is littered with graves here and there, some of them unmarked, of our heroes, graves of our heroes. <laughs> and uh, in this situation, what are our options? Do we just fold our arms and say there's nothing we can do? Hell no. <laughs> and everything that we need to use, all the tools that we need to use, to bring the enemy, the talks from the Republic to their senses, all of those tools require money. And uh, I commend the efforts of many of our competitors, our fellow, fellow ambas- my fellow ambassadors, who go, who do everything they can to bring something to the table. It doesn't matter where you work, it doesn't matter what you work. What matters is the faith in Ambazonia. And if you have that faith, you will always have that determination to meet up with the financial challenges posed us by the invasion of our homeland. So to say uh, my children are this. I am a single mother or I'm a single father or I am this or that. You're just exposing the loss of the lack of faith that we all should have in our homeland. And by that I mean if you are in that situation, single mother, single father, motherless child, this and that and that, and then you say for that reason you are not going to do anything then that tells me and should tell most of us or all of us that you don't have that faith because none should hear you idly say there's nothing I can do while the souls of Ambazonians are perishing and our forefathers the Molan Jolly Tumbes the Jungle Funches the Gomjua They are calling on us to come in. They are calling on us to rise up and do what needs to be done to free our homeland. And all you do is you sit back and say, oh, well, I am a a single mother, I'm a single father and all that. Or some turn around and say, oh, we used to do this, we did this, but my this was killed by the so-called Amba Boys. Amba Boys are typically a Tangaji men. Those are the people who carry about it. And how we shall, what we shall do to put this into their brains is what I don't know. We'll put our heads together, but in order not to take too much time, I will say again here, welcome to all. We should do everything and rise up. Our forefathers are calling on us to rise up and do what needs to be done. And everything we need to do goes through the gate of money. Money, money, money. And that's why we are here today. Please pledge as though everything depended on you. And that's what Momo is going to do. I have seen some people inside here that I've not seen for a long time and I'm very encouraged. And I thank them for coming. Comrades, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. And we are here together. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Vice Chair of Momo, uh, uh, Mr. Ephraim, Chairman Ephraim. Yeah, thank you for the uh, the speech, and we are very delighted. The encouragement, words of encouragement. We are very delighted to have you here, and uh, always respect you because you are a real. We are really a comrade. So I just want to, while we are trying to fix our technical issues, 
for the presidential address. I just want to take, to take this moment to uh, give a little bit of information about uh, Momo County. Uh, we have uh, five LGAs in Momo County, and uh, we have many more LGA. We have more and more LGA, Widikum LGA, Ngi LGA, and uh, the last but not least, uh, Njikwa LGA. And uh, in these LGAs, they are, we have uh, fully functional LGAs in all these five um, uh, LGAs uh, of Momo. And uh, we have members of the Restoration Council from all these LGAs, some of them. And uh, uh, we are represented in the ROC from the LGA by Honorable um, Uncle B, who is known as uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable Bruno Atiabet. And we also have uh, our honorable member from Menemo, uh, honorable member uh, known as uh, Honorable Abba, is a member of the Restoration Council. And uh, we still uh, need to have um, more uh, members from the other LGAs to represent us in the, uh, in the Restoration Council. And then we have a team at the level of the county that is actually coordinating affairs at the level of the county. So um, the, flu uh, the, fluid uh, the fluidity in Momo County is really, really smooth. We can easily slide from LGAs to county because we are able to interact, we are able, the harmonization is good, it's very smooth. Um, from the LGA, the chairperson is a uh, uh, chairman, Chris. For many more LGA, we have chairman Ephraim. For Njikwa LGA, we have Chairman Patrick. For Widikum LGA, we have Chair Lady Anne. For Mo, uh, Menem, uh, Mo Ramo, uh, it's still a question mark because uh, even in the day since 2020, uh, we've had a very little or no contribution from Mo Ramo or, or support in terms of coordinating affairs with the county. So they look, it looks like they, are, they operate as, uh, as a county by themselves or an LGA, uh, they are independent. So those are some of our internal issues we've had in Momo, but I know that Momo has been very, very powerful in this struggle. And uh, I know we've always received uh, some kind of questions. Why is Momo quiet? Uh, maybe I should remind us here that the first explosion that took place in the history of our struggle took place in Momo. I remember that explosion that took away, uh, uh, deleted some, um, uh, deleted about eight uh, Ekelebes, and uh, the lady who was the co divisional uh, uh, communication officer was uh, amongst those, the casualties. And up to today, that place is still haunted. The spot where that explosion took place is still haunted. It is in Momo that you saw uh, the massacre that took place in Guzan. It is in Momo where they gathered over six children, boys who were laborers working in a in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a building uh, uh, project in Gi. They picked them up and went and murdered them in in Bali. So a lot of uh, uh, La Republic activities have taken place in Momo that we can all remember here today. So I'm delighted as we have all gathered here today to speak on behalf of Momo, to support Momo and to launch our draft. The beginning is always difficult, but the need for it to begin is always the, is, is, is what we need. We need that courage. We need that energy. We need that. that uh, we need that. Uh, that push in order to jumpstart this draft. And we of Momo, we want to thank the president for giving the pride of place to Momo. I know this was a very heavy burden to be put on the soldiers of Momo, sons and daughters or comrades. But we can say that uh, confidently say that we are up to the task and we're going to start it in a big way. I'm motivated here. I also 
I'm also motivated by the presence of many comrades who are not from Momo, and your support is highly welcome, and we shall forever remember you for what you are doing, going to do today to for, for the draft of Momo, for the support that we're going to receive from you. So um, is our problem, uh, the technical issue, is it fixed, Dr. Ngwambe? To the best of my awareness, I don't think so yet. Yeah, Come on, Chris, are you ready to go? Do we need to do a music interlude quickly or? His mic is open. Yeah. Maybe a music interlude would uh, help. Okay. While we're still waiting even for more to come in. Thank you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, uh, hold on. Yes, we, we are going to wait uh, until you come. So I would also like uh, to say something here. Um, chairman Jackson, that word chairman has, once you are a chairperson, is always you always be a chairman. You know a lot about Momo County and you were the pioneer chair of Momo County. We would like to hear from you, please. while we wait for the president to come on. Chairman Jackson. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. OK. Um, uh, no, the, we're still waiting for the comrades and the uh, VP and entire cabinet and uh, the guest to the moment. We thank you guys uh, for this rendezvous. Um, it's just like we were together yesterday. Uh, we wouldn't understand that this this has been going on for so long. Um, we're here today gathered because of the love we have to liberate uh, our our place. Uh, we know that the, 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 there are a lot of challenges ahead of us, and I will wholeheartedly and honestly thank every individual that has stayed the course. Uh, that have been resilient and that have been persistent all through, all through, all through this this time. Sorry, the I had a call that was disturbing. So um, we thank everybody. We know that, um, or if just a few will get to the promised land. Uh, when we get to the when they get to the promised land, they will make it better for everybody. As uh, you all know, um, our our our, our problem is more. Momo is a very challenging place, but Momo is a very productive place. And it's been like that over the time, and uh, we want to stay like that. Uh, we wish that um, since we're beginning this uh, this uh, draft from Momo, uh, the spirit we have here today, we, we should take it to other counties. Uh, just as uh, we have a lot of guests here today, uh, I want to urge every son and daughter of Momo to make an effort to attend every single draft that will be going in other counties. Because this is like, um, um, you, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. So uh, we have guests here today, and we should be nice to our guests, as we are always nice to our guests. And um, yeah, I, I will want to say something about um, the situation out there, uh, which is uh, the confusions and the innuendos, and uh, some people are just they left so many people scratching their heads. They don't know if we are succeeding or we are retrogressing. But I will say that we are we are actually progressing. As uh, at the moment when uh, nobody, the Republic has not declared victory over Amazonia. It means we are still winning because from the beginning we have been defending and we are still defending. And when you are defending, you are not in a very good position. 
and we are in a bad position, but we are holding our ground. Uh, by the grace of God, one day we'll get to that point that we, we have to be on the offense. And the efforts we do here, the efforts we do, we've been doing, and the efforts we do tomorrow is what is going to take us to the, to the next level of uh, being on the offensive. So in order, in order not to take too much time talking, um, uh, once more, I welcome everybody and I thank, honestly, those resilient um, Amazonians that have been in Momo County and that have continued to stay the course. <clears throat> I talk that to all of you. And uh, by the grace of God, we shall succeed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, former chairman of Momo. You always remain a chairman. You did a great job in Momo, and that is why we are still standing tall. Mr. President? Yes, sir. I hope you can hear me. Can you? Yes, we can hear you five on five. All right. Uh, I really want to appreciate all of you and for the wonderful work that uh, all of you in the Momo have done uh, in the past years of this uh, draft history. Uh, Momo has stood the challenge of every adversity that it has come through and I cannot uh, open the draft without thanking you, especially the leaders uh, out there, all of you the leaders out there in Momo who have uh, made this, who have continued to keep Momo in the limelight. I'd like to thank uh, Chairman uh, Patrick. I'd like to thank uh, Chairman Ephraim and every other chairman that we have out there in the LGAs in Momo. And I'm believing that uh, Momo is going today again to set the record uh, as uh, it has done over, over the years. Uh, thank you uh, once more for putting this together. When we put Momo first, scheduled Momo first for the draft, we knew Momo was up to the task. But uh, before I open uh, the draft formally, let me take a few minutes and uh, do a very special appeal to every Ambazonian listening to the sound of my voice and watching me out there if you are watching by way of television or by audio, whatever means you are listening, please. I appeal to you to take heed to the message that I bring to you today, fellow comrades. The other day, <clears throat> I, I listened to an audio message from a woman I believe is Ambazonian. She was lamenting and literally crying over what she said is about to happen to Cameroon. She said she received revelations from God of certain destruction hanging over Cameroon, and she passionately called upon everybody who can pray to pray for Cameroon. Recently, Many other people supposedly with knowledge of the mind of God have been prophesying about the calamities that are about to befall Cameroon. Some have given it weeks, while others gave it months to happen. The unique characteristic of the messages is they appear for people to pray and pray urgently and fervently for Cameroon. But that is the problem. That is the problem. If my intuition serves me right, that by Cameroon, they mean La Republic du Cameroon, I will not pray, nor will I urge anyone to pray for Cameroon. I will rather reiterate that people Begin to leave Cameroon. If you are Ambazonian, you better begin to leave Cameroon and return to wherever safety and security can be found. La Republique du Cameroon does not deserve prayers 
It dissolves war. Cameroon dissolves obliteration and disintegration, not prayers. If any group of people need prayers in that geographical region or location, it is the people of the southern Cameroons and Bazonia. And Bazonians didn't provoke, no declare war. The Republic du Cameroon provoked it and declared it. The close to 50,000 people killed in the course of the war are Ambazonians. The over 800,000 reported to be IDPs are all Ambazonians too. The refugees numbering over, over 100,000 are Ambazonians. The over 400 towns and villages burnt down are Ambazonians. The over 600,000 children deprived of education are Ambazonians. It is Ambazonian mothers and fathers that continue to bury their children on a daily basis. These are the people that need prayers, not the people living in La Republique du Cameroon. Ambazonians need prayers to be free. La Republique needs revenge and curses for her inhumanity to our people. Fellow comrades, I make this point to underscore the urgency, inevitability, and importance of the draft exercise we embark upon today. We need these drafts to embark on the revenge mission against Cameroon for their inhumanity against our people for the past six years and counting. We have to push Cameroon for enslaving our people, invading our country, and waging war against all of us. Unfortunately, there are some pessimists out there who would want you to believe that we are losing the war, we are losing the crusade for Ambazonia. They will rather die we just settle for anything, anything La Republic du Cameroon is willing to give us. But let me ask them this question. What prerogative does Yawonde have to want to dish to us what they desire? Two sovereign peoples came together as expressed in the 1961 plebiscy. None of them has the exclusive powers to tell the other one what is good for her. That can only happen by another referendum. But this is a subject for another day. Fellow comrades, I urge you, I urge you to snub the marketing being cooked up by proponents of one and indivisible Cameroon that we are losing the war. Let me remind you today of something in history. The Republic of Biafra, with the advantage of 14 million people in 1967, plus international recognition, artillery, and financial support from some African countries and France. France did not make it past three years in the Biafra war. In the contrary, and without any recognition and international support, we Ambazonians have made it past that calendar. We are clocking the seventh year of confronting almighty France and the regime in Yaoundé. If this doesn't motivate you, if, if you can call this progress or success then, I don't know what else it is. Of course, not to deny it. We have had our problems, our failures, and our difficulties. Nobody can deny that. Even so, we have made tremendous progress and we continue to make progress in spite of the challenges that still lie ahead. Let us be motivated by where we are now. 
and what we have achieved and trust that by God's grace, by God's grace, we will see an independent Southern Cameroon and Bazunia soon. The West, the West, we want you to believe that if all of us, if all of us should just come together, get together, that they will agree to give us Ambazonia. That they will finally, finally agree to support us. That is a fat lie. The West doesn't care about the people of Ambazonia. They care only about the white war in Ukraine. We are black people. And black people, they say, ought to be solving their own problems. We have heard this again and again and again. Fellow comrades, take it from me today. Nobody, nobody is going to free us, is going to give us Ambazonia. We have to fight and take Ambazonia all by ourselves. If the West wants you to believe, if we just all come together, they will support us. Maybe, maybe someone should be asking them why they have not done the same, the same for Somaliland. Why is Somaliland still not recognized as a sovereign independent country despite the fact that it has been free for 31 years, ruling herself and conducted six democratic elections. We should not be fooled. Nobody but us, nobody but us, nobody will give us Ambazonia. We have to take it by ourselves. But of course, this is not to say that we shouldn't unite or collaborate. Far from it. Nobody has championed that effort more than yours truly here. The Republic of Cameroon never thought we were going to go this far. You remember the two cubes of sugar, isn't it? Our heads and hopes, ladies and gentlemen, must remain highly lifted in spite of the frustrations and the challenges that we confront along this way. The two cubes of sugar remain very, very stubborn. They remain undissolved. Seven years after, because of your resolve. For the past six years in counting, many of you have given and given and given and given to the extent that sometimes, when I feel, sometimes I feel ashamed to pick up my phone to ask you for more donations. But what choice do we have? We have to make up our minds to continue with this sacrifice. For as long as La Republique du Cameroon fights to maintain the occupation of our territory, Cameroon has no remorse for the destruction and the killings they have carried out against our people. They are currently erecting new military barracks and camps in almost every quarter, almost every quarter in our territory. If God forbid we do not win this war, do you think that those military barracks on camps shall ever leave Ambazonia? Of course not. They will not. They will be used in completing and enforcing the colonization and integration project that we all know is the mission of Cameroon, La Republic of Cameroon, in Ambazonia. Ambazonians, let me tell you today, some of you want to think that the responsibility for funding this war should be the exclusive reserve of certain Ambazonians. I say you are very wrong. Very, very wrong. When rain falls over a given location, it doesn't discriminate. It pours upon everybody and every home. Whether you live in a castle or in a mansion or in a herd, you all get the same amount of rain. If you are one of those who is saying you will not support this war, if you are one of those who is saying you won't give your money because maybe, maybe, what you gave in the past was mismanaged and embezzled. 
If you are saying you won't support the war because action isn't taking place as much as we would have loved. If you are saying, if you are saying you won't support the war because it doesn't concern you, you say, you are comfortable in the diaspora, you say. If you say you won't support the war because, as some would say, they are too divided. Let me assure you, let me assure you that when the rain comes pouring, it won't spare your own home nor you. When out of a plague comes, raising down the villages, they won't think of you. When they come burning down the schools and the hospitals, they won't say, oh, oh, you know, Mr. Ben, Mrs. Angela, or so, so, and so, this is their village, let's spare it. They will not. When Lara Papli to Cameroon comes, sending their Turkish soldiers to kill and maim our people, they won't say that your mother, father, sister, or brother should be spared because you didn't support the war. No, they don't think of that. Whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, whether you support a free Ambazonia or not, let me assure you today, the Cameroon doesn't care. They will kill you in the same brutal way, the same brutal manner. They kill some soya, and Mami Api and the rest with the least provocation. This fight is a fight of our lifetime. It is a fight for a good or better life for our own people and the generations that are still to come. It is a fight for us and the generations after us to live in freedom. It is a fight for a country where people can walk freely without gendarmes, police, the and the military harassing them. It is a fight for a country where nobody shall be considered a second or third class citizen or inferior citizen as we are considered treated today in that country. This war is a fight for a new country where the people freely choose their governors. They freely choose their mayors and the people who represent them. This war is for a country where English is a language where French language will never again, never again be, in fo be forced upon us. It is for a country where common law is the norm. This war is for a country where everybody, everybody is equal before the law and nobody is ever imprisoned without fair trial. That is what we are fighting for. This war is equally a fight for our brothers and sisters who languish in prisons all over La Republic du Cameroon. Perhaps, even more importantly, this war is a war to redeem our fighters who carry their guns and sleep in the bushes. They've done so for six years and counting. They may never get back to normal lives if we fail to support them and to win this war. This is my appeal to all of you today who have been disappointed in the past. Those of you standing in the fringes and those of you with divided minds over the state of the revolution or the struggle, I ask you to firmly, firmly make up your minds and support these drafts. If we let this opportunity slip through our fingers, we shall never again Never again in our lifetime have it. La Republique du Cameroon has figured out that if they can just drag it on and on and on and continue to kill our people, we will grow tired and give up, surrender. When we grow tired, they will give us special status and call the bluff of the international community that continues to call for a negotiated settlement. They pulled out of the Swiss process and have equally 
by their own pronouncements, said there is nothing, there is nothing like the Canadian process. The only process they know and have in their agenda is the demolition and domination of the Southern Cameroons and Bazonia. But we can stop them. We can stop them if we do the right thing. If we can work in unity as a team and pull our resources together towards the common goal and against the common enemy, we can stop La Republic du Cameroon expansionism in our territory. If everybody will draft today and in the weeks ahead, irrespective, ladies and gentlemen, of our disagreements or differences. At this moment, this thing isn't anymore about individuals. It is about Ambazonia. It is about saving, saving, snatching Ambazonia from the fangs of La Republic. Taking over the leadership of this interim government, I promise you that if the means are there, that Cameroon will hear from us not just from within our own territory, but from within their own territory too. Let me remind you again that even though things may be looking slow to come, my eyes are still set on that price. We must inflict colossal pain on the Republic. They will never take us seriously if we can inflict so, I mean, they will take us seriously when we inflict such pain on them. Our people alone must not be left to bear the brunt of a war they didn't provoke and didn't declare. I call on you to show up in these town halls to push these drafts with your best donation. And if you really have to pledge, please, if you really have to pledge, know that when we announce the total figures from here, the public is holding us accountable as if we already have all of the money in hand. So please, if you must pledge, be a man or woman of impeccable integrity who honors and uh, redeem his or our pledges. Today is Momo's day. Ever since we launched the draft in 2019, the great county of Momo has led the way. No county has been able to challenge Momo in this matter. Even the almighty Mezam County with more LGA than any other county in Ambazonia hasn't beaten the great Momo. However, Momo has had to face so many tactical challenges over the years, maintaining an active force and dealing with rogue elements in their county, abducting, extorting, and brutalizing people in the county. At the moment, Momo is back. Momo is once more picking up the pieces. It is once more ready to defend the county. And for this reason, I am appealing to all of you, all of you, listening and watching to please pick up your phone or get on your computer and donate generously for the great county of Momo. Let's keep Momo great again. God bless you all. And again, please pick the phone and uh, donate, draft for Momo. Thank you for listening. Over to you. Thank you, Mr. President, for a well-presented speech. It is often said, let us crack up for the president, please. It's, it's laudable. It was a very laudable speech. And it is always said that he or she who has ears listen. Oh my God, who is talking? <laughs> we'll meet the person. Okay, it is always said that he or she who has ears listen. We have heard from the horse's mouth 
And uh, if there's any other person here who is motivated, I do not think that anyone here is more motivated than I am. I am pumped up. Yes, I'm really pumped up today. Today is Momo's day, and I'm very delighted as we have been visited by very, very important friends, comrades who have come to support us. Yeah, so um, we are going to begin the draft itself. You know, uh, Momo, as we said, Momo has gotten uh, some potential and the potential to deliver. You know, all the insults that we usually receive, you know, you people of Momo, you talk too much. You people of Momo, you know, Momo cartel. We've had all sorts of labels. And uh, we are here to show today that, yes, we are really, really the Momoans. We have the power. We have the end. You have the, we have what it takes to deliver. Mr. Chairman, what do you think? Well, what you've said is just what Momo is up to. And I will tell you, Momo has never and will never let Ambazonian down. We have challenges. There's sometimes they say too many people who claim to have overseas make everything go sour. Momo have the most challenging individuals, intelligent people, dedicated people, but sometimes because those ideas can sometimes clash, but at the end of the day, Momo always come back together. That is why I said those Momo sons and daughters who for one reason or the other fell off the cliff, we are welcoming you back to Momo. We want you to come back home. We want all of you to join your LG and county because we are moving this revolution. As you said earlier, Momo was the first county that taught La Republic a good lesson. And because all the other counties have learned from it, Momo is coming back and it's coming back strong. We're going to do it in a more sophisticated way. Thank you. It's still, I'm still on you, Mr. Chairman. What do you think? What, 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 are, what are your projections for today? Um, my projection, I will give my Tengu to do the projection. <laughs> our okay, and... before, I, before I get to my Tengu to pro do a projection, we have, we, the have the we have the director of of resource mobilization. Ma Franca, what are your expectations for Momo? Resource and development. Resource and development. Resource <laughs> development. The first the resource and development. Greetings, yeah. uh, House, fellow Ambazonians. Uh, my respect, Mr. President, the VP, uh, my dear comrades from Momo, my beloved brothers. The tycoons from Momo, greetings. Uh, it's a bright day. It's a bright Easter uh, afternoon. And we are here to support Momo. Um, the powerful Momo, the powerhouse Momo. Uh, even when we were together, when all the camps were together, Momo was always on top. Uh, now that we pretty much scatter, we will do our best. I just want to greet you all. I want to thank you all. Uh, my beloved brothers and sisters, my tango, uh, doctor, you are the best, Chairman Ephraim, Chairman Jackson, Chairman Patrick, and all the tycoons that I don't know who are working so hard uh, to push this fight to the uh, log logical end. I just want to appreciate you, and uh, we are here together. Today's your day, please. We are inviting all the sons and daughters of Momo, uh, the friends and well-wishers of Momo to join us here today. Thank you guys very much. And I hope that we're going to raise 600,000 dollars. You remember? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the days Momo used to raise over 600,000 dollars? Yes, yes. Those days are gone. <laughs> we remember those days. OK. Yes, we remember those days. Uh, no, no, and uh, no. yes, thank you, Ma Franca. I mean, it's really we, I'm, well. We, let's see what we are able to do. I know <laughs> surprises always come. Martin, go hold your thought. 
<laughs> I just want to invite uh, the SOS or Economy and Finance here to say something. Uh, SOS Mass, this is about resource mobilization, uh, development and development, and is under your department. Can you say something to us? What are you thinking about this day? Wow, 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 Dr. Archangel, the powerful Momoan. Yes, uh, putting me on the spot, yes. Uh, I would like to greet everybody in the house, Mr. President, Mr. VP, uh, the, the chair lady of the Resolution Council, the Resolution Council members, and uh, all the fellow comrades. Ground Zero, Una Place Day. Uh, all the commanders, uh, the generals, the colonels, uh, I greet you all. Uh, it's great to be here in the county, the great county of Momo. Yes, uh, today is a great day that we gathered here. And I'm sure Momo, the Momoans, and all their visitors and guests are great people and would like to see this uh, kickstart with a great figure. Uh, if we have uh, anything above 100,000, I'll be very happy. I like to be a conservative person, but uh, don't don't stop at 100,000, please. But if we can get in 100,000, I'll be very happy. For well, as uh, the SOS for uh, the Department of uh, Economics, Finance, and Resource Development. So that's my inter uh, conservative target. But if we can meet, uh, meet that of uh, uh, the director of resource development, I'm sure she's got some cats underneath her sleeves. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, again, welcome Momoans and all the visitors and guests in the house. Let's uh, make Momo proud again and put them back to where they used to be. I greet you all and let uh, the thing kick off once uh, the... The Momoans are ready. We are ready. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, SOS Mass. Uh, there's a hand up. Matego, there's a hand up. Let's, uh, do you mind if we uh, we give that chance to that, the hand that is up, then we talk? And then you Let's can go give ahead. a chance to him. Let's okay. give a chance to him. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mr. Comrade Sherry, you have the hand, your hand is up. You have the floor. Okay, Chairman. Thank you very much. I salute everybody there. And my special respect to Comrade Chris, uh, who, was, who was working so hard to get us out of this mess. I say kudos to him and above my card, my heart to him and the rest of the team. Please, I just wanted to say we are taking too much time with too much talking. Let's not get to business. I've already put in my $100. Thank you. I wish everyone well. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Comrade. Thank you. Okay, now, Martin, go, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna take a, a lot of time, but I just want to thank everybody that is here and appreciate uh, Ma Franca as well as uh, Comrade Mars. Um, I'm not gonna be, I think I'm gonna be really conservative here because I'm looking at the number of us that are on the, on on the Zoom. Uh, except we all contribute ten ten thousand, I don't think we can get to fifty thousand, but. Oh, I just, yeah, I need an achievable goal for us. Um, let's not aim high and shoot low. So let me just say, if we can come up with 30,000, hoping that we can go above that, that will be fine. Um, so let's, I'm, I'm going to kick off the, I'm going to kick it off with a thousand dollars. I've already paid $500 and would pay 500 within the next few days, if not tomorrow. Yeah, so let's just do the best that we can. Together we will succeed. We can only succeed when we work together. For all the county members that are here, other county members, when you support us, we will not fail you. We'll step in and help as well. My Tengo. Yes. If you, I think you shot us too low. Okay, we, go ahead. We are Momo, and we are not going to keep Ambazonian down. So. Since you decided to go with um, that figure, 
I'll, I'll raise it back up to about 75 and I'm going to go in for uh, 1,250 just to be Good. make sure we get to that figure. Amen. Right. Amen. <laughs> okay. There we go. I hope we are writing. We are writing down. These guys yes, are pushing um, it. Yes, uh, Chairman Chris, I hope your spreadsheet is ready. And uh, uh, Comrade Anne and myself will be taking down some of the payments that are coming, or all of the payments that are coming in to support uh, Comrade Chris. So please, just like the President said, if you pledge, make sure you're ready to pay, to, to send in your payments, please, please. And uh, we will need your name and your phone number so that we can follow up with you on your pledge. So please, let's keep it going. Thank you very much. Good. Okay. Chairman Patrick, you hit it up, $1,250. And Martengo, you hit it, $1,000. So we are talking in terms of big money right now. So I'm very delighted to see how our boys are, are how we are doing. So I'm pumped up. So I'm moderating. I know you want to hear from me, but I'm moderating. So I want to hear from others before we can, you know, I can see. I, I just want, want to hear from you. <laughs> so, yes. may I ask something very quick, please? Sure, uh, go ahead. When, when people announce, uh, are they paying cash or they're making pledges? What part is being pledged? And we need to take the names of those who are pledging so that we can follow up to collect the money. Please. Okay. Very, very important. All right. Yes. Mara Franca, can I give you an assignment, please? If you can help us with taking down the names as well, I would appreciate it. Can you do that for us, please? I, I will do that, but I will be in and out. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, two of us are doing it, and then um, three of us actually, because Chairman uh, Chris is actually noting it on the yes. on the spreadsheet. Okay, and uh, we also want to acknowledge the uh, support from uh, our comrade, comrade Sheriff. He's already paid his one hundred dollars. So uh, can we confirm that? Okay. Um, I don't know. Matt, are you here? Matt, Matt and Google, please. Yes, please. Uh, the, the, the money that is being paid will go on the spreadsheet. Let yes. Just, uh, <laughs> yes, for you, you pay tomorrow. So I will not say it's a pledge, right? Yes. I, I, I can pay any time from now. Okay. What about already... Chairman Jackson? No, Chairman Patrick, that was, sorry. That was me. Oh, that was Chairman Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, 500 is going in right now. Okay. 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 We are listening. Did, did uh, some? Uh, did, uh, I need the confirmation of the one hundred dollars from uh, Comrade Sherry. Yeah, uh, Comrade Matt. Uh, Matt, can you please help us uh, yeah. the account? Thank you. Like what is coming in? Okay. Okay. Let's progress, gentlemen. Let's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us progress um yes um we the floor is still open to uh people uh, go to come in and stay and uh, support us the floor is open so now if you want to like this is a stage for us to actually showcase our commitment to this uh, revolution our commitment to momo and momo is in the house i would like you to uh Chairman Patrick, how did you, how do, uh, what are you thinking in terms of, or uh, uh, how are you arranging it in terms of uh, the LGS coming up to present people who have made their contributions? How do you, how are you going to do that? Yes, <clears throat> sometime down the road, I'll call the LGA chairs to come and announce what they've raised in their respective LGA. Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you. So um, we as we uh, as we flow. So now the floor is open. You're muted. I'm not. Okay. No, we can hear Chief you. Okay, uh, Chief of Staff, you want you were saying something, Doctor Epa? Do you are you saying something? Anybody that wants to support can just put your hand up. We'll call you yes. so I can give you a minute to support uh, Momo County. Also, the payment options are in the chat. 
Payment options in the chat, please. Let's keep it rolling, please. Let's keep it. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it. Let's keep the ball rolling. We don't want it to cash cool. I know I have my special invitees here, or you know, so they know themselves, please. Support. Yeah, I think you should invite them to support to come over and say something about with support you what you presented. So just as a reminder to the invited the, our guest, Martengo came up with a thousand dollars. That is what she's going to contribute. So if you are a supporter of Martengo, put your hand up and say something. Okay, Ma Mary, sheer lady of Fontem LGA. Your hand is up. You have the floor. Wow. I greet everybody in here. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. we can hear you. All right. I was invited here by Madam Margaret Tata, so I want to support her with $50, and then I will support the whole of Memo with $50. That will make $100. Thank, Thank you, you, Ma. Thank you, Ma, Mary. Thank you. And I will, yeah. I will send the money to Madam Margaret Tata. Good. Thank you. Now, um, uh, Ma, Mary is going to send the money through Ma, um, Margaret. So, um, we have received uh, 100 100 dollars and we really appreciate you i've seen your hand uh comrade tobias i've seen your hand you're going to be the next yes so um yes comrade tobias uh thank you ma'am mary uh the chair lady of uh, fontaine yes they always say there's a famous uh statement that crash, scratch my back and scratch your own so we'll be there in, mm -hmm. when um Libialem is going to have their uh uh their their, uh, their draft so uh comrade tobias if the floor is yours that's a more one <laughs> yeah you are muted unmute yourself unmute yourself can the admin unmute him please ask him to, okay go ahead yes i make a pledge of one thousand dollars start making Yay. some payments we'll make a payment tomorrow Good. Wow. That's a mobile one, please. Mobile one. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, what's the form of payment? Through Zelle or what? Uh, yeah, we have it on the messages here. If you go chat. to the chat, you're going to see okay. it. Everything is there. All right. I'll make some payments tomorrow. Okay. Good. Thank you, comrade. And this is uh, brother Tobias. If you get into any difficulty, please just contact me, and I'll put you through. Oh, okay. okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank yes. you. One thousand dollars. We are talking big here. That is it. That that is the kind of atmosphere I want to live in. You know, talk big, do things big, and um, uh, make things work for our people. Our people are suffering a lot. Okay, no problem. Thank you no so problem. much. All right, bro. Doctor Lambert. Doctor Lambert. That is the chair of the Presidential Advisory Council. Park. Yeah. I like that name, Pat. Yeah. So Thank he you. has the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tenyo. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. President, uh, thank you for the great speech you made opening this uh, draft. And I will also recognize um, uh, members of the uh, Restoration Council, particularly I will recognize uh, the chair of the Restoration Council, other members of the Restoration Council who are here as well as uh, members of this government. Yes, um, I'm going to be speaking um, on one on behalf of the uh, restoration of the uh, Presidential Advisory Council. And then uh, my, I will also be giving my little support to uh, uh, particularly supporting uh, Matt Tengu and uh, supporting uh, Dr. Tianjo. So uh, with regards to uh, the Presidential Advisory Council, um, I am going to, we came together and decided on uh, how we should respond to the draft. And um, as of now, we are five of us. As of now, um, 150 has come in. So I'm going to be sending that 150 for the council and hoping that uh, that number can increase with uh, other members being in. Then I will be paying. Um, $200, um, uh, 
hundred dollars to support Martin Gu and uh, and uh, Comrade uh, uh, Tenjo. So uh, I'm going to be sending in now uh, two hundred and fifty. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Doc. Thank yeah. you, Doc. Please, you. Uh, those who are writing, keep my support on a different side, please. I'll, I'll ask for it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Alabad, and uh, the Chair of Park. Thank now, you. I have uh, the hand of Chairman Geoffrey from Bangem LGA. He is a chairperson of Bangem LGA. And one thing I would like to tell us in this house is that since this 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 great comrade took over Bangem LGA some good things are beginning to happen. So, Chairman Geoffrey, we have the honor and the pleasure to, uh, to give you the floor. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. President, and the entire staff body here present, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Uh, I'm the chair of the J as the uh, DOS rightly said, and uh, I'm coming to Omo especially. I think in this struggle, and since it started, I have forged a very, very excellent and working relations with comrades from Momo more than even from my own county. So, mostly Dr. Tanjo, Vance, Canada. Uh, Jackson and Comrade Ephraim and uh, and Patrick. So you're leaving me out. <laughs> okay, I'm Matengu. Matengu. <laughs> so uh, I am here. I'll be representing the Bangan people. Are coming up a group package as an LGA, which I will not disclose here. So that package is still in the process of being put together. When it's put together, I will send it to the to the treasurer and then indicate that that is coming from the Bangem LGA personally. Then on a personal note, myself, I'll be supporting the Momo County with two hundred dollars. So that is my own support that I'll be supporting the county in my personal capacity as a friend to the county. Thank you much. Is that Thank, you. Thank you. That Thank is you. wonderful. Is it a pledge? pledge? Is that a no, pledge? No, it's a pledge. Uh, I owe a pledge that I'll complete next week. My friend is he knows that when that is finished, I'll finish this pledge too. So I'm this one is a pledge. I have a pledge with the with the, deal, with the help, which I paid part, and the other part will be paid on Friday. When that is finished, I'll pay. I'll pay this one to the two hundred in the next two weeks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. Please mute if you're not hearing my pledge. So the total is how much? Uh, so the bank LGA, I don't know how much we are already contributing. So okay. I don't know how much that will come up with. But give me a week or a week something. I will uh, communicate with you, my Mafaka, how sure. much has come in from the bank LGA going to Momo, going to Momo County. Then my own personal own is once I complete the remaining 250 that you already received part, I will send you the other one too of the Momo County. Thank you, sir. You're yeah, welcome. Thank, thank you, you, Comrade Geoffrey, and we really <laughs> no, appreciate you. No, doctor, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. May the Lord bless the hands that are giving. Amen. Yes. Please yes. take note of the payment options on the chart. Yes. Yeah, we have thank the you. payment options on the chart. So if you want to make your payment today and uh, yeah, follow the payment options, we have Zelle, we have Cash App, we have... Uh, um, 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 a PayPal, and we also have a, 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 a like a bank information in Europe for a money to be paid to. So uh, all this information is online. So I'm delighted, uh, as all of us are, uh, we are, we are, we are moving towards the goal, you know, and the goal we shall achieve. So um, I'm going to like while we are waiting for uh, the hands or some other comrades to indicate. Oh, Dr. Lambert, your hand is back up. Okay, you have the floor. Do you want... No. Okay. Okay, good. So now, while we are waiting for hands, more hands to come up, uh, I just want to 
say that um, uh, we in Momo County, we came up with a, li a list of uh, chief launchers and uh, I will go through this list and uh, we'll all speak. I know that we've spoken or we have done taken some actions through our LGAs, but it's good for us to know what is going on and uh, how we are uh, doing things here in Momo. We, are, we have a different way of doing things, and I love it. We, 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 we are one another's keeper. So I want to encourage these members, the chief launchers of this uh, draft today, to say something to us. You know, Chairman Patrick, he has already spoken with uh, $1,250. And then um, Martengo has already spoken with $1,000. Uh, I would like to talk to uh, Chairman Ephraim. Uh, you are listed here as one of the chief launchers. Uh, would you mind, or, or maybe hold on. Uh, Mark, voice of... Mark, you have the floor. Go ahead, before I go to Chairman Ephraim. Mark? <coughs> Unmute. Can somebody unmute Mark? Yeah, are you getting me? Yes. Yes, I, mean, I want to thank everybody for coming up to this draft. Uh, I had a lot of things to do, but I just thought it wise just to pass by and encourage everyone uh, for the good job you're doing. Uh, to my sister, Mark Frank, I, I have a comrade, Mike, I encourage you guys for being there for us all the time. Uh, we are tight, even to comrade Chris. So I just wish to encourage everyone to pass by each of the drafts even if you're chipping in 50 dollars it's okay because we have a long way to go and also for our, our own uh, LG. so i'll make it like i mean something that's usual to be passing by each of the drafts to support the counties or the lgs that are doing anything so for today i'm gonna start with momo since momo is the first uh, i'm gonna support momo we got a hundred dollars and I'll be doing that for all of the counties. So I'm just going to send it now. So thank you. Thank, thank you, my comrade Matt. Thank you. You see, he's a man of action and the action you can see it. He says he's going to do it just right. I mean right now. So we thank you so much and uh, we appreciate <laughs> your uh, uh your benevolence towards this uh, the Momo County. So um now we are moving to uh, Chairman Ephraim. You have li let me just read some names here. We have Chairman Ephraim, Chairman Jackson, Dr. Atianjo, who is not in the house, Comrade Canada, uh, Comrade Vance, Honorable Bruno, Honorable Agodi, Chairman Chris, Commander uh, Commander Fabian, Commander Solo, uh, Commander Wycliffe, Commander Matt, uh, Matt Tengo, who has already spoken, Ma Grace, Ma Mary, Ma Anne, Ma Flo, Ma Vicky, uh, Comrade Canada again. Uh, I think he's a big guy, so he's going to appear twice. Uh, Honorable Sebastian, uh, Comrade Ronel, and Comrade uh, Claude. These are the names, and I'm going to follow them in that order, and they will hear their voice. These people are great guys, uh, great guys and women, uh, ladies and gentlemen who are going to speak loud during this uh, 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 during this uh, 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 fundraising. And as you uh, as you see. Uh, the chairman party has spoken loud. Chairman uh, Martingo has spoken loud. So uh, you don't expect less, right? So let's see what is going to go on. Chairman Ephraim, you have the floor. Yeah. Chairman Ephraim. <laughs> chairman Ephraim. He is preparing. Uh, he's, I think he sent a message that he's preparing. Chairman Jackson. Can we can we take the hand of Dr. Ndone while we wait for Chairman Jackson? Yes. No, uh, I am coming. I'm coming. Okay. Just, you want uh, Dr. Ndone to speak the while we wait for you? Chairman Jackson? Yes, I will come later. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Ndone, you have the floor. Thank you for coming. Yes, Dr. Chanju. It's a pleasure uh, joining you guys here today for this uh, wonderful fundraising. So I know uh, 
Mumu has been the host of this uh, revolution. So that's why I decided to come to also put my support uh, so that uh, uh, Mumu should, when Mumu survive, when Mumu is alive, then the revolution is also alive. So I'll be putting in uh, my support on the dollars for Mumu. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Doc. very much. Thank you, Doc. So you're going to send it through the the payment options on the chat? Sure. I'll, I'll send it through the payment options on the chat, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. What was the Thank amount you. again? $100. $100. Thank you, Dr. Ndone. And uh, while we're waiting for um, uh, for Chairman Jackson to come, uh, I'm going to skip my name intentionally. It's, uh, it's an intentional act. So, uh, Comrade Vance, From Revans in the house, he was driving while we, uh, when we last spoke. Honorable, uh, Honorable Bruno, yeah. Honorable uh, Uncle B. Yes, Chairman Jackson, you are back. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So what I was what I was going to say is, you know, we, we already organized ourselves at the level of the RGS. So um, on, uh, uh, adding to. Since uh, I start, we already started. I started already contributed something. Uh, the level OJ, the chairperson will be announcing. So let me just um uh up that to a thousand dollars now. That is another five hundred to that. Good. That's are you good. making Those payment are, now or pledge? Is that pledge or payment? I, I said I already paid part of it at the level of the OJ. So I'm adding a pledge to make it to take it up to a thousand. Can we clap? Can we clap for him? Yes, yes, we we are going to clap for him. You know, thank you. So five hundred. You know, yeah, you know this guy, uh, uh, Chairman Jackson, has always been a very a heavyweight that we have in the county. So, and uh, you you can always feel his presence in most of our in our our fundraisings that we have had. So, it doesn't come to me as a surprise because I know that it's a norm for him because he's one of those dedicated members of this uh, struggle, which I mean, I can bet for. So thank you, Chairman Jackson, for upgrading from the uh, what you pledge at the level of the LGA um, county to a different new, a new level of, uh, of, 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 of greatness. So now, um, okay, let me go to Honorable, um, Honorable uh, Uncle B. Can you hear me? Yes, we can mm -hmm. hear you well. Uh, uh, first of all, for my president in the house, uh, my colleagues in the house, and cabinet members and everybody, I'm not just happy because I've seen the line of people that so I've not spent my lead, my cheerleading of my of my the administration council given the opportunity to speak here. Neither has anybody from the Registration Council speak here. I don't know what I was by design. I did not official or why was that left out. That said, um, <laughs> as a from the Jackson says, we already organized our stuff in our area. We started paying from there. Uh, I want to up, upgrade my amount already paying by $100 right now. And uh, a thousand as a pledge, that's a thousand minus what I already pay in. Therefore, I'll be paying 500 as of today again. Thank you. How much have you paid in? I'm paying in 300 as a part payment. Okay, thank you. Uh, just so you know, it's a mistake, please. The mistake that we didn't give the Restoration Council honorable uh, and the, an opportunity to speak. Um, yeah, because let me say this, please, because. Um, there is always a protocol that is followed. If the president spoke, my chair lady was supposed to speak, then the vice president speak. And uh, before we start looking for other people, officials of the LG, the official, officials to the county, LG, and the members of the special council should say something. But that was completely left out. Um, so I'm, I really frown on that. Honorable. A mistake on our part, please. Thank you. Ma that. Martin, Thank you. Ma Ma Martin, Martin, don't run to that. Don't rush to that. I'm mm -hmm. trying to coordinate things here. And I've Sorry. heard the voice of Honorable uh, uh, Uncle B. 
you know the registration council is a very special institution and special people come at special times mm -hmm. you know yeah so we have always given that position to uh, the roc to do something and when we began i checked the house and the or the chair of the of the of the of the, of the, uh, of the registration council was not in so once the chair has uh, now that the chair is in i don't there's no problem for us oh. giving her that opportunity to say something because this is her house and she, we've got to hear her voice uh, so I thank you for reminding us a, that's right as a matter of that if she was not here any uh, any rc member from momo was spoken in her place thank you okay so but we were waiting for her because we knew that this is something that she would not fail because if okay, she had somebody okay. to represent that's her okay. she, she would have okay. delegated that's okay thank you so much so um i would just like to take a brief moment now now that it is confirmed that honorable Anne, the chair lady of the registration council is in the house we would like to hear from her thank you and honorable Anne, you were not forgotten we will have you in mind thank you Honorable Anne. Is Honorable Anne in the house? Thank you. Okay. It looks like she um, she might be having some connection issues. Whenever she comes, we're going to do that. We we'll we'll can always interrupt the program at any, any uh, point. So the last time we had somebody, uh, it was uh, the last last person we had was Honorable Bruno, who upgraded. Uh, you've taken note of that, right? Yes. Okay, Honorable Gordy from uh, Menemo LGA, Abam. Is Honorable Gordy in the house? <laughs> Commander Fabian, are you in the house? Commander Fabian, are you in the house? Comrade Matt, are you in the house? Uh, she should be. Comrade Matt, are you there? All right, she's paid in a thousand dollars. If I may speak for her. Who? Matt, Comrade Matt. Comrade Matt has uh, yes, she's paid a thousand dollars. That is, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Comrade Matt has paid a thousand dollars. Okay, now. Uh, uh, Ma Vicky. Ma Vicky, are you in the house? Many more sisters, please speak. I saw you in. Please just talk. Come up, say something. I, I don't want to be your mouthpiece. Hey, I want to personally thank Sister Matt for the great job. Yes. Coming Hello, from everyone. Thank you, Ma Vicky. You have the floor. Uh, well, I don't have much to say, but I'm just putting my finger across that we do the best that we can do. And I've already paid 500. So for that reason, I am going to support my other counties, the, uh, men, um, not many more, the, the other four with $100. I'm going to pay oh. it now. Okay, that's good. Okay. Thank you, okay. Doctor. Let me come in. Um, okay. I have some. Uh, I have one of our sister Mary on uh, uh, she, on the chat. She she has some problem with her voice. Uh, she has paid two fifty uh, through her LG, and she's pledging a thousand dollars, and will complete it by September. Good, Mary Hodges. 
Yes. Ma Mary has pledged a thousand dollars. She has already paid two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Wow. Uh, please, please, please. Why are people sleeping? Uh, please. Please. Yes. Uh, we... What about Matt? Uh, Matt, I miss, I miss her. Please. Ma Matt, um, Comrade Matt has already paid a thousand dollars. Okay. Did she say she was pledging four hundred for somebody? No, no. It's Sister Vicky. Sister okay. Vicky paid, uh, she's already paid $500 and she's contributing $100 to support the other LGAs in Momo County. Okay. 21. Okay, good. One only. Okay, tell me, Go ahead, I'm sorry Vicky. to interrupt. Um, I'm going to finish my 500 next Friday. Okay, okay. Good. thank you, sis. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Who is that, my? If I that's yeah. a Vicky. Okay. That's Vicky. Vicky from Menemo. Okay, Vicky. Good, Vicky from Menemo. Right. And now we are going to Honorable Sebastian. Is Honorable Sebastian in the house? Honorable Sebastian in the house. Comrade Ronel in the house. Comrade Ronner in the house. Dr. Fidelis? Yes. I hope, um, uh, uh, Uncle Sama, Comrade Sama Thomas. Yes. Um, he, he has supported us no more with 25 euros through the invitation of Madam Tangwani Tita. That is a uh, mama. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Honorable. Um, Oh, oh, Honorable uh, Thomas, uh, Sama Thomas, thank you so much. You have always been there. You've always been supporting uh, all now on our fundraising. That is it. You are a comrade. Is it a, a pledge or cash? Uh, uh, mo the, money uh, has been paid to the army, money has been paid to the chairperson oh, of the ROC. Oh, okay. So uh, we we have to put a footnote on that so that we can chase that money down. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And then how about uh, on, um, I'm Comrade Claude? Is Comrade Claude in the house? Okay, Chairman Chris Omgi, LGA. Chairman Chris. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm, I think I'm working multitasking here. Uh, multitasking here. Um, yeah, the president, the restoration council, member of the restoration council, and board protocol duly respected. I wish to thank you all for coming to support us in Momo. Uh, in, uh, what keeps us going is the determination, the will. It's not that we have so much money, but it's just we are determined, we are focused, and we know what we are fighting for, for the liberation of our people, and we are not looking behind. We're moving forward, and I, I wish to thanks all those who are here. We continue to fight, and we are not giving up. So uh, for, for us, the AGA, we really had uh, a committed amount, so I'm opting my, own, my, my amount also by five hundred dollars. Okay, how much paid? Yeah, so it'll be eight thousand dollars. Okay. So he's saying that he's he he already had pledged five hundred at the level of the LJ, and he has paid in two hundred. So he's mm -hmm. opting it to a thousand dollar pledge now, which means he's still going to pay eight hundred. Okay. Thank you, comrade. Thank you, thank you, comrade Chris, Chairman Chris of the LGA. Commander Fabian, are you in here? Commander Wycliffe, are you in here? Okay. Honorable Abam, are you in here? Okay, so now we've had some names and some people are still going to come. 
let's proceed. Um, so at this level, I think I am a very big debtor to this revolution, you know. So um, <laughs> what do I even say here? I think I might have to uh, bear myself out uh, by making some pledges here, which I'm going to honor as soon as possible. So for the, uh, my, I would like to make um, a pledge. I've already pledged through my LGA $500, which we all agreed on. So I will be opting mine up to a thousand dollars. 200 has been paid. So I will make that payment by the 20th. I will finish everything paid off. So my thousand dollars will be paid, but I've already paid in 200. So that is mine. Thank you, Doc. Yeah. So now um, we move on. Is Comrade Canada in the house? Yeah, Dr. Fidelis, I just joined. Uh, I just joined. I just joined now. My gracious okay. everybody in the house, yeah. Okay. You greet the people. Yeah, I just extended my greetings to everybody in the house, and uh, I'm sorry that I'm coming a little bit late. I have some family commitments. Uh, I was out for some Easter break with the, with the kids and family, so I'm just coming back now. So. Okay. Please, you're one of the hosts, so just take over your hosting rights. I mean, the um, moderating so that I can rest. Yeah. Okay, uh, Fidelis, whoever is the host, can now give me the co host right, right? That's how it Yeah. Goes. So yes. now you're, you're, yeah, you're co moderator. So. You think that you have had enough rest to, to take over while I go on a, a little break? Uh, you can go a little break. Uh, the, the thing is that I hope you'll be coming back to relieve me. Isn't I'm it? here. I'm here. We were at the level of calling the chief launchers for the uh, for the for Momo, and you are one of the chief launchers. So uh, some okay. of us, uh, yeah. So the chief launchers are coming up big. We've heard from the chairman Patrick, who has mm -hmm. uh, who is giving a thousand two hundred and fifty. Chairman mm -hmm. Jackson, a thousand dollars. Uh, one Dr. Atianjo, uh, he mm -hmm. pledged a thousand dollars. Yeah, Martin, a thousand dollars. Ma Mary, a thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama Matt, a comrade, Mama, Mama uh, $1,000. Uh, mm -hmm. Ma Vicky has, if I miss your name, please, uh, just Ma Vicky has upgraded to. Uh, can you re uh, help me, Martin? Go? Ma Vicky. Yeah, uh, Sister Matt, $1,000. Sister Vicky, $1,000 uh, plus 100 to support the other OGAs. Yeah. Uh, honorable, um, honorable, honorable uh, uh, Uncle B, Uncle B, a thousand dollars, thousand dollars. So it's a thousand dollars in general. So please yes. can come. Okay, in. yeah, you you just put me in the list of a thousand dollars. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. See? Are you pledging or you've paid or you're gonna? No, pay I'm not now? paid. Yeah, I'm pledging. I will okay. try to come back to the financial department and see how and how how soon I can get 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 the money paid. Thank you okay. very much. Okay, good. So we can see that. Okay, comrade, uh, Canada, take over the moderation, and uh, while I I take a, a, a brief break, a, a, a break. Does um, he have the um, the, uh, the, the the list of tasks? Let me come okay, uh, the list is um. Let me. Uh, he has it. Uh, go to Momo County Mobile, and you're going to see it there. I'm just going to copy and paste so that he gets it. Yeah, yeah you can just copy and paste and send to me, Martin. That would be great. Would be okay. great. I'm forwarding it to you right now. Okay, okay, good. Uh, Dr. Fidel, before you go, um, so low, just for the text that she is traveling and cannot speak. Okay. I guess you were supposed to come and say. What about Fabian? Commander Fabian. I don't know if he's traveling yet. Fabian is in here, but I'm surprised that he's not talking. He's in the meeting. <laughs> How about Comrade Vance? Mm -hmm. Comrade Vance were traveling also. Yeah, uh, Comrade so. Vance, they are in a party. I was supposed to be in that same party, but I went to a different party. 
Uh, but I'm thinking that if somebody has a number, call him in the background, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. But yeah, at the moment, they're in a party somewhere, family gathering. Yeah, but he's, he is in the meeting. Yeah. He, um, um, excuse me, um, comrade, comrade Fabian is in the hospital with her mom, and uh, he has uh, promised to send uh, five hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, comrade Canada, go ahead. Take over. First recovery to her. Well, wish mama a quick recovery. Okay, thank you, Dr. Fidelis. Uh, Martin, have you sent me the itinerary? I've already uh, sent it to you. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'll just beg the audience to give me a few seconds. Let me just uh, glance over it and see what what uh, what it takes. Okay, we can take a break now to see if uh, uh, Honorable Ander is in the house to say something, to say a word of, or two on behalf of the Restoration Council. Yeah, if I can understand from the program, uh, Dr. Fidelis has exhausted the aspect of chief launchers, so we should be on the aspect of special invitees. Am I right, Matengu? Yes. Okay. If I go by what I have here in front of me, uh, special invitees were talking about guests of honor, uh, Comrade uh, President Chris Anu, uh, Comrade uh, uh, Eno Tanyi, uh, Honorable uh, Kometa, Honorable Ande, Honorable Ajoa, Honorable Mola Wonja, Comrade Richard Tango, Comrade uh, Fritz Misodi, Chairman Mas, uh, others, yeah, any, any other persons that we may know. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, while we are gearing up to go to special invitees, I would like to inform the house that we have at least uh, nine to ten persons who have been uh, designated as uh, guests of honors in this uh, Momo uh, County draft. For uh, Ajoa, if they're in the house, Wonja, somebody who knows them, please Comrade know Richard Tango, get, get Comrade uh, uh, the uh, Comrade President Christian Mass. Uh, uh, honorable Chris, yeah. uh, in 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 uh, persons that we may know. Comrade, uh, honorable Commander, uh, Honorable Ande, Honorable Ajoa, Honorable Mola Wunja, Tanyi Tango, Honorable uh, Comrade, uh, sorry, Comrade Fritz Misori, Comrade Mas, uh, Comrade Mas. It's Richard Tango. Yes, correction. Please uh, be audible. I say it's Richard Tango. Yeah, Richard Tango. Okay, Richard yeah. Tango. Yeah. Yeah, just correction. Thank you. So please, yeah, if we have any of them in the house, or if they're not in the house, somebody who has their contact, please can you get to them and see if they can be of help to the uh, to the draft. Thank you. I understand, uh, Comrade uh, Inno Tanyi has always been a benevolent uh, comrade from past experience, uh, especially when we're in the traditional government. I can recall that one time he coughed out uh, 4,000 Canadian Canadian dollars. So it's a guy who is flexible and the pockets are so deep and open. So I don't know if uh, Comrade uh, Inno Tanyi is hearing me. Comrade, are you hearing me? I don't know if he's in here. While we're doing that, if anybody want to give chipping something, yeah, they can put their hand up. He's here. Yeah, he's here. Comrade Eno Tanyi, I understand from our traditional government period, you were so open-minded with a deep pocket, benevolent. I remember, or I can recall that you coughed out 4,000 Canadian dollars when we had our, our, our draft in the traditional period. 
it might not be the same due to uh, the uh, current situation. But however, we are counting on you to continue your benevolent gesture in our struggle. If you are hearing me, the, the line is open and uh, you can have the microphone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I want to greet everybody who is in the draft, especially um, uh, Mr. President, Comrade, Comrade in Arms, Comrade Chris Anu, uh, the Chair of the Restoration Council, Madam Anne, and all the um, uh, all the LGA chairs, county chairs, and everything. Um, well, from my point of view, um, I'm willing to give to all the 13 counties $500 each to the 13 counties. Good. Okay. All the 13 counties, $500 each. Thank you. Thank you very much, Comrade. So Isn't that so something much. to clap, please? Yeah, so did you pay the 500 for uh, for more uh, for Momo County? No, I haven't paid. I, I just log in and um my 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 point is I mean um if we have somebody who is in Canada, I can put the money there. Okay. All right, I'm we'll figure that out. Money to anybody. Okay, thank you, thanks. comrades. We need to clap for him. We need to clap for him, please. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, comrade Eno is a trusted uh, comrade, and like yes, I said, he is. yeah, like I said, uh, he was so open minded and deep pocket in the traditional government. I trust him, and like what he said, that was the same situation we had last time. He needed somebody who, who who should be in Canada to do the transaction for him. That was the same thing he requested last time. Yes. So I think he's just uh, repeating himself. Thank you very much, comrade, and uh. I know despite the uh, trying moments and the inflationary uh, period, you are still able to, to, to keep going. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Okay, so my announcement. Yeah. Uh, um, Honorable Ajua sent in a hundred dollars. Is he going to make the announcement or you are making an announcement on his behalf? Uh, he sent me a text, so I'm not sure if he's in to give the announcement. Okay, you can just read the text if you have the text with you. Yes, please. that's the text that I just read. May, 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 I, may I say something if you don't mind? Okay, please. good. Thank you so much. Uh, this, okay. is, uh, this is uh, uh, Honorable Chris Sajua, VC uh, of the Restoration Council. I want to thank uh, our president, thank the members of the cabinet, uh, thank um, members of the Restoration Council, including our chair lady, uh, Honorable Ande. want to thank all Ambazonians for participating. Just want to say that we have this struggle in front of us that has not come to an end. We have to keep fighting. We cannot stop. The only solution we see clearly in front of us is, is a... Is a, 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 a um, what, what Cameroon has pushed out to this to 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 to, <clears throat> to use, which is force, and it is true force that I think we are going to liberate ourselves. And uh, for that reason, all Ambazonians are called upon to contribute, even if it is their widow's might for for the struggle. Um, the, the hundred dollars that I I paid already is uh, is um. I'll call it. I'll call it the, my first installment. My second installment. I'm making a pledge on that. Another hundred dollars total thank of two hundred. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Comrade Ajoa. Uh, for those who know you, you have been burning the candle from the one of this struggle. So it's no news. Uh, the it's not. You are no stranger when it comes to sacrifices and the contribution to this struggle. We thank you very much. We do appreciate. appreciate and uh, just by the time moment, you are still trying to see that uh, you keep the candle burning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, everybody. We also have this uh, able, powerful, iron lady amongst us, Honorable Ande. Honorable Ande, if you are hearing me, please, with all due respect, uh, the microphone is yours. Honorable Ande, are you in the house? Please, can you unmute? I can see that you're in the house, but you're muted. Can you unmute and speak, please? Um, 
Okay. Honorable Andy, I've asked you to unmute, please. Why Honorable Andy is trying to unmute herself, uh, as per the list I have in front of me here, we have uh, Comrade, sorry, I'm not following the order as per the list, I'm just going around. Off. We have Comrade yeah. Mass, uh, Com Chairman Mass. Chairman Mass, after uh, Honorable Handy, the floor will be yours. It was so bad right now. I'm say, I also want to be the king. I have a friend. Honorable Handy, can you hear me? Or can you hear us? With me. I'm fat to drive. Uh, okay, Dr. Epa's hand was up to, I don't know, he dropped it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but I can see that the Honorable Ande has uh, omitted herself. Oh, Honorable oh, Ande, are you, can you speak, please? Why Honorable Ande, probably maybe she's having some technical issues. Um, Chairman Mas, can you omit yourself and, 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 and see if you can be of help to us in the Momo County? Chairman Mas, can you hear us? It seems uh, Chairman Mas is not in the house. I can't find his name in the list. Um, he was here. He was here. Where did he go? Oh, to? He was here. Okay. I can't find his name, except he has renamed himself. Dr. Epa's hand was up. Dr. Epa, did you drop your hand? Oh, is somebody reading the charts, please? Let me see. Chairman Jackson, are you there? Of course. I, I, um, we don't need that question now. I've been reporting. No, no, I mean, anything came in through the chart. Yeah. If there's any, anything, I'll report to the house, please. Okay. So we know that you are following the chat. That's fine. That's what we want to know. Uh, Honorable Ande is not hearing us. Uh, somebody who is close to Honorable Ande, maybe she's having a technical problem. If you can just call her from the background, that would be great. Uh, Chairman Mas, I can't find uh, him in the house. Uh, Comrade Fritz Mesodi, are you in the house, please? Fritz Mesodi. Uh -uh. Doesn't look like he is. Yeah, he's not. I can't find him in the house also. Um, I'm just going uh, random with the list in front of me. Fritz Mason is not in the house. Uh, Richard Tango, please, uh, comrade, are you in the house? Uh -uh. Richard Tango, are you in the house? Mula Wonja. Mola Wonja, are you in the house? Daddy! Yes, welcome. You move aside. Don't let me go. Stop, no, stop, no, it's too late. How are you? Yeah, I think Canada is muted, trying to get I, it. I, mute, I muted him. Yeah, so. Yes, I muted him. Canada, I muted you because there was some background noise from your place. You can unmute. Okay, good. Yes, I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, they are my kids who are just coming in from uh, their holiday trip. So, um, like I was saying, uh, most of the special guests we've been calling, uh, we can't find them in. I was just asking if somebody can call from the background because Ande is in, but it seems like she's not uh, she's not following us. So, I don't know, maybe it could be a technical problem. Could be a technical problem. So, yeah. We push stop noise, please. Please, I'm in a meeting. Stop noise. Um... Comrade Richard Tango, are you in the house? 
Okay, Honorable Commentator Elvis. Is Honorable Commentator Elvis in the house? Yeah, uh, it seems most of the names we have in the special uh, invitee, we have exhausted them. Unfortunately, it looks like most of them are not available. Except for I'm there, that I can see that she's unmuted, but she cannot speak. I don't know, uh, Comrade uh, Dr. Fidelis. Do you have anything you can say to the list or do we go to the next item? Then maybe you can revisit the list later just to maybe some people might be late comments. What do you think? I think we should, uh, thank you. I think we should let, um, give the, this chance to the chairman of the county to go uh, around with uh, the different, uh, the, with the various uh, LGAs of Momo. I will okay. hear what they can say and then we can come back from the uh, after we finish with that then we can re revisit the list okay thank you very much in that in that in that note i will mute my background because uh like i said my kids just came in i need to settle them down while i'm following you guys up okay thank you. Mm -hmm. all right um <clears throat> thank you comrades thank you fellow ambazonians we still have 51 people on the forum right now and we are still expecting people to put up their hands and chip in whatever they want to chip in to support the Momo County. Our revolution is not by county, it's Ambazonia as a whole. Whatever you give, wherever you are, you are still supporting to drive out the occupier. So we need to work hard to make sure this is uh, happening. So, um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to call on a few uh, the five counties of Momo to see how much uh, they were able to put together to uh, support this draft for today. So I I will go ahead and start with Mogamo. I don't know if there is anybody here from Mogamo. Zero. No Mogamo. Where is Aringua? <laughs> <laughs> Zero from Mogamo. Are you All here? right. So that said, we're going to cross over to Widikum. That is a neighboring uh, LGA to Mogamo. Do we have anybody from Widikum? Yeah, we Widikum. have Manyi. 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 Yeah. Manyi. Yeah. Manyi is represented, uh, Widikum is represented by Manyi and uh, Ma An. So <laughs> we all know that. And uh, they are right. the ones pulling things together in Widikum and doing a great job. And so, I know they are doing a wonderful job to keep yes. Yes. Widikum, Widikum alive. So maybe we could skip that. We know we already know what they are able to they are doing in the house. They need to allow their own um, not, not so maybe maybe um greetings, Mr. President, the vice, the, the RC members, the cabinet members, all the county chairs and the LGS that are here. This is my money uh at the Troy salute so far. Uh, for Widi Kum, we have uh, one member. She had uh, said she's going to pay in $500, uh, $500 uh, within the week. Um, then another one, $50. And we are still coming up. We'll report as the time goes on, uh, Mr. Chairman and everyone in the house. Thank you for coming. And thank you. Thanks, a million thanks to all our guests. Thanks for supporting us, for being so supportive. God bless you all. Thank you for now. Thank Mama. you so much. Uh, should we, because we put it, we're registering uh, pledges, should we put the 500 as a pledge against your name? Uh, put, put, just, just put and 500. Okay. Thank you. Money, 50. 
and okay. more are coming more more are coming okay <laughs> yeah thank you okay. pledges will maybe by okay. before tomorrow that will be done even thanks okay. all right thank you so much mom money i think you are doing a wonderful job and we get more, more, more strong because of people like you it's not about numbers it's about the dedication and a few people that are willing to make sure the revolution is moving smoothly so we are going to cross over to ngi where i will call on chairman chris to come up and talk to the people okay chairman patrick thank you once more uh we should thanks all those who are in here uh for the LGS, um I know some of our members who are five members who have already reported uh, that is me uh, with a thousand chairman Jackson a thousand paid 200 chairman Jackson thousand paid 200 uh uncle B thousand paid 200 Canada a thousand Dr Fidelis thousand uh we have uh, uh, the other members of the LGS who have coffee 500 he already paid 175 uh Nisa, 500 new richard 500 already paid 200 uh adam bridget 500 already paid 200 uh at angong uh 500 uh julius 500 dr waters 500 already paid 200 hans 500 Nija, uh joffrey 500 dennis 500 lucy 500 mark grace 500 already paid 200 Vance 500 already pay a hundred and one dollar. Uh, Michael 500. Uh, 500. So, uh, the total with what was already reported is 12,500 with yeah. 800 already in. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't, we don't worry about putting it down because he is putting it on the spreadsheet. Yeah, yes, don't, yes. don't worry. I'll, I'll put everything together. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Comrade Chris. I understand you you do a good job keeping the people abreast. I uh, just send a good message to Ochiba Nursing that we want him to come back home. Because <laughs> running around the bush is not going to help him anymore. Call um, Patience Abiedo. Just tell her to come back home. We are bringing back all the political sons that have been running around. We want Momo back together. Yeah, sure, bro. Uh, we, we, our house is always open. And even people from other LGA always join our meetings. So we are not shy or we are not uh shy with our <laughs> uh, link but we are focused on the river uh, on the liberation that is the focus of our lga anybody who is not focused on the liberation should not we are not wasting our time with that person anybody who is interested in conspiracy we don't have that so anybody who is focused on our uh, liberation should join us by inviting all of them to join us for our liberation, but for conspiracy, that person can wait. Thank you. All right, thank you. So, um, Ponjikwa, I will hold up on Jikwa for a little bit because there are some discussions that are still going on on the side. Then I'll move on to Menemo, Chairman Ephraim, or Martingu. I know Chairman Ephraim is here too. Yeah, Chairman Ephraim is the chair, so I'll give him that upper hand. <laughs> it's not an upper hand. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you. Um, at this point, I don't know if uh, you will need me to read the names that are written down here. Uh, it's, there are just uh, nine names, uh, and um, some have simply pledged, some have paid. I think one person has paid all the money, $1,000. Uh, the rest of the people have, play, have uh, paid in part. Uh, Sister Vicky has paid $500. I think that's what she said. Uh, Ma Mary has paid $250. Uh, I 
I'm pledging a thousand, but I paid two hundred. Uh, there's a sister Justina here with two hundred dollars. German, German FN, can you hold on and work with uh, in the background with Martengu because some of the names that you have read have upgraded to a different level. So it would be mm-hmm. nice for that to be done so that you read the information with complete uh, details. Well, it's, uh, I, there's only one person whose level of uh, pledging is in doubt now. Uh, but the rest of the people, for the rest of the people, it is assumed that um, it is $1,000. But okay. out of those $1,000 people, some are driving uh, Sister Vicky uh, her place is a thousand dollars, but I think so far she has paid five hundred. Good. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there are nine people. Uh, you heard uh, the you heard somebody in here. Uh, uh, need Tobias. He pledged a thousand dollars. So we're waiting for tomorrow for him to uh, make good that pledge. Mm-hmm. Yes. So as I said, there are nine pledges. Uh, the nine, the nine people that have played, some have paid some of the money, and uh, others uh, still. I think there's hardly anybody who has not paid. Eh? There's hardly anybody who has not paid anything out of all of those who have played. So, but for the, if we are going by the pledges alone, they come up to nine thousand dollars. But I will tell you, as far as Menemo is concerned, uh, the, the Calabashes are still in the stream. That is the same for Meta. The same Meta. Tembija, Tembija. Calabashes are in the street and what they yeah. got. So at it's, the end of the day, um, as it, it usually happens, uh, you're going to be surprised at what comes up. So thank, thank you. you. Mm-hmm. That's great, Chairman. So in G, they will say it. It will be good. That's good. Um, <laughs> uh, Doctor Fidelis. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to pledge for my Franca. Uh, and Martin go to talk on uh, on the background with uh, Ma Margaret. Uh, I want to make sure that those those payments that are going in are they going into the national treasury or the county account so that um, uh, yes, yeah, so that Ma Franca needs to be uh, 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 they need to intimate her about what is going on. Yes, because uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the country treasurer is not seeing some of the figures that maybe they are being paid <laughs> to the national treasury. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll continue. Thank you, Chairman FM. Uh, like I said, um, in about 30 minutes, we'll, I'll go ahead and say what is coming up from JIKWA. But for right now, let's move on and open the floor to for Amazonians to support us. And I will give the figures from JIKWA when I get everything situated. Okay. So thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Chairman. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you can all see that uh, the different, the various LGAs in Momo are doing their best, and uh, most of those who had pledged five hundred or started uh, five hundred, paying five hundred, have upgraded to a thousand. So uh, I think we are on a very positive uh, note here. We're moving forward. And uh, we count on uh, our friends uh, to to make it up so that we'll be able to realize the goal. And remember, it is often said, actually, actually used to say, scratch my back, I scratch your back. So that is the way we roll. And we're going to, you know that the next county that is going to be drafting, I think it's Mezam. After that, we have Libyalem and so forth and so on. So, and we appeal to everybody to attend the 13 drafts that we are going to have. So that will be, it is, it will be incumbent for us to be there to make sure that we uh, rejuvenate the giving, uh, 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 giving in this uh, revolution. Uh, a lot of Ambazonians are out there who are not, uh, they are just comfortable in their zones. They are not, nothing is moving them. Um, uh, it was yesterday I had tears running on my cheeks uh, when I was talking with a very, very good friend of mine. Uh, he is a well-to-do. He uh, has a lot of money. He has a lot of money. And I asked him if 
uh, I talked to him about Ambazonia, and he's an Ambazonian, and uh, he told me that, oh, don't even worry about it. I'm making contributions to this revolution more than you even think. You'll see me on the day, the day when our independence will come, you'll see my name will appear on the list. The, this really disturbed me because um, this gentleman is from Menemo, and I know him very well, and he's making no dime to this revolution. And uh, what really troubled me was the way he took it, the way he expressed it. Like, it was a joke. Like, he, want to, he wanted to, he ridiculed me. Yes, oh. he ridiculed me. And I felt so bad. Like, those of us who are doing contributions to keep this revolution moving, it looks like the burden has been thrown on us to bear. But guess what? That day of reckoning is going to come. And whatever we are doing here is an investment we are making. We are investing in the future of Ambazonia. And once we do this investment, this investment is going to pay back in us achieving that independence, in achieving freedom for our people. So don't ever, don't ever minimize any contribution you are making to keep this revolution alive. That is what I say. And one thing that keeps me very positive in this revolution is the fact that I know that less than 1% of Ambazonians are going to take us to Boya. Mm -hmm. That is what keeps me comfortable. So whether we have a meeting of 20 people, I'm happy. We have a meeting of 10 people, I'm happy. We have a meeting of 5 people, I'm happy. Because I know that out of the 8 million Ambazonians we have, less than 1% will be the ones to take us to Boya. So numbers don't even mean anything to me at this moment. What means, uh, what matters to me is people who are able to contribute, to be committed to the cause. If we are five of us, we contribute our little bit and do what five people can do. And then we move forward. The, resili the resilience is what we need. And we are, we are showing it. So uh, I have Dr. Epa's hand up. Dr. Epa, you have, you have the floor. Uh, she was staff. Thank you. you have yeah, phone. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, my phone died out, so I was trying to charge it a little bit. Okay. Um, yes, I will take responsibility for not having organized uh, the presidency to come out with something because I've been for the past month I've not, you know, been around. I'm out of uh, my station. So, uh, but any time I try to have time, I will do that. I know that the, I know that fundraising that we had, I didn't do it again. So, um, but be assured that I will do it. Uh, for today, um, uh, for myself, I've not yet even organized uh, the Nguti LGA, uh, you know, to for this fundraising because I've not, I've not been available. Uh, but for myself, uh, right now, I'm going to give two hundred and fifty dollars. I've already paid. Thank you very much. I, I paid by Zell. Uh, you can look at it. Uh, you are going to see it. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. That is the that is the chief of staff talking. Thank you, Doc. That's so wonderful, oh. Dr. Epa. That's so wonderful. The That's man so with a powerful voice. Mm -hmm. Highly appreciated. Highly appreciated, Dr. Epa. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank just you. A, a little announcement. Um, the VP is uh, contributing fifty dollars in my support. Thank you, euros. thank you, VP. Thank yeah, you, VP. VP yeah, you. so uh, he's already sent it in. So, please, thank you. Remind me how much did the put in? I didn't get that. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Sorry, and paid. How already much? paid. Oh. Yes, paid. 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 Is the man with a clean slate? Uh, my, 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 my Frank, I see only some. I see only some. <laughs> That's all right, though. We'll talk behind. I will, I will, pay, I will pay that one uh, later. On. <laughs> Are they out of the station Thank to you. carry walk? <laughs> so you are yeah. reporting. You are reporting to your. <laughs> That's a... You can call me all the time. <laughs> That's all right. We're good. <laughs> yeah, county <laughs> representatives, please come up. Support us. Yes. Uh, can deserve another, please. Come yes. on. <laughs> Has somebody by any chance got into Honorable Ande in the background? Please. 
Honorable, uh, honorable to Uncle B, can you call your boss, please? Yeah, because honorable a lady who is very open-minded. You know, it's a lady who is very open-minded and she's a die-hearted supporter of this cause. So. Yeah, we haven't heard from our president either, so. Oh, Uncle B can speak on behalf of uh, the chairman of the restoration, chairman of the restoration council. Who is speaking? I said Uncle B can speak on her behalf. Okay, 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 okay. Uncle B, you have the floor. Uncle B, you have been elevated to a very high or the highest level in the struggle. Can you take the chance and uh, take the challenge? <laughs> I thought their VT was Uncle Ajwa. Uh, Honorable Ajwa already spoke. Okay. Yeah. So please, there's still 49 of us in here. I don't know why people are dropping. Please, if you haven't put up your hand to say something, please, we need your support. Is Ms. I'm in, Larry? Tim and Larry, is he in? Yeah. Oh, oh Chairman Larry no. is not here, ma. Dr. Ngwambe said he already sent something in. Can we check that and confirm too? Okay. Can he say the amount so that we can document it? No, he did not give me that figure. Okay. Larry, the, uh, I, think, uh, I think Chairman Larry is in the house. Yes. Chairman he, Larry, yes. He will talk on behalf of Mesam and then. Yeah. Yes. Dr. Ngwambe is in and uh, he can talk for himself. Yeah. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Um, I don't know. Is um, uh, are you guys wanting for me to come up now, or you want um, uh, Tanguambe to go first? Uh, you can go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Salutations to everyone. Uh, President Comet Chris and our VP and everyone else. Do you respect it? Protocols and everything. Um, I do believe that. Um, this is a very, very important and very, very necessary come together which we have today. We've all said it a million times, and I will just say it one more time. We need this, this draft. I mean, freedom is not free. We all know that. Yes. And um, we have to, we have to, we have to dip our hands deep in our pocket to make things work. Absolutely. There is no doubt about that. Um, Comrade Chris already said it, that um, the, uh, the West is not going to give us freedom. They have completely ignored our, our plight and our cry and everything. So it is all left in our hands. And a few of us who are in this house today, my applause to you all. You. That just tells us that regardless of... Um, what is going on, all the disappointments and everything that we've gone through in the past. A lot of comrades have dropped out and um, they have completely, completely given out to the struggle. But seeing you all here today, that gives me courage. That gives me a very, very, very strong sense of, of belonging. At least I know I have people that I can count on. We still have hopes, and we'll keep, we'll keep going with this little light, this gleam of light that shines on us. So, again, thanks to everyone who is in this house today. I do appreciate your wonderful presence and the time that you've put together for us to make this possible. So, um, I am going to speak on behalf of Mesam today. And um, so far, we are still putting together things. We are still gathering um, uh, our comrades to to be able to come up with something in support of our of our sister county. At the moment, um, we we do have a package. Again, this is just um, uh, the preliminary stages. We still have uh, more coming as as soon as we have everything put together. So for now, um, we have um, we have four hundred four hundred dollars. Um, which we have uh, put together. And um, again, this is just uh, 
the pre stages, there will still be more coming back uh, uh, following this as soon as we have everything put together. Is so I will still already? be coming up again. Okay, thank you. Is this paid or just for documentation? No, it hasn't. It hasn't been paid yet. Okay. It hasn't been paid yet. Okay, Jim, thank you. Uh, does it include the, the, the money from uh, Santa? No, I was I, I I was still waiting for you, my Franca, to uh, update Rosa, me on the Santa. So that uh, Aros, are you in? I think she has some cash. Uh, it was between two fifty Maros. Okay, so four hundred uh, chairman uh, plus three hundred dollars uh, with Maro. Okay. All right. Them. Okay, so um, so that would be that would be eight hundred dollars then total. Would be so, sorry, seven 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 hundred dollars. So. Okay. I really want Rose to confirm whether some of that money came. Uh, Rose, my Rose, I thought she was in. All right. Uh, now the cash uh, from um, the get the And uh, go ahead. From Santa LGA, we're going to, uh, it's going to be a place, but we already paid our cash. That is being added to what the county is uh, announcing. But well, we're going to support Chairman Ephraim and the President, and Ma Tengu and Dr. Atanjo, and all my friends from Momo. We're going to make a pledge for $1,000. Thank you. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. You already paid 300 and then. Yeah, we paid. That's a wonderful one, Ma Franca. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, oh my right. God. Yeah. Thank you. You hear from us. That's right. One good time deserves another. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we have the hand of of uh, Prince Robert and uh, Chairman uh, SOS Mass. So uh, let's uh, start with uh, Prince Robert. Yeah. Greetings. Uh, to the president and uh, all honorable members in the house. Uh, I'm Prince Robert from Boyo County. Yeah. I'm here in the behalf of uh, Boyo County. Wow. And uh, I just want to let you people know that we Boyo, we are behind you. Yeah. And uh, you know the situation of Boyo now. We have more than uh, six uh, like for brick trucks in Boyo and our boys are really in tension but we thank God that uh, the few of us that are standing for Boyo and uh, we are projecting the name of this uh, interim government uh, we really work hand in glove with our boys on the ground and uh, we make sure that at least this interim government is really up to support our boys as an individual, we are trying to maybe to keep our boys at least to defend themselves. So I come in the name of Boyo. We have nothing but uh, little is much. Uh, Boyo is supporting Momo with uh, $200. Thank you. Nothing wow. is too small. Thank so, uh, you. Now I, now I, now I, now I, now I, now I will send in the money. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Yes, uh, Comrade Robert and uh, the Boyo County as a whole. That is where the vice president is from. So we can see the support. And the vice president has already sent his money. Uh, uh, he's paid in the money he uh, pledged. He's already paid it in. So uh, yeah. thank you so much, Comrade. And uh, you. we have heard you and we have heard you loud. You know. Thank you. Thank yes. you. So um, now is uh, Chairman Mas, the SOS of Economic Finance and Resource Development. Well, Dr. Tianjo, thank you, and a great, a great fundraiser going on. I uh, really appreciate it. A great uh, county of uh, Momo is standing up to its uh, expectation and name. I didn't hear your, your amount. I, maybe I went to the toilet and you said something. 
You went to the toilet? Maybe I, I was not near my phone when you spoke. You know what? Well, I mean what when am, you well we we uh, I mean you were we wanted you to talk to us. All uh, right. Uh, yeah, I'll talk. Uh, <laughs> but I don't want you to send me uh, a warning because uh, you say you I will hear from you. It sounds like a threat. Don't threaten me. Oh. <laughs> you know I can always tell to you right you've been doing yeah, a lot of support, bad things to me so I know <laughs> to support the great uh, county of Momo yes. uh, I'll personally be putting in uh, $300 to support Momo yes uh, so that money will be coming in tomorrow night thank, thank you, you. Thank that's you. so wonderful thank you. Uh, Chairman Mark that's so wonderful Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Well appreciated. Well appreciated. Okay. Well appreciated. Yes. That's, yeah, why, so... we call, that's why we call mm -hmm. the chairman with a capital C. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the man with a red cap, a red cap chief. With a red, fe red feather. Red feather. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, too. Dr. No, Ngwambe, well, how much did Dr. Ngwambe send in? Yeah, Dr. Ngwambe, can you unmute and speak, please? There's some controversy on... Uh... Or some animosity on uh, what you said. Doctor Ngwambe, please, can you unmute if you are hearing us? Can you unmute us, please? So the VP has paid his one hundred euro. Okay, that's uh, Boyo, right? Yeah, Don't no, VP. Okay. VP says he has paid one hundred euro to support Martengo and Doctor Tianju. Oh, okay, good. I'm going to note it down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you please go through the list again of uh... the special invitees? Yes, please. Okay, no worries. Uh, let me go rush. Oh. I'm um, Tanji, Mass Tanji. How much was that? $300. Thank you. Paid. Yeah, I'll spend the special. He's, he's going to he pay tomorrow. Good. Tomorrow. Okay. The list of the special invitees. Uh, we have a guest of honor, Comrade uh, President uh, Chris Anu. Uh, Comrade uh, Enotanyi, we have heard from him. He, yes. he pledged $500, Canadian dollars. Uh, Honorable Kometa, we've not heard from him. Honorable Ande, we've not heard from her. Honorable Ajoa, we heard from him. He had to top up a hundred US dollars from uh, to a hundred dollars he has given earlier from what he said. Honorable Mola Wonja, we have not heard from him. Comrade Richard Tango, we have not heard from him. Comrade Fritz Misodi, we have not heard from him. Comrade Chairman Mars, we just heard from him, three hundred US dollars. To be paid soon. Uh, so that's the list as 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 at now. All right. I did send a special invitation to Comrade uh, Mike Fusi. Is he here? Mike Fusi is here. Yes, but his name is not here. Since you say it's a special invitation, we sent him as a uh, uh, yeah. And, uh, Comrade Mike. Here. Yeah, he's here. Mike uh, Fusi. Martengo. <laughs> 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 don't hide don't hide from me I'll no, you out. <laughs> he he has uh, been here from the beginning. He has yes, been here conspicuously present. Exactly. That's why I trust him. No, I just uh well Momo is uh first of all Momo is our neighbor and uh and uh, Momo is a powerful county and uh is coming back. Momo has um uh, uh a special disease that needs to be cured uh, <laughs> and I'm sure that I hope that this uh, draft will help to cure the disease and uh, of course when you look at my uh, my background you will see that I have it marks the beginning of this struggle that's correct that's how we started and we have moved up to where we are today. Some people may think we have not made progress. We have made tremendous uh, progress, but we need to build on that and do even better things in the days ahead. So um, uh, without taking much time, that should be 
used to raise small funds. I, I will be uh, I, I will be giving two hundred dollars to all of my family in Momo, starting with uh, my Tengu, uh, Chairman Jackson, uh, uh, Dr. Tianjo, Chairman Patrick, and and the list is very long. So I will give two hundred dollars, and. Um, I have sixty dollars coming in from um, Comrade Peggy. Uh, I think she's of Bali. She has sent sixty dollars, so which uh, will make it, I think, two sixty altogether. Thank so, you very much, Comrade. Uh, Thank you. I will. I will send that in right away. I, I don't like owing. Thank so, you, Mike. <laughs> no Thank credit you. cards. No credit Thank cards. You, Thank you. Uh, That's all right. Thank As you. That, that, that Thank, you Ma, uh, Ma, that Mike. Thank you, Chairman Mike. Thank you. Always, always there. Mm. That Thank goes along so with the compliment. You are, you are immaculate at no. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, and then, yes, when you finish, remove that dress, send it in a post. I'm going to receive it by Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ngwambe's hands is up. Dr. Ngwambe, please, can you, right. can you speak, please? Okay, Dr. Ngwambe... Uh, you and have the floor, finally, and then after that, time. we are going to give room to uh, the honorable, um, the vice, uh, I mean, the, the, the chair lady of the restoration council. You, you know, that, that, that means I came in at the right time because when you have such a great lady coming after you, that means you are also a special person. So, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> we'll give that to you. Yeah, so thank, thank you all for okay. giving me the honor to, to, to speak before my aunt. Um, Mr. President, Comrade Chris, uh, the honorable guest of this house, you know, Chairman Patrick, you know, in this Momo, Momo is an extremely special place. I have a lot of, you know, great patriotic comrades here. And I, specifically, I want to really thank Ma Tengu because she sent me a personal invitation. So Ma Tengu, thank you for inviting me to, to your home, to our home. I don't want to make this thing too long. You know, because I have too many friends here. The, uh, Candida, my, my my personal person from from Norway, uh, 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 Dr. Achanjo, who him and I have been working together since uh, from HSS. You know, Comrade Patrick, uh, 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 Chairman Jackson. I mean, the, my brother Ephraim. He and I have had many special calls before. So there are many very special people inside of Momo. Who, if unfortunately, if I forget to name you, please forgive me. But we all know what we're here for. This liberation struggle is not cheap, but only the strong survive and only the strong and resilient will obtain independence and secure our sovereignty. So I'm here to play my part. So I'll be sending in $200 to help support you all's efforts, our efforts in Momo. Thank you guys for all the good work. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you much. Very much thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate, we appreciate it. Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm there. Thank Please, you, Dr. Wabi. We have been hunting for you, searching for you, goggling you all over the place. <laughs> I know, it's right? Nice. Yeah, it's nice that greetings, you're back. Greetings. We 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 just console ourselves that you have a technical hitch, but now you are back. Thank you. Welcome. The floor is yours. Um, uh, thank you. I want to recognize the presence of the president in the house, the vice, the distinguished members of the cabinet, and the my honorable members of the Restoration Council, county and LGA chairs and our fellow Amazonians. I want to say that I think there was an error because somebody thought that I was in the house before. So Honorable Bruno called me on the phone and uh, I told him that I was thanking him for calling me. You know, today is Easter and we had to travel somewhere and I lost uh, count of this meeting because the, uh, the person I visited gave me some alcohol to drink so that I can forget this That's meeting. More. But thank God. Thank God that Uncle B called me and that alcohol did not work. So when I um, when he called me, I said he should come and say that at least I have to support Momo because it's our almighty Momo with uh, 50 euros. He said, no, he wanted me to say something. So I came into the house because he took the time to call me and I really appreciate that. And uh, I realized that Honorable Sama has already supported Momo uh, with 25 euros. He sent it to me. I am going to send it to uh, to the to the account. And uh, because Uncle B, my Honorable Bruno, requested I should come in, 
I will just chip in one hundred dollars, please, to support my mom. Um, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm still going to lobby the people who are hosting me to see if they will give anything for me to add. Thank you. Thank you okay. much. So, uh, honorable, honorable, uh, you know that you are not only <clears throat> here, you are not here in the capacity as an honorable member of the house. You are here as the chair lady of the registration council. So, um. We wanted you to hear your voice, most importantly, because uh, we did not break protocol. We actually wanted you to take your place and uh, talk to the people, talk to your people. The house, the registration house is the people's house. Uh, the registration council is the people's house. So as we were, we really wanted you to talk to the people so that they can hear your voice. We appreciate you for uh, stealing time from your busy schedule to talk to us. Thank you. No, thank you, Dr. Atienjo. You know the Restoration Council always does it big. Mm. The members of the Restoration Council will always come out without me even saying it because we have a way of doing our things in that house. We walk our talk. We don't only talk. So the members of the Restoration Council, after listening to me, just be waiting, they will start coming out again. Because Honorable Bruno is not any type of member. The Momo County is the greatest county in Ambazonia. And I'm calling on everyone who is sitting here and still meditating. If you have not yet said something, please, I want you people now to come out now and you say support me so that we support Momo together, please. We need to start this um, uh, draft in a in a stylish manner. And I know this is the opportunity for Ross to do it. I want to thank you all for the for the opportunity you've given me. And uh, Dr. Tianjo, thank you for reiterating that my voice was not only needed as a supporter, but as the chair of the house. And yes. I want to thank you. And I know that Ambazonians who are listening know that there is only one Restoration Council. The Restoration Council is backing this draft. This means that this is what is going down for Amazon. This is not a personal initiative to pay bills and uh, to play to, to, to current somewhere. So if you are anywhere, come out. This is a legal and legitimate draft that is taking place now. And if you have heard of any world draft anywhere and you have given your money there or you, you have people who are planning to give their money there, they are, try, they are just planning to sponsor individuals. So I'm calling on everyone to stand up now and keep your hand deep, send your hand deep in your pocket, please. Thank you, Dr. Tienjo. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Chair Lady. Thank you, Chair Lady, Honorable Ande. Uh, why in the house we have uh, one of the youngest uh, doctor, who is the one of the youngest uh, cabinet member, we are talking in the behalf of uh, the Foreign Affairs Department, Comrade John Donet, Dr. Comrade John Donet. Comrade John Donet, can you say something to us in terms of uh, some some form of support to the Momo County, please? It's already mm. done it. Okay, good. Sorry, I came late. Sorry. Mm, Thank yes. you very much. It's already done it. Sorry. Mm. We begin. Huh? It's good. He's been here from the beginning of the meeting, and uh, we really appreciate that. That's so, good. Um, um, uh, Dr. Chenjo, can, is there any way we can plead with um, Dr. Ngwambe to maybe give us one more, more special so that people can maybe wake up and we'll continue? I think Kaja Patrick. I no, I'm interlude. Interlude. Uh, interlude. Nice music for Momo, so that we can wake the people up. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got Some got of it. them are dropping. I don't know why. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please contribute. Help Momo. Uh, Momo County. Please. Don't leave so, without saying a word. Doctor Ngwambe, are you there? Why Doctor Ngwambe is? Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. All right. Why the chairman, uh, comrade uh, uh, Fidelis, is trying to do it? Uh, it's comrade Jackson. 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 Okay, sorry. Jackson. <laughs> for the record, let me just tell us all that 
the struggle where we are now, La Republic knows that they cannot win the struggle militarily. So what they are doing now is what they call delay tactics. In the sense that out of some wish or some luck, we can just get divided, the energy gets sapped out, and then we give up. And we don't want to let La Republic run away with this assumption. And the only way not to let them run away with this assumption is for us, like uh, Fidel said, even if it's just the two people standing to make sure that La Republic doesn't sleep and the struggle doesn't die. Because La Republic is counting now on, on, on natural factors to just let the struggle die a natural death. Please, we shouldn't give La Republic that, that chance. Thank you. Matengu. <laughs> I don't, Matengu, I don't think I'll stay till the end. I, I have to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. We understand. Someone else will fill in for you for we'll closing. All right. Prayer. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ma Pauline. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Please, let's keep it up. Let's keep it moving. Strange phenomenon that is happening. I think people are just continuously dropping out. I don't know why. Yeah. All right. Maybe we should look at those that have not spoken. We are still many. We are 41 here, so that's a good yeah. number. I like your optimism, uh, Ma Franca. I like your oh. optimism. That's oh. so good. Uh, Chairman Freaks, I can't find him here. This, uh, let's see. Martin, Our president has not supported us. <coughs> Yeah. Uh, Ma Frida from Manu, has she spoken? No. No, Manu didn't talk. Yeah. Ma Frida is an able lady. I think we give her the floor. Ma Frida. The lady who is conspicuous in singing the Ambassador Anthem. Please, can you unmute and speak to us? We have Malfrida, we have Joffrey from Bangem. I don't know if Joffrey has spoken. Has Joffrey spoken? Yeah, Joffrey, uh, yeah. Chairman Joffrey has spoken. Okay, and he sorry. spoke very loud. Okay, that's good, that's good. Malfrida, mm -hmm. please, can you unmute and speak to us, please? Oh, okay, Malfrida is here. Yeah, I know you are very <laughs> famous with our national anthem, so there should be something happening around you. Mm -hmm. uh. <clears throat> so, um... We have about one hundred dollars from yeah, fifty from Mr. Um, Honorable Ekota and fifty from Mafeda. So that's what we got from Manu so far. That's a hundred in total, isn't it? Yes. Thank you very much, Mafeda. But yeah, why do you? Why would you, you wait for us to call you first? You could have sent up your hand now, Mafeda. What's it? No, I was waiting now. Uh, I was waiting for more to come. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, who is She's not from uh, your uh, your county. No, she is, and she's she my be... friend too. My God, my childhood friend. Let me put it that way. Okay, uh, the people who are doing the tally, have you taken note of what uh, Mafida has said or what she has offered? Yeah. Okay, good. Is she sending it now? Malfrida. Malfrida. Yes, it, yes, it will be coming in now. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Martengo, like I said, Martengo and Dr. Fidelis at Tienjo, like I said, I came a little bit uh, late, so I don't know exactly uh, who is who. Just uh, forgive me or pardon me if I call a name that has, 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 has spoken before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Sino, the Sino, 
Yeah, that's a uh, comrade Chris from Guy. Right. Oh, okay. 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 So, no, that is a uh, comrade Vance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, comrade. Sorry. Okay. Com uh, has he spoken before? No. Uh, somebody spoke on his behalf, I believe. Okay. Comrade Chris spoke on his behalf for on okay. what he was sent in. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. Yes. Also, comrade Solo, who just came in now. Solo from uh, Momo Mobile. This uh, Chairman Frank has Chairman Frank spoken. No. Okay. Chairman Hello. Frank, can you meet and speak to us, please? You are welcome. Why Chairman Frank is uh, struggling to unmute? There is David Alo, LGA. I don't know if he has spoken. No. Okay. David Alo, LGA. Uh, you can just unmute. Speak to us. Hello. Hello. We can hear you. Yeah, greetings to, greetings to everybody. Uh, I will come in with my little support to the Momo County. My little support of $50, I hope you will be able to uh, add a drop of water in the basin towards our freedom. Thank so uh, I will say that right now. Thank and uh, I hope to get more for Momo in the in the days ahead. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Chairman. And this is uh, um, Chairman David from Alor, right? Yes. No, this is Chairman Frank. Frank from right. Chairman Frank from yes. Menchu. We'll from Menchu, seriously yeah. wait for you. Oh, all right. I will and then, uh, David from Alor, LG. Uh, Comrade David, can you uh, unmute and speak to us, please? Okay, greeting to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, David is sending uh, $50. Thank can you very much. Me? Yeah, we yes, can hear you. Hear you. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. David. I'm doing the transaction now. Thank, Thank you, you much. much David. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Uh, after Comrade David, um, there is my grace from G. If please, like I said, if you have spoken and for some reason since I, I, I was not in the beginning, just just uh, pardon me. I don't know if my grace has spoken. Ma Agnes, um, Mark Ake, uh, Mary Hodges. In that uh, order, Ma, Ma Mary has spoken. Mary okay. out. Okay. Yes, uh, Ma Ma Grace. Yeah, uh, has spoken to the LGA, except okay. she wants to say something. And then okay. uh, Honorable Mark Ake has not spoken. Okay. After Honorable Mark Ake, we have the famous TV panelist, Sama Thomas. He's already spoken. He's spoken. Okay. Oh. Good. It, uh, those next to him is uh, a, a, a Savimbi. I don't know if he's Jonas Savimbi. That is a Fabian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Tavindi. Tavindi, has he spoken? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, I understand Comrade Tanya Eno has spoken. Uh, there's Titus uh, 3. Comrade Titus is from uh, from Widiku. Has he spoken? spoken? No, he's not spoken. Okay, Comrade Titus, the floor is open. The microphone is yours, please. Can you unmute and speak to your people? <laughs> Somebody mute. <laughs> Comrade Titus. Uh, the Tobias Fondo. I don't know if Tobias has yeah, spoken. Yeah, he has spoken big way. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. For many more. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. There's one oh, man. Bless my friend. He spoke big I don't see you in here. <laughs> now I found you. I'm right here now. Honorable Agnes. I see the president paying $150. Can we check that? 
Okay. Uh, hello, 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 hello. This is uh, my Agnes. Yeah, I knew you will not fail us. Well, I've been here since the beginning. How can I fail you? Yeah, my, thank you. My, my, my thank you, my friend. I've been here. <laughs> Right. Um, I'm, I already sent in my contribution this morning, uh, $100 or, or as support to Dr. Tianjo and $100 for you, my Tengu, so $200 for me. Wow. Thank you. Yes, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, my Honorable Agnes. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Uh, you're welcome. Um, I have a, a one hundred and fifty dollars pledge from Comrade Armstrong. Is it Armstrong? That's um, the present. Oh, that's the present. I just oh. saw it on my screen. Comrade in arms. Okay, sorry, I didn't read the wrapper. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. And then. Thank uh, you. Ma, uh, Tang, Tang, um, Mr. Tang, you know, Comrade Tang, you know, he said he's, uh, he left and, uh, he says Ambazonia must be free. Amen. He already sent in his, uh, from Canada. Yeah. He, spoke. yeah. He, he was looking for somebody to send the money through. Yeah. We'll follow up with him on that. I'm not sure as of now who 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 he can send it through. Okay. If someone knows, then please. The, the president knows somebody in, in Toronto. <clears throat> Excuse me. We were you that, uh, Dean, but everyone is an outcast now. <sighs> Let me let don't support Momo. No. No, we don't get to uh, share them from the BLM to go along and the front I think. Okay. Oh, chairman. Nothing at the level of the county. Did they contribute as individuals or county? As individuals. So is the BLM supporting Momo? Chairman Mass. A lot of counties are not here to support. I don't know. I don't, I don't talk to me, Momo, the family woman. They don't deny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get plenty of... We give you, you, woman. No worries. Santa will give you woman. All right, all right. No, just keep on hoping. We get woman there, Mo. <laughs> all right, wait. I'm tall woman, so no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you are asking for. I beg, I tell you. That. <laughs> oh man! I don't believe I tell you, man. Man, say man, fix me, woman, for to no more deny. Okay. I don't hear you well, well, but no cry. Hey, how many do cry, no papa? Okay, no problem. How many you want? Three. Okay. Would you for? Would you for? And then no would you for them pay bride price now until your head now groom price will pay. No, 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 no problem. Price, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> On condition, say you are not going to come and complain. Yeah, right. No, 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 no. There will be no complaint as long as they treat me well. Okay, no, no. we don't okay, care about that part, whether they treat you well. <laughs> yeah, so for the sake of announcement, so uh, my name one, we give $200, so it be recorded, so I just want to announce. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my main no support. Meme, oh, Meme support. Actually, um, 
Comrade Messodi is send a hundred. He, he, he say we give a hundred dollars in for meme. Under meme. Must see the receipt. Um, notes. We never pay. So na pledge. Na pledge. Yeah. I almost forget. Thank you. So. No person from Indian. Fako. From Indian. Oh. Hmm. Now I wish for thinking. <laughs> no, no payment from the regions. No payment from from RC as RC, just individuals. Um. No payment from IG Federal Executive Forum. <clears throat> But Dr. Epa said, we'll see what he will do. Oh. I want to actually come in with uh, $150, but we we'll still expect some from... Pending a hundred, yes. Yeah, pending a hundred. Mighty Lebia Lem, where are you? Lebia Lem, the weird woman first. Chairman Mas. Chairman Mas, you start on two small, small, so it's a bomb picking up. No, point of correction. $200 from Meme. Flesh. Okay. By uh, by Comrade May Sodi. Okay. Not $100, but $200. $200, yes, that's correct. Okay. Fako, Fako. Where, where are all the noise makers from Fako? <laughs> where the agreement is? <laughs> no, they did for forum. They did for social media now that they work again. They did for toilet. Yeah. Empa, how are you not in the noise makers? The noise makers. Um. Yes, I would like to announce here that uh, I just received a contribution from Comrade Maxell. Comrade Maxell sent in a hundred dollars for Momo. Wow. Good. Comrade Maxell, I'll be sending in. I'll be sending it in right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, see how Momo they be polite. My fussy, we need few few guys oh, that use this revolution and they will take the whole thing to Boya and just and put the, the, the nonsense of our back, you know. So okay, my yeah. mind. We are together. Huh? Okay, my mic for Mid Atlantic. German okay, Mike, say half for Mid Atlantic. Half for half of part to be for Mid Atlantic. Uh, they well, they get a message. I don't send them reminders. Maybe they, they, they still got a skin. All right. Uh, can I can I can I make an announcement, please? Sure. sure. This is Mark. I have a uh, two hundred dollars from anonymous donor in in, in Canada. Thank you. Wow! Thank you. Wonderful. So Thank you. The money will be remitted. I think immediately. Thank you. Thank you. What Maybe is the means of transmission? Because we, we have another person that is trying to send yeah, something. We are, we are in Canada and we can only use uh, PayPal. Oh, so, okay. Um, within, within Mason County, we have one of our colleagues in Ontario who is usually the uh, helper. Mm -hmm. So we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll, we'll find a solution to get the money to you Shortly. Okay, thank you. Uh, because uh, Comrade N02 is looking for a way of uh, sending his own contribution in, so you can coordinate with him. Maybe, maybe yeah, right. we can connect him with you. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Sure. Okay.
Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's keep not going over keep... until it's over. I just since they have fired, I just want to acknowledge. Uh, we, we are still representative from Santa Park, Chris. Very mm -hmm. pushful. Now, if you will backbone for Santa, always there for emergency. So, any package where it comes from, we urge a park Chris is involved. Now, you push, I'm fine. Good. So you, you get park Chris, you get uh, um, Rose and Margie, and uh, now we three, we four. We we push. Uh -huh. So, park Chris, park Chris is in the house. I just want to acknowledge him. Park Chris, thank you very much. Oh. Park Chris, NG. You want to greet the house? <clears throat> Be muted. I see him here. Will I be muted? Yeah, uh, Christopher G is muted. He's yes, muted. can you mute him, please? Very strong man for we LJ, so just want to acknowledge you. Even the right off that it impressed me. Mm -hmm. Pat Chris. Candidate, please. Yeah, yes, let, uh, me let me see if I can. Uh, also, Chris, na a warrior, na a warrior. Yeah. Everyone. Very, very encouraging. Oh. It's tough, Angie. Oh, he's right. I've asked him to unmute. Maybe see what happens. Oh. <clears throat> Bye, Chris. Yeah, sorry, I need to walk. Sorry, okay. I will okay. acknowledge you for how. Uh, yes, yeah, thank you. I'll be here. I'll be here, but I did work. Thank you. Give me no. Uh, did he? You did hear we? Yeah, he says he's hearing us. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I said okay, the house. I appreciate. Bye, Chris. I, I just want to acknowledge you and appreciate the energy where you put on for Santa. And the, the envelope where it, where it comes from Santa, you really push up. And it's all of us. So we want to thank you plenty, okay. openly. Okay, thank you, thank you. We are together. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh. Uh. There are a lot of people on here that already talk. Um, uh, William, uh, William. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, Martin, can I say just very briefly, 30 seconds? Sure. Um, yeah. Addition from a uh, for William Ergier, $50, Dr. Alberta. Okay. Mm. Thank you. He will pay, he will pay yeah. in Canada. He will pay in Canada. There's also the comrade here, Mata Tata. Mata Tata already spoke. Okay, okay. Yeah, she's my name one. <laughs> uh, we have, I'm seeing a name, William. William, can you yeah. come here and talk to us? William, I'll ask you to unmute. <coughs> There's also X N X T N X T. Who is that? N X T. Please, uh, that's not a name. Can you speak to us, please? N X T. I'm greeting the house. Uh, maybe uh, I'm surprised. They don't recognize NXT. Uh, I don't know whether these are new faces or old faces. They're uh, both new things. Now, me, I don't know again. I don't know whether I knew people than this or I don't know. <laughs> um, Nixon, Nixon. Yes. That is yeah. our 
poor Wait. man from Ogamo. Now, we're going to introduce me to Bona. Now, because sometimes you put NXT, that, but I know say you always get that acronym. Next in our now our brother from Ogamo and uh, he be um now he be the take care for the financial secretary for uh, Mogamo in those vibrant days yeah and he's been a like, very 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 loyal person in this revolution. Yeah. yeah. Next if you continue to play, we're not enough 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 complete them. No, we're really glad for see here. No, that's fine. You try you. Uh. Sorry, sir, I come late. I get for come, I go for some uh, go home meeting. All the crap died, then they happen for country every day, every day. Man, they just die for any kind of sick way. They tied away for them. I do work. So, uh, I'm glad for come, say better, they say better late than never. Now, challenging moment is for the revolution, a turning point, and all great story for top. Any man, they follow her up. Uh, we don't be completely devastated for Momo. In the whole 14, the world will know, and uh, Jackson, they get a database for that. Most of we still be heartbroken from the sacrifice, so we don't put them, they go into private pocket. In fact, uh, just there, like saying that Judas, they, they rule the whole revolution from the beginning. Uh, as a Momo man, uh, at the end of the day, I think my cut on from now. Uh, I pledge one thousand dollars. I'm gonna pay small, small. Well, oh, God bless okay. you. Praise that's God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, we praise you. Even we're gonna all of you from Mogamo. Be okay. That's wonderful, Nixon. That's wonderful. So Mogamo people, not there for ya. Thank oh. God for you. Mr. Mumma and Ganda, Ganda, Danga, where they talk, we know, we know even the ESF. Yeah. yeah. And he was invited. You know. Now, who don't take them all? They sit there for Sako on a ring while on a wheel. They will do something there. No, we'll put them for your back. Now they don't no, um, back. Let me say something. Napoleon, the guy Napoleon, he will be here. He's with us. He's going to be sending his money, but he didn't tell me how much he's going to be sending. Okay. We say for them, they say chakra chakra, but they will send money. They not be told how many. But if you say they reach out to others, maybe it will come more, but it will send money. Okay, then that's Napoleon wonderful moment. news. Good news. Yes. So I didn't want to exist. Somebody cry. Ah, uh, now pillar for fundraiser, uh, uh, financial missionary for Dr. Sakono. Oh, okay. Terrible. There's Where one for Johnson, Comrade Johnson. Comrade Johnson? Yes. Is they in? Yes. Can you unmute and speak, please? Uh, yeah. Ask me to unmute. You talk of level one hour, so. You want to ask when they come to the camera. too from William, so no forget. Yeah, William, I'll ask him to unmute. I've sent me a request to me. We've had, we've really had genuine people in in this uh, Zoom meeting today. I'm so proud of everybody. And then oh, I'm. Please, can you speak? Okay. We're waiting for him to unmute. There's a CKA too. CKA is Ajua. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What about Ambo? Is it Ambo T L G A? Oh, Ambo. Whatever. How do you ever spell it? They pronounce it. We still have a lot of people still to speak. Fabio, Fabio, Fabio. Uh, that's our famous. Uh... Is that our new activist? Yes, our new famous activist. Now you don't make a call. We're not going to new resign. Yeah, Fabio, you want to unmute and speak, please? 
We love your activism. That the activity is Fabriano. The other one is Fab. Uh, something is not actually. I don't think that is the name. I don't know if it's the same person. I don't think it's the same person. Also, allow the person to talk. Fidelis, can you check your? Uh, just send you a, a, a message to WhatsApp. Um, I, I think Fabio is from Gucci. He's not an activist. Oh, okay. okay maybe not the activist is different. Yes, Fabio is from Gucci. The activity is Fabriano. Fabriano. From Momo, I think. Because he knows every corner of Momo. <laughs> we don't even know who that guy is. I don't, I don't, think, think, I don't know. I think he's from Momo. Wait, he knows every corner, every place. <laughs> Momo, Momo, no, plenty of Momo. You don't make a yaba, they remove, they draw the four of their boot up. <laughs> I like it. I like all of them. Oh, yeah. So, um, just a quick distraction. Once, one thing where I'm a uh, commander, what are the comrades for Tebo? He can't talk for here, Nixon. He talks on here about how our people that they die on the ground. So until we be very prevalent for our uh, community them on the ground, we, we look for advice from people. And I say, now, any time person gets small sick, it gets small thing for his skin, go to hospital, they will go put that sugar for his skin, or they will go to where they want to put drip. They don't even know what are that sugar high or that sugar low. So we need to advise our people then, because that thing don't kill too many people. Very true. Yes. Very true. I love my them. Yeah, then he give them glucose without checking with that check or not. Very true, very true. Yeah. We I lost a very good friend from Momo, from Widikum, uh Julian Show, just the same way. And then they add blood to the, don't be contaminated. Blood will get sick, they take them, put them. They don't know even a blood group of they're not the norm. They just yeah. need blood. Shaman, Shaman Patrick, do you have anything for for your place for for Njikwa? Well, I had four, just four contributions that came in, and we and we had talked about about three more, which was going to be seven. So I've been trying to reach the people that are not responding. Well, it's, it's, you can just do what you have then. Yeah. So. So he put my name down as uh, like I already put it, and then I had uh, three more people, five hundred dollars each, and they, have, they said they will be paying that by the end of this week. Wow! Applause. Patrick, did you deserve an applause for that? Three times five hundred. That's 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 encouraging, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Three times five hundred plus one thousand two hundred and fifty. That's encouraging. So, party deserves an applause, please. Yes, he does. Yeah. You can need to take their names if you call to follow up of uh, Chairman Patrick. I'll, I'll send the name to you. I'll send the name to you. All right. Thank you. You can send them the names to me as well as well okay. as, or put it on our forum too. After sending it to me, um, yeah.
right, it's kind of quiet. What's up, everybody? Oh, the numbers are doing it. I think we can run up now. I think we have tried now. Yeah, we have. I was just trying to see if this um, Mr. William can actually speak to us. And oh, somebody else came in. That's wonderful. I know, I know Titus is not doing well, so that's probably just here to support. Right, coordinators. What do you think? Think we should call it a day? What was he was talking about? <clears throat> let's, Why don't you give it to at least seven. the top of the hour? Oh, okay. Are you talking to us here? Must be a private conversation. Comrade Tanjong, there's one Comrade Tanjong. I don't know if he has spoken before. Comrade Tanjong. Tanjong, can you hear us? Is he muted? He's muted. I've asked him to unmute. Comrade Tanjong. Comrade Tanjong, can you hear us? I'm sure it's not your bad nursing. Okay, well, maybe we'll send him to the waiting room. Shame on to him, except he's coming here to contribute or support. Coming in with this, uh, coming in with a different name doesn't help. So many. It's going to shame that. If it, it was just an assumption, it's a joke. I'm not sure that it should be the one. Who he, is the person? Who is the person they're talking about? Tanjong and there's a William. Yeah, Comrade Tanjong is from uh, Lebelem. I don't. Oh, okay. So that should that should not be. A, that's an expensive joke. I think okay. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Uh, what is happening with the uh, Uchawan Nelson is that uh, wherever the... he sees uh, anybody that he knows in this revolution, especially anybody from maybe from G or anywhere, she run away. In California, when she go to a meeting and he meet a there, he will just go and disappear. Mm. So he's yeah. already running away from his shadow from all the. Yeah. Comrade, yeah, I was going to say Comrade Tanjo might have fallen asleep because it's in the UK. Oh, it's almost okay. midnight. Um, there's somebody William in the waiting room. Can I bring him? I don't know who William. No, I sent him there. I sent him there. I, sorry, I sent him there because we've, oh. been trying to, we've been trying to get him speak. He doesn't speak, so it becomes so suspicious. So I sent him to the waiting room. Oh, those are the those are the sleeping cells now. Mm, so. Yeah, they'll have a story tomorrow. Don't worry. Yeah, we've really had a clean Zoom meeting today. I don't know if there's anybody in here who is just here to not support them. I don't know. We are sitting here for so long. What are we doing? Are we are we leaving or we're just no? We are leaving the next uh, eight minutes. I think so. Can we call it a day? Let's the next eight minutes. Eight minutes. In the next is, uh, we have a hand up. That's the Tanjong. That's the Tanjong. Tanjong. Yeah, hi, hi guys. Hi everyone. Sorry, I couldn't talk. I'm somewhere I can't wait. I've just moved out to yeah, to be able to talk. I'll contribute for more 550 50 pounds. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you. Please, yeah. Comrade Tanjong. Yeah. Comrade Tanjong, the BLM didn't do anything. Um, I, I'm not sure yet. I've not spoken to the to our cheerleaders. Do I have to speak to them to know? Yeah, but I think, I think we'll do something. Yeah. All right, all right. So Tanjong is saying that you send him the payment details, please. Somebody should help me with that. I'll uh, send it to you if you haven't got it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Fifty uh, euro, right? Fifty euros. And uh, in, in oh, pounds. Yeah. Fifty pounds. Oh, okay. That's powerful. Fifty pounds is how much human mass? Uh fifty pounds at the moment is about sixty dollars. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are waiting for the dollars to just die and die in natural death so that this world can no, be... No, 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 no. How can you say that? The dollar no, is going... No, we want the francs. French francs to die. Say that. You put, you put, you put can be shouting... Martin, go. French francs have already died. You put, can be shouting, you put can be shouting on top of your voice is dead. We are praying for the dollars to be tissue paper. That's what we are praying for now. Yeah, well, how do we send money to Ground Zero? You know that we send yeah, money more here. Yeah. This is a powerhouse of the world. The dollar <laughs> is never going to go anywhere. Forget about uh, that. Party, we don't hear that rhetoric from the entire mass. I leave my story. The, the dollar right. is going to go. We don't hear that entire. Euro time. The, 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 the money is going to the land. Please, the please. Can we keep, can we keep this uh, aside? Please. Can Even we keep this aside? Work. Please, let's uh, keep this uh, discussion uh, aside. Uh, this is a bigger discussion and it's going to distract us. Please. This is a bigger discussion that we don't need to discuss here today. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's right. Maybe that will be meeting after meeting. When I give with some figures, they can be taken out. Six minutes to go. Conrad William, can you speak to us now? Tingo, you are the boss. What what else? We can call it a day. Five minutes yeah, ago. Um, we have five more minutes. We don't you never know. You know, somebody can just come in, pop in. Oh, somebody here. just joined. Give what? us a hundred thousand. <laughs> Afred just joined. Afre Nyamusa. Afre Nyamusa. That should be from Momo. Yeah, that's uh, my many more brother. Hey brother, welcome. Play great the house. Now we miss you don't know. You know get time no far. <laughs> Martin, can you check it? What's up? Yeah, yes, I'm doing so right now. Afrin Yamusa, can you speak to us, please? That's my brother, my minimal brother. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, this is Afrin. Welcome, bro. Welcome. Thank you. Martin is afraid to name already on the or you want to 
Jav now. Uh, there was a name. No, he's. I, I don't know if you want to draft now. It's better no, to be he, late than he, absent. Can you please <laughs> say something? <laughs> he should be drafting. We are here to draft now. He's, if he's I mean, not yet, then he should be drafting now. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bro. Uh, I've already, uh, I've already started drafting. Okay. Okay, okay, all right, good. Yeah, so he's already putting something, $200. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. That that's good money. You don't you don't have to be shy to tell us to give you that appreciation that you deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Ma 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 Tengu doesn't need to to go right down into the dialect to get the the, the the stuff up up there. Oh. <laughs> Anyhow, well appreciated, Ma Tengu, for taking it the the other way around. Mm -hmm. right. yeah yeah i just i'm i'm in between stuff so i'm kind of just following what is going on so at okay. some point if i'm not talking, not that i'm not that i'm ignoring the meeting okay. but it's just that uh i don't want to disturb in another area too yeah, no. oh. All right so, um, Willie, I just saw something flashing. Willie, can we get Willie to say something? Yeah, I, is that a William that has yeah, seen as Willie? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, muted. There's a certain mat with double T. Mat. No, Matt is Matt is uh, our minimal sister. She's already okay. spoken. Okay. She was a powerful uh, contributor, one thousand dollars. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Like I said, I came late, so I don't know. Yeah, it's okay, bro. It's okay. No worries. It's okay. So it's top of the hour. It's seven p.m. We've been here since. Yes. Yeah. So my thing is up to you. Like I said, you could know better exactly what has happened. Yeah. So um, I was about right with my prediction. Oh. Um, well, I think, uh, okay, we added uh, that from uh, Njikwa. So the total that we have right now, that's paid and unpaid, is 31400 and. And $35. Am I seeing correctly? The font is too small. Yeah, $31,435. And the, the, the pledge is the $6,620. Is it $26? Something like that. Did you all hear me? Let's do it again. So we did not hear you. Is the total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you let me let me say it here, please? Uh, yeah, please. I can't total, say it. Yeah, total, total amount pledge and paid is thirty one six thirty five. Okay. Uh, paid in six thousand eight hundred twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. That's so we're well. going to we're really hoping that everybody that pledged is going to send in their payments. Please send it yeah. in, send a receipt with your name on it. So we really appreciate everybody that was uh, here today, everybody that came in fully and contributed from the heart. I know that the pledges are going to be collected. It's a lot of money, so we have to follow up on that. And I. I believe that everybody that pledged is gonna, is gonna make the payment. Did you guys hear me? Yeah, we heard you. Yeah, Martin. I always yeah. honor my pledges. Yeah, I trust, yes, yeah. I trust that everyone 
who pledged today is going to make the payment. <laughs> so we really, really appreciate everyone, every one of you. Um, so the cash is only 6,000, you said? Yeah, six thousand something. Can you please repeat that, uh, Chairman Chris? Six eight twenty six. Six eight thirty six. Six thousand. I thought it would have been more than that. No. No. Yeah, but yeah, uh, the the amount are in separate accounts, so we need to put them together. You will not, you will not see the figure in one account. So we need to put that to go then um, behind to we'll talk about that behind and put all those and confirm the amount. Who is that? 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 No, so just gone. It's a yes, yeah. Maybe if you put the amount together, cash will be more than six thousand. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking they, they, so. Cash, yeah. Where will where will meet with the various collectors? I'll check the accounts. We'll see the amount may be different, but that is what we could confirm for now. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Anyone has anything else to say? We really appreciate everybody who made every effort to be in here today. Thanks to those who came to support us. Thanks to Momoans who came in powerfully. Uh, we're doing our best and we just have to keep trying. You never fail until you stop trying. So we have to keep going. All right. Um, again, the president my, my, is in. Can I can I say something before the president, please? Sure. <clears throat> um, for every activities that we do, we always kind of look at, we measure our successes and our failure. And uh, I am not saying that we have failed, neither have we succeeded the way we ought to have. But for everything, no matter how good it is, there are still some mistakes that we need to always correct. So let us take this one as a first step. Look at where we can do better so that we make corrections for tomorrow. Um, I am from Menemo. And I would like my many more members to really listen to this and let us listen very well to see how we can fix this. Many more has not done well this time. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know how we can correct it. But I've been pleading for a correction and up to now we have not done it. And that is why things are not working the way we used to do things. We ought to be more than what we are today. And even in any other area, you can go there, they are not doing the same. So there is a problem. We really need to sit up and correct it. So that is just what I just want to say before uh, the president comes in. And thanks for everybody to listen to me. Thank you. Last minute, last minute. Uh, Honorable Gordy from Menemo is paying $200 and pledging $800. So in total, he is contributing $1,000. Honorable Godi from Menemo. Okay. Uh, uh, hello? Yes, we're here. Oh, all right. Uh, I got an invitation. I got an invitation from Mani. I know they... From the Chris is about to talk, we're sorry. I just got an invitation for money. Uh, I'll be contributing for her $50 that I've done what I had to do for, for Tuba. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Comrade. Thank you. So that Thank is going to change our total. Thank you, <laughs> Comrade. Um, before the president comes in, I just want to thank every son and daughter of Momo 
every Amazonian who have come out today to support Momo, we all understand this revolution is taking shape because all the detractors, all those who are here for grandstanding are falling away and we are looking at the people that are dedicated and ready to take Ambazonia to the next level. So let's not look at any of our uh, activity to be a failure because these are the people who want to see the a free Ambazonia. And these are the people that will contribute to the last day. So let's look at it as a positive direction. We have, we're going to have less headache, less debate, and more action going forward. So again, thank everybody who has come out today to support Momo. And we know we're going to do better and we're going to get to, a, to the next level. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Before the president comes in, I just want to make a comment based on what my brother Alfred said. Yeah, bro, Alfred, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll work to make things better. And I'm sure that you'll be part of it, especially in Menemo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Mr. President. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, Ma Tengu. Thank you, Chairman Patrick and uh, uh, Dr. Atienjo, uh, Comrade uh, Candida, uh, Comrade uh, Ephraim, and uh, all of you out there from the, the great county of uh, Momo. Uh, you will start uh, getting some uh, social media propaganda out there that, oh, Momo that raised 400,000, 600,000, one, two years ago, was only able to raise uh, a little over 30,000 today. Uh, uh, but uh, what I like to say is that nobody, nobody should be worried about what our detractors uh, and saboteurs would want to say from the figures coming out of this house. I am very satisfied, completely satisfied with the figures that I'm hearing uh, today. I think if you put it together, multiply it by 13, you can figure out how much that we would have come out with. And uh, this draft exercise. And uh, over the years, I've come to learn that it is not how much that we raise. It is what is done with what is raised. Uh, my trip to Boya, I was told that we raised 1.2 million in the total. But what did we do with it? What did people see of it? Of course, uh, very little. Draft 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. What did we see of it? What did we do of it? Uh, very little to show of it. One of the problems also is that in the past, uh, like I have seen in the past few weeks of uh, some people putting out digital figures and telling you how they raised 280,000, 150,000. And then when you go to ask of what is being done, how it is being used, you realize that 280000 wasn't up to $20,000. Comrades, I'd like us to uh, operate here in a very open in a very open way. Ambazonians know that Momo has raised how much again? Thirty-two or 31000 It has to be. How much? It should have increased. I think it's 32000 Chairman Chris. About 32000 something. All right. 
So let's say some is still coming in. Momo has raised 33,000. Uh, 33, uh, those are true figures, exact figures, without any inflation. The good thing is that we can say to the Ambazonian people, we are going to show them what we use that 33,000 to accomplish. They will see it and know that we are not in this struggle just to grandstand or to position uh, ourselves. We are here to do the actual work. By the end of the day, when the money is added, is added up, uh, I think we should have a good chunk of money in our hands to demonstrate to Amazonians what this interim government is able to do. And I ask the Ambassador public, think some other people have conducted drafts. I want to ask the Ambassador public to uh, be on the alert. Watch out. Let's see which draft money is working. Let's see which draft money is fighting for Ambazonia. Either the $280,000 or the $33,000. Let's see which one is uh, working and fighting for Ambazonia. I think it is then uh, you'll find out who is really uh, enlisting for Ambazonia and where your money should be going to. So uh, I want to thank all of you, all of you who have been in here. At the maximum, I think there were like 55 people or 57 people in the, in the Zoom. And uh, you are able to come out with that amount of money. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much. And I also like to thank uh, the Momo executive that did an excellent job uh, calling people ahead of time to put in their pledges. I think other counties should learn uh, from this. If you are waiting to come on your draft day to make this money, you will not make even close to half of it. The job has to be done in the background now. So I hope Mezam Le BLM Manu and the rest that are coming up uh, are taking, taking note. Your mobilization has to uh, be carried out right now. And when you come into the redraft, what you are expecting, uh, the drug will be expecting will be what comes in from individual people who lock in. So you have to do your background work, call your people uh, right now and get them committed to drafting. Uh, again, I will really appeal very strongly. Uh, Ambazonians now know that Momo came up with uh, 33,000 in, in, in pledges and, and cash. Uh, you know, it is hard to go back and tell them that, oh, that money never came in. All of it never came in. No. The moment you make the pronouncement about the figures, everybody goes home believing, yes, that is what they got. So it is difficult to, for, for us to sit still and not carry out projects and hope that we will go back and tell them, oh, we did nothing because that money never came in. It is uh, all incumbent upon all of us who have pledged. Please, please, don't wait until the next draft before you want to redeem your pledge because if you wait until the next draft and go there and make another pledge, they keep mounting up, keep mounting up until you are not able to to redeem that pledge. So do everything, do everything. Ambazonian uh, are depending on what you have pledged today. Do everything to redeem it. Let us see some action uh, taking place on the ground. Let me say this to uh, everyone who is uh, listening to me. When we just took over, everything was scattered. Everything was scattered. It was difficult to uh, lay hold on, I mean, lay control on the, uh, the different fighters in, uh, in the different counties. Pa Faco, was a, Faco was a particular place that really rattled many of us. 
But I want to assure you, comrades, uh, we are making progress. I can tell you that, I can report to you that all of FACO, we have control. If we want anything to happen anywhere in FACO the next day, we know exactly what to do. We know exactly who to contact. We are embedded in Tico. We're embedded inside Victoria. We're embedded inside Boya. We're embedded inside Ekona and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Moyoka. Meme, we have control. Of course, I'm just giving these places. Now, uh, 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 Momo is also getting back to what it used to be. We now have people we can look up to, we can rely on, we can give assignments to uh, in that county. That is what we are doing. When funds like this come in, I bet you they can all boost our initiatives uh, in these places. Um, uh, so that is what we are doing, and we will keep on doing it until we have total control of the fighting force in all the 13 counties. Thank you uh, very much. I promise you, you will, you will, those of you who, who continue to stand and support this struggle, we will not disappoint you, not under my administration. We will do what we have promised to do. And please, don't get tired giving. Uh, I was listening to Comrade Chofo Ayaba uh, the other day in an audio, and he was saying that uh, wars are not fought by the majority, they are fought by a few determined people. You know, I disagree with him a lot. I totally bought that point uh, of his. Uh, this war will not be fought and won by the majority out there. Now we are at that point of the minority, the few, the diehards who want nothing but victory for Ambazonia. And I appeal to you, please, don't get tired. Don't get discouraged. Just keep on sacrificing until we get a lot of people to come around to sit down and talk with us. I want to report to you today that we have a big diplomatic victory uh, that uh, you will all get to know about. We are having a big uh, conference in Washington, D.C. on April the 14th called for by the, Hurt, by the Hudson Institute. The Hudson Institute is uh, uh, a big conservative think tank in the U.S. based in Washington, D.C. And they are like the godfathers of uh, politics in the U.S.A. And to have gotten their support to, uh, to put on this conference to bring all Ambazonian leaders together to find a way into uh, the resolution of this conflict is a big diplomatic uh, uh, win for us, especially here at this interim government. So uh, please, we are working in the background. We are working openly to in the fields and uh, we look forward to the conference on the April the 24th. I will bring you uh, details of it uh, as time goes on. Well, also, this has nothing to do with the unity conference that uh, is uh, in the works. That one too uh, is coming on. But uh, I just wanted to bring you this. These are the strides we are beginning to make. We just pray that they will yield fruit to the, to the, to the point that uh, it brings an eternal solution to this conflict. Thank you once more. I really appreciate you all. Please pay your blessing. God bless you. Good night. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. You've done it as usual. And I uh, think that uh, we've had a very good day. As I said, the president, I just want to re echo the words of the president. We must understand that this revolution is not going, our success is not going to come from all the million Amazonians. It's going to come from a very few individuals. So let us be comforted with this. 
fact and that is going to give us the energy to progress thank you Chairman Patrick, you closing it? Well, um, I, th I think I'll close it, and uh, we're just. The, I think the president was giving us the closing remarks. And okay. I just want to say thank you so much, Dr. Tenjo. Thank you, Martingo, Dr. Candida, and everybody that is um, has made this happen. Mamani. Your efforts were really, really great. You guys did a wonderful job putting all this together for the Amazonian people. So again, thank you. Let's try for the best and we're going to succeed as the people. Thank you. Yeah, every Momoan or Momoan who pledged, please make sure your money come, comes in. Within maybe the next two weeks or three weeks or something, please just make an effort. Let's put everything together. I completed mine. Good. All right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we just need some uh, someone to up to give us a closing prayer. We had, uh, we we're supposed to have, uh, to have, um, Ma Pauline. Ma Pauline, but she left. She had some commitment. Um, so, before... Ma Frank, I want to do that for us or something. But I'm not a prayer warrior, mommy. <laughs> Oh. All right, Mr. President, can you do that Mr. for us? President, pray for your people. Mr. President definitely... can do it for us. Pray, for, definitely... pray for your people. Sir. I definitely can do that. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. We exalt you. We lift up your name. We glorify your name. We thank you for this uh, late evening assembly. We thank you for these men and women of like mind whom you brought here, Lord, to bring their funds together to support the freedom of your people in Amazonia. Lord, I ask that you bless those who have given. Replenish them. Replenish their hands. I pray, O oh God, that those who have pledged will also uh, go to work to make sure that they redeem everything. We pray, Lord, also for victory for Amazonia. We pray that these seven years of fighting and killing and the massacre of our people will never go in vain. We ask you, Lord, to guide us, lead us, direct us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Guide our decision making. Guide, Lord, guide us, Lord, in every plan that we make. And I pray also for the other counties that are still to draft. I ask, Lord, that you will provide. You will raise men and women in those counties to stand up for those counties and stand up for Ambazonia to support and rescue the people of Ambazonia. Father, I thank you for the leadership in this house. I thank you for the wisdom. And I thank you also for the strength, the determination to forge ahead in spite of every odd. Lord, we thank you that we will see a free and independent Ambazonia in the days ahead. Open the way for us. Open the doors for us. We ask you for favor within the international community. We ask you, oh Lord, that you will do a miracle, a miracle that within the next three years, this thing will have been said and done and we will be seated in Boya, call the federal capital of Ambazonia. I bless you once more for everyone who has given. Replenish them in Jesus' name. As they go, Lord, I ask that you go with them, that you keep them and you protect them and deliver them and bless them and cause their faces to shine before everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh. Thank you, Mr. President. Hey, All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Dr. Dr. Tanjo. <laughs> Dr. Tanjo is gone. Yes, you must have. Yeah, well, um, you know, I was not invited, so I just watched myself came in here. By virtue of your position, you don't need to be invited. Exactly. <laughs> Why not? It was for all of us. <laughs> yeah, by virtue of your position, you don't need to be invited. Right. 
Now they are oh, no, everywhere. I'm just kidding. I'm 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 from Momo anyway. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, tell us, tell us yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. When is our draft coming up? Uh, yeah. It is not yet settled. What? So we don't need to be more support. We have to finish with the other first. We'll be there. Paper. We'll be there. No, but he's saying it's not certain. Set no, I think uh, the, no, the, the roster is still not. It uh, will come soon. It will come up soon. The, the resource and uh, development will bring it up. Yeah. You know. What, I, what is yeah. even more important now is for the country to come together and start organizing how right. we have we have those two functions for eight years. Bangem and Guti. So right. we need to call a meeting and see how we move, how we come up with something. You know, I I forgot to pray that God will give me another woman from Momo. <laughs> <laughs> we can look for one for you. Well, I can take the contract. Yeah, Mr. Oh, Mr. 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 We ho we try the best we'll be fit, but with the hope say other counties they go learn from we and then correct where mistake. Make so, yeah, correct we'll mistake. better. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, 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 John, like the place you talk, it's not how much it's not how much you have. It's the little you have you can effectively use it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have an appeal. This is salty for me, but could, could we try? No, you guys try. I mean, could we try to have people to on, on the panel or as panelists on ABCT, OBS TV, please? Could we try to put our message out there because we don't have so many voices telling our story, which is the true story. Correct. Correct. You're right. Uh, I, 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 am, I am sick when people say, ask me who is the current president of IG or what are they doing now? You know, it's like um, the 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 other those those fake guys have just covered the air, airwaves, and mm. uh, we think yeah. we are we think we are legitimate. Uh, no, we are. Chairman yeah. Jackson, what you are saying, I can really uh, I can support it one hundred percent. I have my um, I would say uh, it's an in law, the mm -hmm. daughter, the son of my sister in law. Who came and did this guy was going for the answer? And then I asked him, You are going for answer? What is good for you? They are going to ask him.
Very orange for day for MTN office. Say, don't block it, no, but you don't come for the road to see me coming. <laughs>
Vamos! 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 Vamos!